Adventure Time is great storytelling. So much stuff you have to rewatch. All right, you know what? Let's freaking do it, baby. Adventure Time. My first ever experience with Adventure Time. I have never seen this show. I've never seen anything about this show. I just know the fandom is crazy about it. Let's see what we got. Let, let's see what's happening. Slumber Party Panic. Yeah, you think you're pretty way up there, but I can get you. What? Literally one second into this, and I am just lost. What just happened? I am high out of my gourd. This is not real. I am not actually streaming right now, right? I, I'm just in middle of overdosing. Let me just add three more drops of explosive diarrhea. Bro, that's the Starfire voice actress, Nani. Princess Bubblegum, when we bring the dead back to life, will they be filled with worms? No. First episode, they're bringing the dead back to life. Is it this insane? Th does it continue just being this crazy? If my decorpsinator serum works, then all- Decorpsinator! Perry the platypus will fall before my decorpsinator! The dead candy people will look as young and healthy as you do. Uh... Pick up that- I- I- what the- huh? The platter tough guy. Old Mr. Man is such a simp. Cream Puff? Old Mr. Cream Puff, it's a corpse in a platter. What? <laughs> we used to date. What the hell? Just, that, is that why he's dead? Oh. Something's happening. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Algebraic. Uh, everyone keeps telling me the writing is clever, and I'm just seeing this. I am so lost. What is even happening? Wait, something's wrong. Sugar. Oh. He's a zombie. They made a zombie. Uh oh. Hey, look. This whole episode—they they start off the show with a zombie apocalypse. This sounds like it was made by by Max or. Fascinator serum is working. No, this is wrong. They're not coming back to life. They're still dead. My decorpsinator serum—it's incomplete. <laughs> Must eat sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Must eat sugar to just eat diabetic people. You're grounded, mister. Bro, they did not rip off Luffy like that. This was Luffy did the same thing in the One Piece arc where the, the zombie came out. And he's like, oh, no, sir. You go right back. And he just put him in the well, earth. This is really bad. They're going to be attracted to the Candy Kingdom. Why? Because the candy people are made of sugar, you ding dong. Give me some sugar, baby. That sounds wrong, Eddie. Ah. You want this? <laughs> Good one, Finn. Damn. Quickly! Damn, man, man is on the hook. The kingdom. Get a life. Get a life. Get it? Cause it's dead. All citizens of the kingdom. Dude, this kingdom looks like a fever dream. The kingdom. Report to the palace immediately. Princess Nintendo. Whoa. Wow. Sweet citizens. All right, you heard the princess. Everyone in. All right, no pushing. Come okay. on, dude. What's up? The princess will explain everything. Tree trunks. Get those hot buns in here, girl. Oh, I hope it's not. Bad. <laughs> Get those hot buns in there, girl. Yeah, okay. Bad news. I am so. Lost. Did we get everyone? All present and accounted for. Thanks, Manfred. You're welcome. Okay. Citizens. I am so lost, dude. I don't even. I don't even know what this show is supposed to be. Like, what is the? What is the audience? For, what is the target audience for this show? Is this for cracked out adults or is this for like narcissistic children? We are assembled here in the candy foyer for a momentous announcement. Tonight, we are all going to have a slumber party. What? Honey. <laughs> Wait, what about the zombies? Go ahead and start partying. The princess, the undead. We'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry about the undead. <laughs> Woo! Finn, the candy people can't know about the zombies. What? Why? If they knew, they would flip out. What do you mean True, flip out? But also, mean they what? would flip out. Princess, it's me, Starchy the Grave Digger. I brought you a larger corpse shovel. A princess. Well, I'll just wait for you here then. Oh no, he dies, the cream puff guy. By the mausoleum, with my back turned and my defense is lowered. God, don't, why do you gotta spell it out like that? No, no. I love how meta it is though. Like all the meta stuff, children don't do meta stuff. Meta stuff is for cracked out adults. So I'm, I'm thinking that this show is for drug addicts. Like <laughs> Sugar. 
Literally me when I see a woman. Literally me when the woman's not dressed. What the frick would just hat? Did he explode? What? Many people explode when they get scared? The lore. The lore. Of course, candy people explode when they get scared. Not telling the candy people about the zombies is so important that you need to promise. Royal promise okay. not to let anyone find out about the zombies ever. Okay, sure. No, Finn. Damn, she rizzed him to oblivion. You have to royal promise. All right, we got yes, it, lady. I royal promise. Now I must cloister myself in the lab and finish the equation to my decorps serum. You keep the candy folk distracted and. Dude, I, let, here, all right. Here, here's the prediction. The million dollar prediction. Are you ready? The million dollar prediction. Let's see if if I'm right here. He's gonna keep the royal promise. Everyone's gonna be torturing him, and he's gonna keep that everything until they solve all the problems and then when all the problems are solved he's gonna be like ha by the way there were zombies and that breaks the royal promise and the world is gonna explode that's the the nuclear prediction and ignorant can you do that yes your highness good don't tell anyone about the zombies never ever oh wait you notice the never ever like not even after it's cured not least no no damn tell jake tell me about what dude you know about the outbreak of zombie <laughs> all right, what's going on? Uh, nothing at all, buddy. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, dude, I think you and Bubblegum are up to something. Ah, what? No, no way. No, that's just my penis. Hey. Whoa, you guys are up to something. Is it some sort of prank? Can I get in on it? Who wants to play truth or dare? Hmm. Yeah, play truth or dare. Great idea for the guy that has to keep a promise a secret right now. Okay. Chocoberry, you may choose someone to ask a deep truth or a saucy dare. Yeah. Is there a cupcake? Sus? Oh, dare. Dare? I tell you to take off your wrapper. Uh, <laughs> ooh, take off your wrapper. Hey, seriously, man, I'm your bro. Bros are supposed to tell bros everything all the time. True. What are you and Bubblegum up to? True. Is everything all right? Yep, fine. Everything is great. <laughs> Except for that. Whoa. Oh, I didn't goodness. know he was chocolate. I <laughs> didn't know he was chocolate. Man, is the BBC down there. Oh, God. Dude, imagine watching this show while you're actually high. I don't know. I feel actually high right now just watching this show. Jake, truth or dare? Truth. Do you prefer chocolate or fudge? I can't eat chocolate or fudge because I'm a dog and they would probably kill me, but... Damn. Oh, shit. I Hmm, probably neither. Finn, truth or dare? Dare, haha. <laughs> I dare you to tell me the truth about what's going on in your mind. Bro, this man just found a colossal flaw. A colossal flaw with the entire premise of the truth or dare game. What were you and Bubblegum talking about when you were alone together? Oh. Um, uh, the truth is... Promised you wouldn't freaking tell anyone. Oh, you're so cute, Finn. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? What is this man hallucinating? Truth is that I'd rather play dodge socks. <laughs> I'm not playing dodge socks till you stop dodging my question. Damn. Mm. <laughs> Old Mr. Cream Puff? Isn't he dead? Okay. Oh. Oh no. He just. He just kept old Mr. Cream Puff's corpse's sock in his pocket. Give me my sock back! Dodge socks was a bad idea! Whoa! Look, dude, just tell me what's up because uh, you are crazier than a cannonball tonight. Crazier than a can- I am so lost. I, I don't understand the- like what the target audience is at all. My goodness, the princess hasn't finished the equation and the zombies are here! I, uh... She just want this slumber party to be super fun. And if I did have something to tell you, then I would in a second. And it would make my life easier unless there was something stopping me, like a promise. But there isn't, so I won't. So it's cool. What? You lost me. Uh, hey, you know what time oh, it is? God. Adventure time? No. He said the thing, guys. He said the thing. I'm for seven minutes in heaven. You're first. Really? Lady Raycorn in the closet oh, with Jake. that was easy. Well, nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. But in seven minutes, I'm gonna come out there and make you spill your beans, Finn. Seven minutes in heaven, and they lock him in a closet with with a girl. Is she just like the town hooker? Can't hear you all the way in heaven. Yeah. Um, does anyone else hear that? What? Hear what? I I don't hear anything. Oh my God. Um, I do hear something. I hear something I don't understand. 
and it makes me scared. Oh god, don't explode. Please don't explode. What? No, Chad, everybody wait. What noise? You mean this noise? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, what is even going on right now? <laughs> yeah, dance it. Bust it off. Uh, uh, uh. I, can't, I can't explain it, but the vibe is kind of great right now. <laughs> It's like I feel like you just gotta watch a couple of, a couple minutes of this, and suddenly you get lost. You get lost in the fever. What is this game you are playing at now, Phoebe? Uh, it's Blockado, <laughs> the game of barricades. Come on, let's block all the entrances and windows. Oh, yeah! yeah! Whoa! Oh, right. How is this the first episode? I don't understand. This is not a permanent solution, huh? Think, Finn, how can you keep everyone from finding out? Find out about what, Finn? Manfred, the talking pinata. Your convenient appearance gives me a great idea. Oh my Everybody, God. grab a stick. New game. We're going to smash some pinatas. What? Except for you, Manfred. Oh, thank goodness. Now, okay. everybody don these blindfolds. Thanks, Daffy Girl. Yeah. All right, everybody, get together. I'm hanging the pinatas. They're all around you. Smash the pinata! <laughs> what is even going on? I am so lost, bro. I am lost out of my mind. That is so Yeah, you guys are on fire. Dude, that was epic foreshadowing. You said you're weirder than a cannibal, and they're all cannibals. Oh, you can slip this in. We did it! My improbable plan worked. Woo! And yeah. Seven minutes up yet? What's the woo, man? Just busted it all over the place. Whoa! What the nuts happened here? Oh, we killed all the zombies that Princess Bubblegum and I raised from the dead. We I literally called it that they would solve the problem, and after solving the problem, he would tell people. Really? Huh? Jake? Oh, that's what I, you break a royal promise and Dio shows up and stops time. What's going on? How did what? I call it? Huh, Finn, did you break your royal promise? Yeah, but I mean, all the zombies are dead. The candy people won't freak out. What's the big deal? This is really, really bad, Finn. You can't break royal promises. Never, ever, never, no matter what, forever. Oh, God. The guardians of the royal promise are coming the for us. The guardians of the royal promise. Does this lore make any sense at all? Like, I know that I obviously don't understand it at all. But, like, is there any point in my in my time watching this show that I'll actually start to understand the lore even a little? Whoa! Finn the human, you have broken a royal promise for which the penalty is trial by fire. What? That's stupid. Wait! He's my friend! Isn't there another option? Yes. Because uh, you care for the promise breaker, we will give him a less hot trial. You well, must good. now answer math. Oh god, not math! Questions! Mathematical! What is even going on? I am so I am like lost out of my mind. The lore make does does the lore make any more sense later? And don't just say, well, you, you have to be high. And you're terrible at math. Oh. No. No, oh, just just reminded oh. him. Solve this. Oh god. Oh. Wait. Wait. I thought of a better one. Yes, two plus two. Uh, <laughs> oh God, are you joking? Solve it or die. Oh, uh, bro. Four, right? <laughs> oh, correct. What's happening, princess? You what? defeated the broken royal promise. What? The gumbo guardians are resetting. Oh, good, good. The gumbo guardians are resetting. That's good. That's good. Also, I'm incredibly high right now. Slam a cow. That was tops. Why is he talking like that? Who's not good at math? I was all four. Four, 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 four. <gasps> That's it. The answer was so simple. No, I was too no, 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 no. You're welcome. Four is the last figure I need to perfect my decorpsinator serum. Oh. <laughs> Now they literally could just bring people back from the dead. They literally are bringing people back from the dead right now. 
Dude, it took Naruto 600 episodes to figure out how to do this. Go. Woohoo! Yeah! This is messed up, but sweet. <laughs> Uncle Chewie. Grandma! For my dead relatives. Starchy! Morning. Man, you uh. broke a royal promise? You're nuts. All you had to say was that it was a royal secret. I know what's up. I hope you Damn! Damn, that was all he had to do. Grasp the full consequences of breaking promises. Heck yeah! If I break a royal promise, I get to fight zombies, throw slumber parties, awake gumball guardians, and and all right, all right. All right that's, and that's, 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 death itself. Oh, you are what? adorable. But keep your promises, okay? I will, princess. <laughs> Starchy, you're not a zombie. I can't help it. Flesh is delicious. You're delicious. <laughs> it don't. <laughs> what just happened? I am so lost. What? It's like that beautiful bridge between incredibly cursed and just kind of cute and wholesome at the same time. Don't squeeze me out, part. <laughs> well. We're watching another episode for sure because I I don't feel like I understand even a little bit about what this show is supposed. To, uh, I'm not sure if not understanding what the show is supposed to be is part of what the show is, but we are definitely watching episode two right now because I was not high enough to appreciate episode one. So we're we're jumping into it. trouble in the lumpy space. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? I'm still appalled how this crack show got such a huge following. Bro, do you have any idea how many meth addicts live in the United States? This show is slowly growing on me like a tumor. I am so scared I'm actually gonna like this show. That's what's terrifying me. Whoop! Huh? Whoop! Whoop! Cheers, Lumpy Space Princess! What? <laughs> I am convinced that the lore makes no sense. There is no way that this show, even in 10 seasons, will establish lore that actually is conceivable. Princess, this tea party sucks in a big way. But thanks for the invite. Oh, don't. <laughs> I appreciate the upfrontness. Hey, princess, this sucks majorly. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Uh, anyway, you want to suck my cock? Worry, Finn. The Mallow Tea Ceremony takes years to master. Princess, I think I just now mastered it. One well. more bounce. All right. Ugh. Tea partying's hard, huh, Jake? Ugh. Yes. What? No way, it's super easy. Let me space, princess, you big faker. You're floating, not bouncing. Damn. Oh, a privet. Huh? Oh, oh, no. Oh, snap. Ah! Oh, what? Sorry I bit your leg. Yo, so true. So true. It's when you accidentally fall on a woman's boobs in anime, bro. This it happens You're to You're still everyone. biting me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what is even going on? What is even happening? Oh my lord! Oh god, sorry about it. Dude, that. your leg! This is new. It's nothing ominous though, just a bump. Nah, that's no bump. It's the early stage of the lumps. Is it Oh my god. I just gave you cancer. It's kind of cringe, but I'm sorry, you're getting lumps now. Serious? It just means he's changing into a lumpy space guy on account of my bite. It's just like, um, you know, werewolf rules? Arr. This show does not care about its lore at all. There is no way this show cares about its lore. Arr, 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 arr. Oh no! What, you think I'm gonna turn all lumpy like her? Get out of here. What? Finn, I think I'm freaking out. Calm down, bud. I'll I'll suck the lumpiness out of you. Hey now! <laughs> Royal intervention. Surely what? there must be an antidote to the lumps. Yeah, there's an antidote. Damn. You have to go all the way to lumpy space to get it. You have to go to lumpy space to get the antidote. Is there any consequence in this universe? And Jake has to use it by sunset. What happens if he doesn't take the antidote by sunset? He'll be lumpy, like, forever. LSP, please. <laughs> What's even going on? Oh Ace, my god! Can you tell us how to reach Lumpy Space. Yeah, I mean, there's a portal nearby. I can show you whenever. Take, Take us now! now. Take, Take us, us now. now! I should not have drunk that much tea. <laughs> She's just going. <laughs> she just gotta go shit. Everyone about this portal or whatever. It's kind of a secret. Where is it? Portal's that frog and mushroom. Ribbit. <laughs> I love the chaos. 
The portal is this frog and mushroom, idiot. Of course it is. Obviously, it, 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 uh, duh. Password, please. Whatever, it's 2009! Good day, princess. Is your father okay with you entering lumpy space with two non-lumpers? Just say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nah, whatever, fine. Non-lumpers? <laughs> This is what it feels like to take drugs. So don't take drugs, kids. Just watch Adventure Time. Whoa, lumpy space. Lumpy so, space. It's, it's space, but it's lumpy. Where's the antidote? Hold on, first you should check out my house. It's like kind of lame, but way less lame than like your house. Uh, Damn, that is the greatest flex I've ever heard in my life. Can you skip to the part where you'll tell us where the antidote is? That's up there at make out point. That's so close. Make out point. We can run there in no time. Oh, what? It's like a million mile fall into space. Yeah, you have to travel by car in my world or else you'll fall into the lumpy abyss. It's like, it's so normal. It's like, well, simply take the, the lumpy car or you fall into the lumpy abyss. Have you brought smooth people into our domain? <laughs> what is even going on? I am so lost, dude. I am so lost. I had to die. I'm trying to help them. So don't... Lump again, man. What did I say? What did you just say? I said lump off, mom. Lump again, man. <sighs> Bro. Uh, what? Vroom, vroom? Oh, yeah. I need to borrow the car. You have made your mother cry for the lump. Dude, they fused. They fused. It's time, daughter. You are hereby banned from using the royal car. Shucks. I lumping hate them. Dude, so relatable. This is the lumpiest relatable thing I've ever seen. I'm really sorry, fun. But I can't help you because my parents are horrible idiots. Damn. Don't you know anyone else with a car? My friend Melissa has a car, but she's dating my ex-boyfriend, Brad. Call her? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. Call BFF66. Hey, bro! Hey, Melissa. What's up? What's she saying? I'm asking her. Jeez. <laughs> Melissa, just listen. Bro. Marissa, I'm trying to have out some friends. Tonight is a weekly prom coming dance. Oh, oh God. God. I forgot. Oh, What'd no. She say? Oh, God. I don't want to see a prom episode in episode two, please. Oh, please. I just got over the murder drones prom. I, ca I can't. I can't do another prom. I am so lost. Is the weekly prom coming dance? It's going to be so fucking awesome. Oh, God. LSP, we don't have time for this. Awesome. Ask for the ride, LSP. Oh, 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 <laughs> Chief. Uh, Melissa, totally drive us to make a point to knock out with hot boys. It was you so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, but Jake's lumpiness is worsening. Actually, I think I'm beating it back with sheer willpower. Oh my. Yeah, whatever. Just don't mess yeah. with my phone again. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! What? Who is this show made for? Aw, oh, Finn, this music ducks, right? Aw, oh, I love this. This music ducks. Song. We should totally TP Shadow as house. Oh god, he's getting lumpy! He's getting lumpier! Gracious! That was terrible! Finn, if you can't save me from the lumps, if I do turn. If I become lumpy like them, I want you to- It's not gonna come to that. But if it does, I'll bury you beneath the nice- <laughs> If you do become like that, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll murder you and bury you in a wholesome place. It's most shadiest tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm saying that if I go totally lumpy, then I want you to get used to lumpy Jake. What did you think I was- He's like, wait, what? No, bro. I, I was gonna kill you. Same. Oh, um- <laughs> Can't this car go any faster? We're already here. Happy. Been here for like five minutes. Finally. <laughs> huh? This doesn't look like Make Out Point. This is Brad's house. You wanted a ride to Make Out Point? You think I want to make out with you? Uh. Well, maybe I do. My shit is flipping. I feel like a candy person getting flipped out. I do not even be get uh, what the, what the lumpy riz is happening right now 
Three. I have a boyfriend, Finn. Yeah. LSP, we gotta hurry. Jake's running out of time. Hey, this is hard for me too. I mean, I used to eat chili cheese fries with Brad, so there's gonna be a lot of romantic tension on this ride. Hey. <laughs> Do you miss me? <laughs> I want. I want to. I want. Hey. I want to get me a girl that could. <laughs> That, that, that just does that shit to me. That, exactly that. But on my Miss me at LSP? Scooch over, fat. I'm gonna sit in the back. This is it. Let's go. Wait, watch yourself, Finn. The guys who use the antidote up here are notorious for being smooth posers. What does Damn. that mean? It just means what it means. Hurry, get the antidote so we can get out of here. Thanks, LSP. Bumps. Um, uh, bumps. Yeah, bumps. Oh man! <laughs> Don't worry. Hey Jake. guys, looking smooth. Dude, these look at these losers. Oh my god. Really? You think we're smooth? Well, mostly you in the center, but yeah. Why are you sucking up to us? My best friend needs an antidote for lumpiness. Yeah, lumpiness sucks. Hey Monty, time's up, Spear Hog. It's my turn. So the antidote is in that orb you were sitting on. This orb is the antidote, bruh. Can my uh, friend bark? <laughs> bruh. What? Yeah, sure, as long as you give it right back. Hammer cow. Thanks, fellas. What's taking so long? Do those smooth heads give you the orb already or what? Wait! Is this another friend of yours? What do you care? Just give him the antidote already Damn. and stop being such a poser. Sorry, kid. We changed our minds. Oh. Why did you have to say all those rude things to them? What? I was helping you. Thanks a lot. They're right about to hand over the antidote. You're welcome a lot. You insulted them, and they got mad. Oh god, Jake's starting to float. And now Jake's gonna be lumpy forever. This is all your fault. Wow, now I know how you really feel. I was just trying to help, but whatever. Damn. No. No, no one understands LSP. No, not whatever. Dude, I love how her name is LSP. And I feel like watching this that I am high on LSD. I love that this show knows that it's made for high people. I know I mess things up sometimes, but I'm really trying. And you're supposed to be my friend. Not like the fake ones I have here. Oh, so do God. what you want. I'm going to prom coming. Are you coming or not, Lumpy Jake? No, because no matter how messed up and lumpy I get, this guy never turns his back uh, on me. Oh, yeah. Right behind y'all. Oh, no! <laughs> this, this lumpy disease is a metaphor for how toxic kids are in high school. Just gotta turn my back on this guy. Jake! It's almost sunset! Jake, I didn't save him. I... <laughs> What? I'll kill you, Lumpy Space! Shut up, man. Huh? I thought you guys left. We were drawn back by your plaintive wail. We did. <laughs> what the? Your directionless fury. Um, thanks. Respect. Here. What? <sighs> Take it. With your girl back. Yeah, there's no girl. Uh... But there is still time to save Jake. Do you guys know where prom coming is? Prom coming takes place way down on that lamb lump. Awesome. On that lump lump. Any of y'all have wheels? Nah, we were all ditched here just like you. Well, you think I could make it to that land lump if I jumped off this cliff? You uh. kidding? A smoothie like you a plummet right into the eternal void. What if I was Damn. lumpy? Could I float over? No, no, it's too dangerous. Uh-oh. Uh, He's gonna make him bite him. The sacrifice! 50 chance of you making it. That's good enough for me. Now bite me! Are you crazy? Ah! 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 Oh! <laughs> yes! I can feel the multiple bites accelerating the lumpification process. I'm starting to Ah, the lore. Look, guys, it's lore. Don't, don't jump, guy. I have to, for my buddy. Run! Wow, he's insane. <laughs> oh, my guy's insane. <laughs> what is going on? The sacrifice has been made. Bro, when I look up inflation porn and I see this, it just ruins my night completely. Oh, I made it. And there he is! Yeah, prom coming. Yeah, cool. Jake, I'm mostly lumpy now, and I totally think you should sit on this spear. No. Sit on it! Hey. No. No. Please, Jake, you're my best friend. Just sit on the spear. Shut Sit on my balls, Jake! Jake, sit on my balls! Please sit on my balls, Jake. I remember you. 
You're just a smoothie wannabe lumpy poser. Sit on it before I turn completely lumpy. No. Oh no, I can feel the lumpiness about to consume me. <laughs> oh yeah, being lumpy is the best. Hey, stop talking to yourself, dumb guy. Take your ball and get out of here. Fine, I don't want you to have it anyway. So I can't have it now, eh? That's right, it's mine. Kill that ball. No. Damn. Give it no. The, the reverse Give psychology. It bad. Go get it then. <laughs> oh, I'm not lumpy anymore. Oh no. Finn, buddy, you gotta sit on this. No! Oh my god, dude, this show is literally giving me an aneurysm. I, I am so close to just, just developing a cancer in my lumps. Hot Megman smudge. Finn. Hey, Finn. Hey. Dude, man bumped into a guy that is such a chat, it literally killed him. Finn! Huh? Hey, dude, we made it. Man, there's something cold under my butt. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's your balls. <laughs> the antidote. Just in time, too. LSP, I'm sorry I blew up at you before. I didn't mean it. I was just really stressed out. You know, it's fine. You and Jake can make it up to me by dancing this last dance with me. Sounds good to me. What do you say, Jake? That sounds totally lame. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's dance. Going on, I am like, I what that was the whole episode. I don't understand the point of anything anymore. I don't understand anything. I don't understand life. Why are we here? Only to suffer? I didn't ask to be born, I didn't consent to exist, and yet I do. I live in this corporeal dimension in a world that I don't think that is meant to be comprehended. I don't, who am I? What am I? I've been wondering what, what is the purpose of life? I always thought my goal was fame and fortune, but and yes, I want that. I want to thrive, but. All my wills have just, they've disappeared. There's no way to end this, but my thoughts will end here in this meaningless void that we call life, in this nihilistic existence that I call home. Editor, please kill me. <laughs> anyway, just, okay, all right, all right. I uh, I don't know. I think we're, we're, we're done with this one for now. Uh, that, that's enough adventure time for today. Uh, this exists apparently let's watch an adventure time episode i did tell you i'd be watching more of these so i am not promising for more after this one because the last one i watched made me feel like i was literally high on acid uh and i really want that feeling right now because uh, i'm uh, cripplingly depressed <laughs> uh, it's so sick to be alone you know what i'm saying let's go baby <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm already feeling like I made a mistake. Yeah! 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 <laughs> oh, they just murdered him. Oh, sick. Oh, we're not. What the hell? <laughs> Adventure time is so much easier than baking brownies. Oh no! Our sled's broken. Hey. Their sled? Let's build one out of snow. <laughs> what are you doing, Jay? Uh, I guess I could grow for no reason at all. <laughs> Sleds are for suckers. Just ride on my gut. Okay. Yo, I love fat dogs. Hey. Uh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. This is one step away from Vor Hentai, and I don't like it. Sweet. What? The Bitch. Yo. This whole show is like an actual fever trip. He can grow for a reason. He's a magic dog. Oh, nice. I'm a flying dog. <laughs> I've seen this guy in a lot of hentai. Oh, he's familiar. Go. What? Who dares enter the Ice Kingdom? Aw, Ice King's here. You know why I'm here? Do you know what Ice King means? Yeah. King of Ice? I know what Ice King means. A big nerd. <laughs> oh! Whoa, why are they doing Ice King right now, bro? Oh, holy cow. It means I'm King of Ice. This oh. is my domain, and you're violating Ice World law. With that SpongeBob's voice actor? No way. Trespassing. Come on, brother, we're just trying to beat the heat. Yeah, there's a big sleepy lava man in our front yard, and he is I so guess. hot. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, no, I take the back. 
I, I mean, not like sexy hot. No, no, you do mean sexy hot. No, I mean, I don't care. This is my kingdom. You got Ice King lore is actually so dark. He's the tragic character. What is going on? He's a tragic character. How can you even have a tragic character in Adventure Time? I am so lost. Bro just looks like geriatric Keemstar over here. I'm supposed to think he's the best character? Guys can't just scoot about on my land willy nilly i've got rules here <sighs> why don't you just try being cool what i am the king i am the king of, of cool, cool, cool. This, this. Uh, god he is literally what my brain is right now he just did exactly what my brain did somehow both this character and my brain did exactly the same thing i'm the king of what you're of, of, this cool, cool, this is exactly what my brain is doing this, uh, that's it! Rise, monsters of snow, and go! Be the Finn and Jake! Uh-oh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, they've somehow turned a fight seat into just kind of, hey. <laughs> Triple kill! Woo! Ooh, 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 yeah! Oh, man, that was great! You guys are gonna get it. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. What? Uh, oh. oh, holy crap. It, <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. oh, I need a magic back. Trail <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, mix. Mmm, uh. yogurt chip. Tuck, tuck. Oh man. What? I'm back home. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Does he keep all of these women in fr Oh my god! It's the lumpy princess! We know her from episode two! Man just keeps all these women in a cage. God, he just like me for. Uh, he just like Andrew Tate for real. <laughs> Oh my god, he's back. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Lumpy Princess. Uh, now, now, I brought you a baby and a puppy. Oh. Are you okay? Huh? Wildberry Princess? Hot Dog Princess? He just captured all the princesses. Uh, what's going on? We're all prisoners, Finn. Ice King! What? Why are you keeping. <laughs> what? I see nothing wrong with this. They are women. In this girl's prisoners, jerk. You don't understand. I collect princesses because I want to marry one. Honestly, so based. So based. Guys, follow your dreams. And when your dreams don't just work out on their, their own, you know, you guys have to fight for your dreams. Well, why'd you capture six of them if you just want to marry one? I'm collecting them all first. Bro, that's so true. This is like when you catch Pokemon and you put them in your PC. It's like, dude, I need a party of six Pokemon to beat the Elite Four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch 150 of those little fuckers and I'm going to store them in this little box. And then after I'm done doing all that shit, I am going to pick my favorite six and just going to leave the rest of them there. To be sure I make the right choice. Yo, so based. So ba Man just wants love. How can you not relate to a man that just wants love? This guy over here, he's the original top G. You're both too young to understand, but marriage is a serious thing and true, lasts true, real, forever. Real. True, real. You can't just rush into it, you know? Ice King, so don't real. do this. Just let the girls go. They don't want to be here. Of course they do. I would have killed them already if they didn't want to be here. <laughs> Do you want to be here? If yes, good. If not, I'll kill you. Do you want to be here? <gasps> yes. <laughs> man just wants some love, man. Right, ladies? Don't worry, princesses. I pledge that Jake and I will protect each and every one of you. And for Why is Jake walking in circles? Furthermore, I vow to see all of you happily married to whatever sweet thing y'all want to be married to. Ah, so old. Ooh. Yay. No, oh, they Rad. All I need is something to spare the Ice King with. Binoculars, toothbrush, water bottle, rope, sweater, trail mix, my flute. Everyone has trail mix in this show? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh no! Nah. He was so close. He was so close. That's dude. You broke it when we tried picking the lock to that sad ogre's heart. Darn it! <laughs> Bro, what is even happening? This show is just such a hodgepodge of everything. <laughs> oh, 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 oh God! Damn! I 
did not want to see that. <laughs> this is the best character I've ever seen in my entire life. I love him so much. I actually like him. He's goofy and funny. It's so relatable. Nice try, boy. Princesses, did you see? Did you see Finn fail? Don't worry, Finn. I'll get us out with Kehan. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. <laughs> Oh, hey! he's dead. Eat it. I'm, I'm okay. Ice King, you had better either set us free or. Dude, I love the expressions they make in this show. It's like their faces look so stupid. Come in here and fight me, because otherwise I'm gonna flip out. Huh? Oh, are you trying to hit me? Well, excuse me, because I have to go potty in the bathroom. Oh, damn. Ice King. Damn. Huh? Jake. You all right? I'm fine, buddy. Calm down and tend to the princesses. Oh my gosh. I I'm sorry, Whoa. princess. Slime princess, are you all right? He's held us here for weeks, questioning us about our favorite sports and quirky behavior. I tried to tell him as little as possible. I understand. And lovely space princess, how do you fare? I'm bored, and I'm not having any fun. What? Damn, she's just as annoying as she was in the last episode, I guess. Not having any fun? Last night I read you the story of Baby What's It in the Bottle Prince. <laughs> that wasn't fun. That was lame. Other no. princesses, do you feel the same way? <laughs> no! Well, here, watch. I'll show you. We'll have some fun. Fun's my middle name. Yeah! Here now, Wildberry Princess. You go, I need Ice you King! To play this. I don't know how. Well, come here, I'll teach you. Uh -oh. Put your hands through the bars. Add a princess and do. <laughs> Add a princess. I don't think I can. Just play it like I showed you. Leave her alone, Ice King! Play it off! Squish you oh. in the juice! Oh, oh, oh God! Yeah, keep playing it. Yeah. Now everyone pick up an instrument and play it. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Also. <laughs> also. Okay, I am so confused. I don't even know what's going on anymore. This is exactly how people collab with me. It's like I got a whole bunch of VTubers to collab with me. All of them. <laughs> All of them doing exactly this. What are you thinking, Finn? I've almost devised a plan. I'm gonna let him drop while I finalize the details in my mind. Sweet. <laughs> yeah! It's like VTubers, Nux, are you okay? Nux. <laughs> I've never related to a character so much while understanding absolutely nothing about them before. God damn it, and it took geriatric Ice Queen Keemstar to do it. Nothing but respect and love. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Mm. Oh, it was fun. Hey, you should go get some more fun stuff. You're right. Good idea, Finn. Good idea indeed. I hope they think I'm fun. That actually sounded so sad. All right, I've got a plan for how to get out of here. First, everyone needs to be dancing and laughing and saying fun things like whoopee, okay? When the Ice King comes <laughs> like, back, everyone play it up like you wanted to come inside the jail and party with us. Like you wanted to come inside? And then when he steps inside, wham, I'm going to beat the tar out of him with these. While you all take care of Jake. Everyone on board with this? Uh -huh. Sweet, nice plan, dude. I think if everyone's saying whoopee, the plan won't work, because they'll know we're faking it. Uh, good point, LSP. I'm gonna say something fun, like, Oh yeah, I'm having a fun time. Oh my gosh, it's probably the best time I've ever had in my entire life. Make way for the fun tray. Bro, this man just wants friends, doesn't he? Just wants people to like him. Man's just so alone, isn't he? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, yeah. oh, probably the best time I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> So the most good. fun in the so world! So good! What is this? We're having fun! Whoopee! <laughs> because I left the room? Because they like it here! Because they like you! Because oh. you're a really fun oh. guy! I don't get this. Stop fighting it! Dance harder! Come on, Aunt Harry! Harder! Wanna dance with this ice cream? Come on! Really? <laughs> you want to dance with me? Oh, 
bad. He's just like me for real. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're here. We're here. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wait. No. Don't leave. I'll kill you all. Why are you no. doing this? Everyone was... They gaslit my boy. Yes, he kidnapped women and imprisoned them, but like in his defense. Finally warming up to me. No, that is not the case. You are nuts, man. And I don't know how to help you. Probably because I'm just a simple dude. But me <laughs> Why can't people be more real like him? Maybe you should talk to someone with more life experience, like Jake. Whoa, 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 Finn, what are you doing? Don't dump the Ice King on me. But you've got to get it in your head, man. Putting princesses in jail is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You just ruined my chances with five or six potential wives! For that! <laughs> five or six potential wives. Wait, how many of them were there? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh. Seven! There's seven of them. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. You will! Oh! Oh! Oh, my beard! Oh, man. Man uh, really punched him in the beard. Why do people not like me? Ah! Is it because I'm a magic user? What? Or is my beard too shaggy? <sighs> no, that can't I be it. I like your beard, Ice King. Don't let them do you like that, bro. You should kidnap more princesses. I so hard to be a good husband for girls. Oh, What's man. wrong with me? He just like me for real. Oh, you're a sociopath. Who are you? <laughs> I know. What? You're probably a, a big nerd. <laughs> hey, babe, why don't you try what? being cool like me? Oh. Whee! Yeah, look how cool oh, he is. This stuff oh. is so ticklish. <laughs> what happened? Princesses? Oh. This is so sad. It's the owl. The owl, dude. I don't know what the cosmic owl is. Stop saying that. Thank I don't you know. For saving us, Finn. You're welcome, slime princess. And remember when you said you'd vow to marry us to the thing of our choosing? Oh. Yes. Well, I'd like to marry you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, help that. Jake, help me. Oh. Uh, slime princess. He would love to marry you. You shouldn't marry Finn. Ah, uh, you should have gone full anti-homie. He pees his pants constantly, all the time. Oh, gross. Put me down. Put me down. <laughs> A1 wingman. That's our boy. The best wingman of all time. I'm sorry, Jake. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no, no slime OC for our boy. That was a trip and a half. Holy crap. That was one trip of an episode. God damn. Dude, I, I assume we see more Ice King. That guy was fire. A little more acid for me, please. Thank you, sir. Just, just a little more. Let's see what we got. It gets much better. It better. It's known as incredibly famous and awesome. And right now, it just feels like I'm high out of my gourd. <laughs> All right, free drugs. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Oh, damn. Sword. Yeah! Swords! Swords! Oh, man. Yo, literally me when swords, you know what I'm saying? Man, this show is so relatable. And this swords. <laughs> you boys, stop horsing around with my apples. Oh, oh tree, tree trunks. trunks. Now come on over. Okay. I baked y'all an apple pie. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No I'm going to eat it all before you even get there. <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe you should have gone to the pl place instead of yelling. I'm so confused. <laughs> Apple pie! Don't let him eat it all. <laughs> now you boys behave yourselves and sit down. Oh! <laughs> Shoo, fly, get off my apple pie. Uh, a fly landed on my pie. That's no good. What the fuck is going on? I am so confused. What is even happening? Bye, bye. Why are you throwing the pie away? <gasps> Flies wanted it. They can have it. Oh my god, dude. She just like my mom. Anyways, don't y'all worry. Because a new pie is coming in the wag of a lamby's tail. New, new pie? pie? Whoa! Yeah! Pie, whoa, whoa, yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Here you are. Whoa. All Come right, on. New go pie. Ahead. Let's go. Ah! 
What you think? Best apple pie ever. Oh, Jake. Thank you, but that isn't the best apple pie. I am so confused. What is going on? I'm not high enough. I am not high enough, please. What are you talking about, tree chunks? What could be better than your apple pie? You ate all the pie. Dan, what would you do if you could do anything? Anything? Well, I'd catch a shooting star and travel to outer space and fight space monsters. I don't know if that's what she meant by anything, but yeah. I carve my face on the moon so the moon would look like my face. What would you do? <laughs> sure, sure. You tree trunks? I would go pick an apple. Lame. I'm sorry. I I mean, it's just that you pick apples every day. This apple ain't. But she loves what she does. Oh no, never mind. It's the quest for the legendary apple. Like Let's the go. apples that I pick. They say it's the apple of apples. Oh, Rarest kind of all. Oh damn. Legends call it the crystal gem apple. What is even going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> That sounds awesome! Where <laughs> <laughs> Literally me, when something sounds awesome, I just slap my friend. Where is it? I heard that it grows uh, in the deepest end of the evil dark forest. Whoa! Tree trunks, you gotta go pick that apple! Yeah! What, me? Oh no, I'm just a cute little elephant. Uh, I'm not sure you are, tree trunks. Okay, we're gonna have to do some research to understand exactly what we're dealing with here. Cut out for adventuring. Tree trunks, this is your dream! Think about eating that apple with your own mouth. Or your trunk. Imagine the that's not flavor. That's not how it works. And your satisfied face. Really? Yeah, they're just out here making a Higo hentai faces, and they're like, your face could look exactly like her. You think I can handle a scary dark forest? Yeah, and we'll help you. We love you, tree trunks. Aww. Okay, I'll do it. Call me adventurer tree trunks. Yeah! <laughs> tree tree trunks! trunks! What is even going on right now? I am so confused. I love being so high up from the ground. <laughs> uh, Psst, I could take you even higher on my shoulders, tree trunks. No, Jake, she has a weak heart. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. Ew, why is this ground all squishy? Whatever it is, I'm liking it. Oh, yeah. I this man's just putting it in his butt. I wanna try. Okay, I'm cool with letting you do whatever you want. <laughs> it's like some cookie dough. Oh god, it's Clayface. Oh, hello there. Huh? Uh, tree trunks, stay away from that. Ah! <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it, wall of flesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, wall of flesh. Dude, I love how it's like actually horrible. It's like terrifying. Oh my god. Uh, uh, but they make it like goofy. I and a mouth. Well, I think I've got the perfect thing for him or her stickers. Oh, yeah. Careful, tree trunks! This thing is evil! Here's a rainbow sticker. <laughs> and here's a scratch and sniff <gasps> sticker. Smells just like a pickle. Why would you have that? Oh. Why would you have and that? And this one's a holographic unicorn. But it doesn't have a horn. Hmm. Oh. Now what you doing? Oh, man. Huh? Tree trunks! <laughs> They, they sure scared off that wall of flesh. You better stay in that tree, baby. Tree trunks, were you putting stickers on that evil monster? Yes. I, I thought it needed some tender love and affection. Oh, shit. I've seen tree trunks doing way too much tender love and affection on my uh, second monitor right now. Oh. She's crazy, but great. What a pretty... Oh, it's a little bug... Oh. Right. Butterfly. Uh, is it, though? Is it tree really? trunks? Oh, Jake... I just realized that Tree Trunks is old and bonkers. We True. Average old person. Am can't I right? take her through that evil dark forest. True. Ah, she'll be fine. Everything's fine. But the monsters. It's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? Because she has zero adventurer training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> what is even going on? What is even good? Tree trunks outlive the allegations. What does that even mean? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like that the morals that this show teaches you are so twisted. Maybe it is fine. Tree trunks? Where'd she go? Tree trunks! <laughs> oh. What? You gotta find her, Jake. 
Where are tree you? Trunks. Tree trunks. She's very touchy feely. No, no. Tree trunks isn't a pedophile. Please, please. I am not ready for that. I expected a kids show with stupid dumb characters being stupid dumb and goofy. No, chat. No. Ed tree trunks four four five. Why are you saying yes? No. Trunks. And here's your teacup. And here's my teacup. Uh, tree trunks. Tree trunks. Hug. Oh. And here's your sandwich. Uh, Oops, you dropped it. Tree uh, trunks, run! Oh, hey, Finn. Uh, hey. Time to call your mama's evil signpost. Patience, boys. There's God enough damn. tea for everyone. Uh, no! Oh, what a nice hug. Why is there a miniature pedophile old lady elephant in the show? Uh, I'm trying to uh, save your life! Uh, there's too many! Oh! No! Inflation hentai going brrrr! Oh, fan. That tea party was crummier than a big old biscuit. Uh, tree trunks? I'm all jacked. Oh my god, she's the man. <laughs> oh, this poor dude. I'm because of you. Look at my jacked up face. Are you mad at me? <sighs> no. No, not... it's all those signs that were just jacking off on my face. Jacking up my face. I'm not mad at you. You're too super cute for me to be mad at you. And you're a top notch adventurer. Now. Let's go find and eat the heck out of that crystal gem apple together. Oh, just just don't pay attention to the living brain entrails. That's just cringe. Dang it! You go fight. I'll keep tree trunks out of trouble. Awesome. Makes sense. Uh, Jake, I think Finn's getting jacked up. And <laughs> Stop saying that, please. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Finn can handle it. Bro, bro, I'll I'll take care of her. You go deal with the giant rotting flesh of tentacle hentai. He's 12. I think. <laughs> I love it. Normally, okay, when have you ever seen a show like they would like kids, you know, going on adventures where they pay attention to how just a bunch of. Oh, okay. I know a way to help him out. Uh, you should stay here, Tree Trunks. But Finn said I was a top notch adventurer. Yeah, but he was lying. And my adventurous instincts tell me to seduce that tentacle critter with Wait, what? my womanly charms and elephant prowess. I, I want to leave. I want to die. I just want to have been dead. Is it too late to die before the stream started? Uh, no way. I, what is uh, even going on? What is even happening? Huh? What are you doing here, tree trunks? I'm helping you by tempting this guy with my body. I was not ready for this today. I do not want to see pedophile elephant seducing giant tentacle monsters. None of this is acceptable in any kind. Therefore, this is not what I wanted to do today. I just wanted to watch some crazy adventures and crazy shit. It's not a guy, Tree Trunks. It's a snake-armed ruby brain beast. Even brain beasts get lonely, fam. Jake, oh, you were supposed God. to watch her. She got past me, man. Oh, God, it worked on him. No. I tried to stop her, but she overpowered me. Get her out of here. Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Kill it! I can't find its magic gem weak spot. Oh! <laughs> you fucking show up. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> I did it. I helped. I'm the sexiest adventurer in the world. I am very confused right now. I am very confused. God damn it. I can't believe I've been seduced by an elephant. I mean, the monster got seduced by an elephant. Tree trunks? You're not an adventurer. You nearly got yourself killed again. Do you want to die, Tree Trunks? Is that what you think adventurers do? Die and make all the friends feel terrible because they couldn't save you? <laughs> Whoa, man. Whoa, dude. I'm going home now. <laughs> oh, no. Tree Trunks. Tree Trunks. Don't follow me. Oh, man. Oh, you this is like yell at cuties that just want to help you. Oh. That is horrifying. I'm going to see this shit in my wet dream. I mean, my nightmares.
Man, I feel horrible. I was only yelling because I care about her safety. Yeah, so why didn't you follow her? Why are you just sitting here moping? That's what happens when you care too much, dude. True. Moral of the story, be a sociopath like me. You gotta embrace your inner Nuxanor and just stop giving shits. Oh. <laughs> Tree Tree trunks! Trunks! Then I found the crystal gem apple. Oh, that was easy. You're the man, Tree Trunks. Tree Trunks, I'm a huge butt guy for getting mad at you. I'm a huge butt guy, the man says. Damn, you just like me for real, if you know what I'm saying. As a fellow butt guy, my friend, I respect... Wait a second, he's 12. Never mind. I'm a huge fart. I was only upset because I love you and I don't want to see you get hurt. Aww. That's precious, Finn. And I'll accept your apology if you let me kiss your cheek. What is happening? Well, I'm, I feel like I've lost my mind. Did I just lose my mind? Like, I feel like my mind was already kind of, it was kind of gone. It was already kind of, kind of not, not here. But did I find a new, I'm, I'm a new level of insane right now. I should not be streaming when I'm this high. Uh, I, I don't know. I. Whoa, let her kiss your cheek, man. What? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Is it? Whoa, huh? Let her kiss your cheek, man. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> I don't know. A crystal guardian. Tree trunks. Sure, of course it's just just your average crystal guardian experience. Stay out of the monster battle this time. I don't want you getting hurt. All right, I promise I will. Radical. Back off, you. Back off, you. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. This is why you don't fight Crystal Guardians, bro. Finn. Oh. Bro, the ultimate enemy. Oh my god. Oh. He's copying everything we do. <laughs> hey, it's my butterfly friend. That's precious. Right now. Woo! Shake it, tree trunks! Woo! Shake it, tree trunks! Now do you hear how cringe it is? Jim Clam! Let's beat it up while it's copying tree trunks! Yeah! yeah. Oh, crud. This is barf, dude. So barf. Oh man! I'm a total moron! We gotta fight this one tree trunk style! I'll get the makeup! Wait, what? I never expected to see 12 year old seducing a monster in, in a kid's show like this. What is even going on, bro? I don't know. Oh, Lord. Hey, Yo. Crystal Guardian! Are you okay with Tree Trunks taking a bite of that apple? I'm okay with it. I'm a little <laughs> And I'm stupid. I'm, I'm stupid. Got him. You are got him. The guardian, TT. Bite that thing. Okay. Woo! How's it taste, Tree Trunks? Yeah, how is it? Why did they need to dress up again? <gasps> ah! What? <laughs> she just died? Oh. <laughs> What? Did it just trap her in like an eternal high? It killed her? Oh my god, that took such a twist. I mean, they killed a pedophile, so I'm not like exactly that crying, but... Whoa! Welcome to the acid trip, the show. First character dies. She's not dead. She is dead. Bro, I don't know, man. That was twist. I'm gonna think of this for like the rest of the day. I am literally gonna have like for the rest of my day. I am going to be thinking of this. Dude, that is traumatizing. Oh my god. That is twisted. What? Low key, I am actually liking it. I, I don't know why. I don't know if that makes me the crazy one, but I am actually kinda liking it. And now it's time for drugs, so let's jump right into episode five, the Caridian. Dude, this, this whole show makes no sense, and I am here for it. The Incaridian. Oh my God, was he f dog with a breadstick? Bro, he is so real for that. Candy party! 
this whole show is just an actual fever dream. Like, I literally actually feel like I'm losing watching this every time. Like, look at this screen. Jake, this party is so crazy! I know, Finn. I know. Ha ha! Ha <laughs> ha I totally relate. I've been to parties before. I've, I'm always invited to parties. My my real life friends that are, are real and actually exist, they always invite me to, to parties all the time. That's why I went to so many parties in my life because I'm always invited to them. <laughs> I love being invited to parties. Ben, do you have a girlfriend? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful, marvelous party! Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, okay. You got Everyone this, bro. watch, I'm gonna do a flip! You got this. <laughs> <laughs> He was so close too, right? See, I'm nice to people. I could be, I could be at parties. I, I'm nice to people. I could like, I could, I could be nice and stuff. People, people wouldn't hate when I'm around. Oh my God, bro! Princess Bubble comes in trouble. Man, simp radar detected. It's called an erection. Watch where you're. He just like me for real. Going. <laughs> I guess gravity and adventure day. Yo, that was a really well done scene, actually. Like, not even gonna lie. That was nice. Holy oh, God. God. Is the okay? Oh, please. Okay, so obviously physics don't agree, but like, I'm watching Adventure Time, am I really gonna say that? Well, it doesn't actually make sense because if she would falling at that speed, even if she hits him, she should still splat just because he caught her. And um, physics don't make sense in this. This this is a fever dream. People, I am safe. Yeah, and Finn is touching her ass. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can we pour one out to Finn, the man that walked where no one in this chat has gone before? <laughs> Let's freaking go! Only one hand is sticking out. You know what the other hand is? It is up Princess Bubblegum's bubblegum. Oh, thank you, Finn. You truly are my hero this day. Man gets head pads too. God damn it. It should have been me! Cool. Hero. <laughs> hmm. Hero. That's pretty sexist. It should be Shiro. Hey, I just thought of something. Uh, what'd you think of? I'll show you. Come on. We'll go through my secret entrance. All right, everyone. Let's go. Turn around. Well, turn around. This entrance is secret. Dude, I love that she has Starfire's voice. I can't take her seriously as this psychopath nutso bitch <laughs> when she has Starfire's voice. Oh, oh that's nice. true. Secret entrance. Math. Hurry, Finn. <laughs> no way. Here it is. Check it out. A magical globe? No, Finn. Yo, it's no, it's one of the Dragon Balls, obviously. It's what you can see through the globe. Golly. <laughs> Look, That's crazy. See this book? Yeah, I see it. It's called the Enchiridion. Oh my god, dude. You are joking me. That's why everyone knew this was gonna be a thing. It's a book meant only for heroes whose hearts are righteous. <laughs> like me. Schmauzow! The book Schmauzow! That's what I say when Enchiridions happen, you know? Me when Enchiridions Schmauzow! Enchiridions and tits give me that same exact reaction. Whenever I see one of those two things, that is literally exactly what pops into my head. Lies at the top of Mount Cragdor, guarded by a man Bro, minotaur. she out there at the top of Mount Cragdor. Bro, they got the Starfire actress for the ideal part. It's waiting for a truly righteous hero to claim it. Do you think I've got the goods, Bubblegum? Because I am into this stuff. Yeah, I know. And yes, I do. Then off I go. Huh? Yeah. Yo, nothing a little suicide can't take care of. Huh? Thanks, pal. Farewell, Finn. Oh, wait a minute. Farewell, Finn, the human boy. Wait, hold up. She is just, is it just me? Or is she like incredibly manipulative? <laughs> Bye, princess. You know what time it is, buddy? Is it adventure time? Adventure time? Brother, he just said the thing. He just said the thing! That's incr- that's crazy! Yeah, man! Greeky 
Asian young heroes to be. This Bro, mouth... I freaking love the voice acting in this show. And it's called Cragdor. Its purpose is twofold. To protect the Enchiridion and to test the hearts of those who seek to possess it. Bro, I, I freaking love... I love that you have the random gatekeeper guy just explaining all this random shit. Many noble challengers have entered attempting to pass the grueling trials that lie behind these walls, but no one has ever left here alive or- He has said this so many times. Or dead. Only the truest, most worthy hero can receive the hero's end kind really and then walk out these doors again. If it is you, friend, oh, and I cannot say that I am certain, but you are verily welcome to try. Holy shit, man is cracked out of his gourd. Dude, this show is so wild. However, first you must pass my riddle. My my name is Keeper, and do be so, for I carry the key to this door. But all is not how it appears, you see. Open oh my god, man is not stopping! He has done this so many times! But you don't see it all. Oh, the I love him, what? He is in you, child, but you cannot use your brawn here. The door is magically sealed. Oh, you've unlocked the riddle in the door. Damn, man really passed the riddle like that? Bruh. Aha, brilliantly done, child. <laughs> Please, Bro did not need to talk for an hour and a half for that, not gonna lie. Reveal to me how you unraveled my clue. I just thought you'd look cute stuffed in that lock. Ayo, has he seen the Tinkerbell hentai too? Oh yes, that's how most people get in. Bye! You've passed the first trial, young heroes, but prepare yourselves, for there are many- Bro, this is just the hunter exam for meth addicts. Trials ahead of you. And each trial is more treacherous than the last. Literally the hunter exam for crackheads. The Anchoridian is... That way. What? Dude, you can't smell the- he could smell a book? Book from here? It's in the castle on top of the mountain. Damn, he's so smart. I'm such an idiot. He's so smart. God, he's so smart and hot and smart and cute and kind of hot and smart. In a room. <laughs> Wish you had one, huh? Bro, he's so based. I could tell that... I could tell that the, uh... The, the hentai for Adventure Time is really good. I could tell. I have a good nose. What could I say? What could I say? I could tell that the female characters in Adventure Time have more hentai than the male characters. That's kind of wild. Crazy how that happens. I could tell from the sense of smell. Help! 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 This way! What about the book? It can wait. Someone needs our help. Uh. He's so cool and based Yo, and Finn, real for that. Right? Did you get brain damage? I'm fine. Keep going. We have to hurry. God, what was that running? I got you. Was that an Odin reference? Thank you for saving us. You're welcome. Now we can destroy this old lady. La, 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 la. It's okay. She's old anyway. Just let it happen. What? Every time you say what, we'll destroy an old lady. No! That's the coolest power in the world! What the frick? <laughs> Every time you say what, we destroy an old woman. God damn! That is like your average anime villain. What? Every time you say no, we'll destroy an old lady. No! What? Please, no! Don't destroy you anymore! Ah! Old women! Every time you look sad, we'll destroy a big old woman. We're Ever since I got to <laughs> Bro, Nikikado's mom, why would they have to do her that way? She was so cute. Hey guys, every time he's a big wuss, let's destroy an old lady. Yo, they are so based for that. <laughs> These are my favorite villains, by the way. It's like, all Naruto villains, you can eat your ass out. I'm pretty sure that's how the expression goes. But this, this is how you write villains. Yes, pain fighting to, you know, because of pain and suffering, and he wants to install, like, this whole regime of pain and this continuous cycle of all that shit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No! Every time you say no, I will destroy an old lady. <laughs> hey, back off, you gnomes. That kid just saved you guys. You should thank him, not destroy old ladies. Do you Cringe, honestly. Kind of an L take from freaking yellow ass Jake. Think he's so cool. Thinks he's so smart fighting on the side of old ladies. Well, I'll tell you something, Jake. Let me tell you something about old women. They're gonna die. And when they die, they won't get your back the way you had theirs. So I'm just gonna go out there and say, kind of an L take, Jake. You even know what I'm talking about? Say thank you. Say thank you. Every time you say thank you, I destroy an old lady. Kill it. Yes! Yes! Get back in there! Oh shit. 
Hey, Finn, you okay? No way, dude. Those old ladies are destroyed because of me. <laughs> the old ladies are destroyed because of me. I love this show! And I don't even know why. Like, you'll ask me, why do you like Adventure Time? I would not be able to tell you! I'm not righteous. <laughs> I'm not righteous. I destroyed old ladies. What the fuck am I watching? And I love it so much. I'm wrong, Jis. Stupid, Jis. True. Ah, uh, don't let those gnomes and their illusions get you down. They're just... Illusions? You mean old ladies weren't destroyed in the process of making this video? Gnomes and illusions. Illusions? Yeah, man. Think, what would regular old sweet ladies be doing wandering the hills of Mount Cragdor? Yo, so true. Maybe they're lost? <laughs> no way. This place is designed to mess you up, to mess with your head. None of this is real. It's all just trials to test your heroic attributes. Bro. Hmm. Hmm. Now let's go get that. No old ladies were hurt in the process of this video. You don't understand. As he continues to gaslight Finn into thinking he didn't do anything wrong. Book. Yeah, you're the smartest dog I know, man. <laughs> Jake? <laughs> Jake! It's just an illusion. Don't worry, bro. It's just an illusion. Meanwhile, Jake is literally getting digested. Jake! You cannot pass. Bro, is that a motherfucking Gandalf reference? Get me back! No! It's okay, Finn! I can get out! Let Jake go, Ralph! I'll kick your foot! Uh, oof, look at that foot out there. For free? For free? Ha 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 ha! It is impossible for you to hurt me! <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I found another way to- Huh? I'm coming, buddy! <laughs> I think your dog finally fell into my stomach. Bro, I never thought I'd see uh, Nikocado Avocado animated in a less terrifying way than Meat Canyon. That's crazy. I feel like all of Adventure Time is just less horrible meta Meat Canyon. Hey, where'd you go? I got your wallet, man. Yo, what? You just stealing his dough like that? No, my big money. Give it back. Give but I killed him already! Fine. Oh. oh my god, dude, this show is so fucking crazy. This show is just so unhinged. I'll give you your dollar! Here's your dollar! Oh, oh my god, right in his giant testicles! Jake! He was kicked in his giant balls, and Jake runs out on a stream of puke. I, I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know anymore. You're okay. Stomachs are weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! Dude, you just flew us all the way to the top. Wait a minute. I can smell the book right through this door. Bro is still playing this shit. <laughs> You're under arrest for stealing my dollar! Just a minute, Jake. I'll just turn it into a paper airplane and give it right back to him. Even though he puked nut out of his mouth all over the place, don't worry. We got his back. You know what that was? That, that was an act of being heroic. Quality television. It was righteous. Yeah, it was righteous. Look at this man blushing, thinking of that princess bubblegum bussy on the way back. Thanks, Jake. Now sniff out that book for me. You got it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's not scary at all. Not nothing like some trees with hands and the holding knives coming out of it. Yep. Yep. That that's terrifying. That's some that's scary as shit. Cool. Congratulations, Finn the Human. How did they even come up with this? This is like a random nothing burger of an episode. And you got the, this shit coming out of trees and all that? Brother, how did they come up with all this? You must be truly righteous to have made it this far. Thank you. Now, enter my brain world, and I will show you some aspect of yourself that you're not entirely aware of. Oh my god! You're telling me that I actually have problems and flaws in my character? Well, take that, idiot, because I knew that already. I already know that I'm cripplingly depressed. What are you gonna do, huh? Where am I? Well, 
for just, your final just trial. Said you're in Slay the beast. Why? Is it an evil beast? Yes. <laughs> I love that he asks. You have this horrible contorted monster of arteries and skeleton lasers. And it's like, but is he evil though? Like, just, just want to make sure. I don't want to, don't want to accidentally slay some like nice beast. It's completely evil. Will you slay it? Shoot, yeah. I'll slay anything that's evil. That's my deal. <laughs> so real for that. <laughs> yes, you've done well here. What even the fuck is happening right now? Oh. This hypnosis brain stuff is way better in hentai. Thank you. Now. He's so cute about it. Thank you. Now I will wreck your bones asunder. Cool. As one last, last trial. Slay this ant. Is it evil? No. But it's not good either. It's uh, neutral. Will you slay it? It's a neutral ant. No! If you want the heroes and Kyridian, then slay this unaligned ant. <laughs> it's an unaligned ant. This is an ant that is neither a socialist nor a capitalist. He is not American. He is not Russian. He's just a freaking ant, bro. This here, this here is a Swedish ant. Don't worry about it. He didn't work for the Allied forces. He didn't work for Hitler. He was just kind of vibing on the Alps when the whole Holocaust was going down. He is unaligned. He had no team. Never, never, never! <laughs> he broke out of his mind torture. He kicked a, a freaking ghost woman in the balls and- Congratulations, Finn the human. Now you have truly re- What the frick? <laughs> Mr. Keeper, I Bro didn't want to slay an ant and he just punched a random guy in the dick. Yo, why does he always go for the dick? What? Why are you wearing that little devil costume? These are my pajamas. I was getting Damn. ready for bed. Finn, Jake, you made it. Are you in- What the fuck? Another trial? Trial? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Manish Man. The man hey, it's Manish Man. He's so real for that. Minotaur. <gasps> The manly minotaur from Princess Bubblegum's story! <laughs> <laughs> My biceps have biceps! So, can I check out the Enchiridion? Can I, can I, can I? Yeah, come on, let's go check it out. Woohoo! We've been watching you guys on our magical viewing globe. Take a seat, guys. No old ladies were hurt in the process of making this video. Guys, have some juice. There's grape and apple, and the gatekeeper made spaghetti. And. All right, Finn, are you ready for this? What the frick did he, did he just pull that out of his dick? The Enchiridion! You deserve it, Finn. Really? Yeah, Finn. You're the goodest of heart and most righteous hero I've seen here. Yeah. Tenderness, ingenuity, bravery, nard kicking ability. And when you took that giant ogre's dollar, <laughs> oh man, the keeper nearly fainted. <laughs> Me, it's true. <laughs> the show is so weird. I am so confused. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Crack open that book and read something for fun's sake, all right? Oh, yeah. Whoa. How to kiss princesses? What is even happening? <laughs> Whoa. What'd you just read? Yeah, what does it say, Finn? Manish Man won't tell me. Hey, don't tell her, Finn. It doesn't say anything, princess. Manish Man! Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> this is the wildest show I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> This is the most important lore episode. What does that even mean? Nothing that I saw made any sense. I didn't get anything. They were just talking and, and, and saying things and there was this whole adventure and I don't know anything that happened. I have never been this confused. Dude, 
I'm telling you, I love that this is a fantasy story. But normally, when I watch a fantasy story, I could, I get it, right? Because they're still people. They're still people with very similar beliefs as people in the real world. So you can always understand and relate to certain characters. I feel like this show takes fantasy to another level entirely. It's fantasy from a level even more detached from reality. This coked out, cracked out, bath salts having goddamn colorful seizure of an animated show literally has me coked out of my mind watching it and i'm not gonna lie i am actually loving it i i don't even know why i don't understand it but i'm actually loving it and we're watching another episode the next one's called the jiggler we have to see the jiggler because every time i think jiggling I, i'm thinking of boobs and when i think of boobs makes me happy bro why is he holding cum the jiggler what's the jiggle of jig what's the jiggler jiggling right now even this music Mm. I know what you need. What the fuck is going on? What's that? You want your little baby socks for your little baby feet. Mm. What what is happening right now? What what is going on? What what is happening? I'm high on adventure time, dude. This sh no show has ever had me this perturbed. Baby. Yeah. I know what you crave. Oh yeah, what's that? You want to put your best socks in on? Will baby be happy? How did you sing like that, dude? Remember when I swallowed that little computer? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah, obviously, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Stanley, you and your family are safe again. Seriously, Stanley, for a watermelon, you get into trouble way more. Oh, my God. The watermelon was the client. More often than you should. What? Whoa, whoa! What the? Schmauzow! Look! Bro, stop! What? Schmauzow! Literally me when I see dying princesses and titties and books. Get that! That is the most adorable- Oh my god, it's a shuckle! ...horrible thing I have ever seen. And he loves your baby song. Sing some more of it, dude. All right. Baby! You looking so good. What is going on, bro? Want some baby food? Keep it going, man. What is what the what is going on here? Oh, wow. You looking so fine? You looking like you might. Yo, Shuckle Hentai goes crazy though. So like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I've I've pondered this before. Just stop crying. I'm gonna cry if this doesn't stop soon. Yeah, dude, this guy is a pal for life. It looks like he's got two jiggly bellies stuck together. He's the jiggler! Oh my god, there's no way, ain't no way! I've got that on my back. I call it my butt. He's so real for that. He's so real for that. Whoa! <laughs> he's the jiggler! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> you are the best thing ever. Let's take the jiggler back to the house and just stick him by her bed so we can wake up next, next to, to a, a little, little dancing, dancing guy, guy every morning. morning. This is terrifying. <laughs> what is going on here? I feel like my brain is growing parasites watching this. Woo. I gotta suck you in, girl. Do you think I'm gonna suck you in? I gotta sing sweet melodies about babies, yeah. Why is he singing about babies? Little baby feet. Welcome to your new home. Feast your eyes on everything. Nice, huh? What are you doing? Splitting what? my toothbrush in half so he can use half. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Kinda. Here you go. It's for your teeth. Like this. Yeah, you got it. I, I don't think that's okay. Enough hygiene. Let's get to it. Yo, he's so based, bro. He's just so based. Enough of this hygiene nonsense. Hygiene is just a word developed by the government to keep you enslaved. Yeah, toothbrush dance. Haha, <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah! What the frick are they doing? 
What? I am so confused. What is even going on here? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Dance. Dance. Knowing this show, not that I know much of this show, but just the fact that I know a little bit about this show, is this like some Eldritchian monster that's controlling their minds and actions and polluting their space? Is this an embodiment of chaos? Constantly fighting for control, giving them a party that never ends. Oh, God. I'm not tired. How about you, Jake? Maybe we should go upstairs. You can have the comfiest spot on the bed. That's so not based. Good night. Okay. Morning, Jake. Hmm. <sighs> Morning. Are you ready to get down? Let's get this party started! <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Where's the little guy? Over there. Hey, pal. Oh, he's you dying. You ready to cut loose? Wake and shake, buddy. Let's do this thing. Slam a cow. That fool looks rumped. Jiggler's dying, bro. Well, look at him. He's all limp. Weird? Uh, I bet you just need some breakfast after a night of extraordinary jiggling. The word jiggling should not be used in this context. It is a sacred word that should be used for titties and titties alone. I am I am not okay with this blasphemous use of such a holy word. Hey, let's combine everything we can find in the kitchen and have the jiggler drink it. That'll wake him up. Yo, that is such terrible advice ever. Please stop. And then we can get down. He doesn't want to drink that goop, man. Then let's just give it- Bro, this child does not want to drink your goop! Some, uh, purple whatevers. You mean the grapes? Yeah, whatever. Hey, I think he's digging it! That doesn't sound good. What the frick? Uh... Uh, you think we... You think we fed the wrong hole? Nah, he just doesn't like purple whatevers. What we need to do is figure okay. out what he does like to eat. Oh, stop putting things in this child's mouth! God damn it, I'm literally doing it to myself at this point. Here, Jiggler, what kind of food do you like? Meat? Some banana? Why are you drawing faces it on all the like food? Corn. Please don't do that. What? That banana! That is not a banana! Hot dog. <laughs> yeah, God, color that one up. Yeah, the watermelon. Look, Jake! He likes it! Wow! No way! His favorite food what? is drawings! Awesome! Holy- I am high. I'm not actually streaming right now, am I? Are, are any of you real? Think that's awesome! What food are you drawing now? I'm drawing a picture of you. Well, don't feed it me! <laughs> Come on! Eat him up, Jiggler! No! Ah! ah. Keep it away! Shoo! Shoo! Ah, ha, ha. No! Ah! All right, all right, I got it. Calm down. I'll eat him. I, I, ha, ha. Dude, you eating me is just as bad as the jigglery. True. Stop eating out your friends when they don't consent. Eating me. Well, you gonna eat yourself, tough guy? Yes. If that is what must be done. No. 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 I taste awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I am literally in a fever dream right now. I I don't even know. Now, let's get back to some jiggling. I'll get the tunes. <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Jiggler. Wiggle and whistle. Yeah, Jiggler. Go nuts. Go nuts like there's bugs on your butts. <laughs> Bro is literally dying right now. Do something. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Jiggler? Ugh. More like the Jizzler. What the heck? What's wrong with him? Uh, there's nothing wrong with him. Stop gaslighting yourself. We just gotta plug up his holes. See? That worked. Ready to jiggle again, little guy? There's another hole where that came from. Whoa! Oh, man. Quick! We gotta plug those holes! Yeah, I feel like that's not a good... Okay. Jake, hurry! All I can find is your glass eye collection. What about your eye patch collection? Oh man, they're in mint condition. Yeah. Oh right, man. Coming. 
mama, 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 mama. They, they're creating a monster. One more patch. Yeah. Finished. Ugh. What in everything that is unholy? What kind of Frankenstein BDSM tentacle hentai am I watching right now? You look terrible. Finn, I know you don't want to hear this, but I think we should cut our losses and bring this fella back to where we found him. We can't just abandon him. Look at him, Jake. He needs us now more than ever. We just need to take better care of you from now on, right, little guy? Jiggler! Oh. I have never been this high. Okay. Ah! Man's literally covered in jizz right now. Our pet exploded. Ah! Ah! Maybe we can scrape him up. Okay, dude, he, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, holy moly. Don't worry, Jiggler. We'll fix you. Oh my God. Him up. What? This is actual horror. He's all over the place. Even between the floorboards and the cupboards. And uh, this is just me when when I it, I have a night alone with some good hentai and Viagra. And the galoshes. No wonder. Where's this Heine? Found it. Kill you. Hey. Come on. Let's uh, put him back together. Okay. So he's real hard. He's slipping. Got him. What is even going on, bro? At least. How did I he's don't? All in one piece. They literally suffocated him to death. What is happening? You think he's dead? No way! I won't let you die, guy. Not this time. Not this time? Bro is literally blowing into his asshole right now. What is even happening? I am so confused. I am so confused. This is a mistake. Watching this show is a mistake. Being here was a mistake. My parents... My parents having me was a mistake! Bro, what is happening? Man, stop it, man. What are you doing? I'm kissing him. What do you think? It's all I can think to do. Just put him down. Oh, that's not horrifying. What? He's kissing huh? colors with his dying breath. I think he's what? trying to tell us something. Yeah, he needs to go back to his Man, this looks like he could be his mom. We took this child away from his mama, Jake. What? Assholes. We're kidnappers and murderers. <laughs> when the realization hits, dude, when I kidnapped and murdered someone back in the day, dog, when it first hit me that I was like, holy shit, I'm a kidnapper and a murderer. Like, dude, my lawyers are good, but I don't know if they can fight both of those charges. I just wanted to have fun and jiggle. Look, this is the moral of the story. Jiggling is never good unless it's in regard to titties. I've been saying this for the last 10 minutes and no one's been listening. Chill out, okay? We can fix this. Check it out. His mom looks like she's out by Stanley's house where we found the jiggler. If we get him back to her, she'll be able to fix him up. Then there's no time to spare. Shh. Just hold on a little longer, buddy. Did you hear that? Whistling. <laughs> Being secular, it's the mama. Look, the little guy wants to go home. Well, this is it, buddy. Be well. Dude, literally die on the way to the mom. That would be crazy. What the fuck? Hey! Stop that! I don't understand. What was Man, that? That crazy mama almost killed him. Yeah, it was like when you touch a kitten, the cat's mom doesn't want to like take care of the kitten anymore. He feels cold. What are we supposed to do now, man? We can't bring him home or he'll... Just throw him in the... Come! Or he'll... Dang it! Why doesn't she love him? I love him. You love him. It's not fair. True. Ah! Wait! Ah! Mama's supposed to love me! Bro, there's probably some wild hentai out of this shit. She's supposed to love baby! Huh? Oh, man! It's yours, idiot! <laughs> Don't you recognize your own baby? Babe. I figured it out, dude! It's because it smells like us! And we also gave our entire audience epilepsy! It's the juice! 
The Jiggler needs to smell like it's mama's juice. That's how wild animals know what's going on. And this guy right here is all drained out. We got to toss it in the soup, brother. Oh, yeah, no. toss the baby. Okay, I loved you, baby. I hope you know that. Word to your mother! They just threw a child. They just threw a child into the juice. Well, that, that's terrifying. I don't even know what this episode was supposed to be about, honestly. Holy crap, bro. Every time I feel like I'm getting close to understanding something about this show, the next episode just throws me a hole for a whole loop. Aww. I'll never kidnap again. Now that's character development. Listen, it took me at least two or three kidnappings until I realized it was completely inappropriate. You said it. That was a nightmare. Yeah, this episode was a nightmare. <laughs> I don't even know what I watched. Uh, I don't I don't think this this wasn't my favorite of the episodes that I've seen so far. It was good. It was good, but I have no idea what is going on. I am so lost. I felt like the jiggler after uh, I was kissing the floor. Ricardio the heart guy, bro. Adventure Time has been sending me tripping. I have been so like high watching Adventure Time. I don't understand how much I like it. Like this is one of those shows that I don't understand at all. Like none of it. I literally don't know what I am watching, but I love it so much. Like, listen to this. What the frick is this soundtrack? <laughs> Yo, Ice King is back! I love Ice King. I love Ice King. All my homies love Ice King. I only saw him once, and he's already my favorite character. Hey, Fart Bay! Huh? On him, Princess Bubblegum! Foolish interlopers. Yo, the ultimate strategy. Huh? <laughs> hey, Ice King! I bet you'll never kiss the princess! I will kiss her. I will! Ain't no way. This guy is literally kidnapping. This is like... <laughs> this only would happen at Adventure Time. Can you imagine, like, him kissing... Bowser kissing Luigi's ass instead of the princess? Hold still. <laughs> you just kissed Jake's butt. What? Yo, they totally got that 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 sex offender. Yo, they, they made that sex offender kiss a butt. Damn. <laughs> the hour is yours, but the day shall be mine. Dude, I love his feet so much. Just like you, princess. For free. Mine. What a patoot. Thanks for saving the day. Wait, so he's not even like the main character here. He's just kind of around. They sex offended the sex offender. So real. So true. So true and real. Again, boys. You're welcome, princess. Uh... I'm gonna throw you to a party. Meet at the Candy Kingdom tonight! <laughs> Bro, this show is just so wild. I'm like losing my mind. I don't understand anything. <laughs> that paper crane for princess. Well, that was like a random balloon transmission. <laughs> random transition slide of balloons. <laughs> Except, except because it's adventure time, one balloon is screaming their head off. That paper crane for Princess Bubblegum? I just thought I'd bring her a gift. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a nice gift. Turn for throwing us this party. <laughs> I bet you wish you were my butt. What? I... <laughs> I bet you wish you were my butt because then the princess, you know, no, wait. I bet you wish you were the Ice King and the princess was my butt. Yo! I love how he didn't fumble the delivery of that at all. What? Hmm. Oh, I bet you wish Bubblegum would kiss you too, like the Ice King and my butt. That's ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, so wholesome. Look, look at look at this guy. Look at look at this guy. My man out here with his throbbing, veiny, girthy disgustingly large and erect imagination. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, everybody. Finn and Jake are here. Who's ready to... Who did they get to voice act that? They literally got a dumpster crack baby to voice act this guy. Who's ready to party? <laughs> What's everyone laughing at? Shh. 
Stand back, everyone. Oh, God. What the frick is this? This style of massage is called best friend massage. Oh, my gosh. Because it can only be done. Dude, why is this the lumpy lady still here? And for friends, it is completely consensual. Oh, holy cow. I love consensual friendship. It's my favorite kind. Relax yourself now, lumpy space princess. Uh, I feel so cracked. Who is that guy? <laughs> oh god. Greetings, party it's goers. the Rizzler. Glad you could he was, she was just getting carried by this guy. I'll make it. Princess Bubblegum. Princess. I Bro is a simp. I just wanted to thank you for Oh my gosh, Pivy, you gotta check out this super cute guy. You're gonna love him. Uh this is uh Oh my gosh. Bro, he has a butt! I don't even know your name. Ricardio. <laughs> oh, I get it. Cardio, because cardio is heart. So, so Ricardio, because he's, 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 okay. Ricardio at your service. I've been waiting all- He is terrible. Holy shit. The, the, like, extra realistic eyes. This man is nightmare fuel. All evening to meet you, princess. Mwah. I've heard you appreciate ancient technology. Have you ever used a belbaflonic laser to align the hibernautilus rift in the Boobatron plasmordial formation? I hate when people just creep in and, and take my Boobatron lines like that. That's just, that's not right. This whole episode, you start with the Ice King kissing this other guy's ass. This is just some really freaking weird, ugly bastard episode. Wait, wait, I did not need an ugly bastard Adventure Time episode. Why you gotta bring me back to reality like this? Adventure Time is supposed to be like a wild world where I don't understand anything. But I will know, I know ugly bastards anywhere. Whoa, no, I haven't. You want to continue this conversation on the dance floor? It would be my pleasure, princess. Damn. Why didn't the princess invite me to dance? If you want to dance, just go dance. Oh. But now she's dancing with him. I feel weird. I feel uh, I'll, uh, cucked. Oh. Sounds like you're dealing with some new emotions you don't understand. Like jealousy. Blarg! Look, man. Blarg! Just go. Dude, I love this show so much. It makes no sense and it's beautiful. Out there and get down! The plasmodial layer is completely independent of the Babylon. I love how they make sure that you have his butt waving. Every time they go around, you have his like little hard butt flapping around. Dip. Wow! That would mean that the Babylons would fluctuate with the Piranha Nanosphere. Correct. Ugh. They're talking about science, man. I can't compete with that. Do the science dance. Remember it? What? It was sort of like this. You think that'll work? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Do it, man. You're a pro. Science dance. Science dance. Proximity. Science dance. Hey, hey, princess. You want to spend some time with me? Excuse me, princess. You must excuse me. Oh, uh, all right. Then, what the cabbage? I was learning about the What the damn cabbage? Yes, it is the Starfire voice actress. Oh, I'm into Sanoids. They're the best. Xanoids kill hundreds of thousands of plantoids a year. Oh no, not the plantoids! Plantoids produce melotoxin. Melotoxin kills xanoids. So are xanoids good things? Uh, You're yeah. totally jealous of Ricardio. No, I'm. Yo, women. They can see right through your bullshit. I just don't like the way he talks to you. It makes me feel weird. That's je and jealous. Jealousy, hon. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous, and this hard thing in my pants is. I'm weird. Woof, man. This is going bad. Hey, Finn, you gotta come help me slay these peanut monsters at the bar. Yo, wingman, wingman. I can't wait. Wow, man, what happened out there? Uh, I don't know. I was trying to warn her, but, but she twisted my words around. Yeah, ladies are twisty, man. You can't get canceled if I just pause on a based Jake line, right? You can't get canceled if I just pause. Like, I'm not, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing on, on, on the uh, object permanence on... On, on women and, and their levels of twistiness. I am not neither neither confirming nor disagree. I am just simply existing. Bubblegum's super smart, too. I know, and I can't shake this weird feeling about Ricardio. I think he's a villain. Why? Is it because his face is so foldy and dramatic? No, I can just feel it in my gut. He's up to something sinister. <laughs> Maybe what you feel is romantic rivalry. I'll prove oh. he's a villain. How? Steak out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a little stocking to go the right way. Nothing like some 
stockage. Here he comes. They're talking. Let me see. I could read their lips. Hey, Shorty, you should pick your boogers and then fart. You look kind of like a big pink baguette. Get serious, Jake. This is life and death. Is it? Don't get me wrong. I'm all about stakeouts and spying on this guy. But what if he's not a villain? What if he just looks wicked? Some people look wicked but are super nice. That is just not true. Ugly people all deserve to be burnt at the stake and, and nailed to cross. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Someone had to say it and no one has the balls to, but I will. I gotta trust my gut. That was a joke. Don't cancel me. I was actually just kidding. Like, for dramatic effect, I was playing up an obvious, like, mm. He's on the move. Let's roll. <sighs> Yo, he's just Spider-Man. What the? I see him. He's holding rope and going into the trash. Never admit fault. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Yeah. Smashing bottles <laughs> and pretending to stab someone. Oh, damn. That's, that's some criminal activity. So he's recycling? For what? I think your gut's a little naive, Jake. Holy moly. He's, he's with the Ice King. Oh, my God. For shouting something. Ricardio is tossing him in the dumpster and running away. So I was right. He is a good guy. No, don't say that. Just because the Ice King is kidnapping and sexually harassing women, it doesn't mean he's a... Okay, is the Ice King just Blizzard Entertainment all along? Who's just cursed to look suspicious. You and me got together forever. Solving crimes and making up rhymes. That's what I say every time I eat pizza. No way. This proves he's a super villain. More powerful than lesser villains like the Ice King. You're Bro, ain't no way you're gonna call him a lesser villain like that. Gut says he's evil. My gut says he's good. Why not put our guts together and end this funky feud? Then it's settled. We're gonna confront Ricardio. What is even going on? I am like, what is even happening? Like this whole show is like a literal fever dream. Nothing that I say in the context of watching Adventure Time should be taken seriously. Disclaimer for all my future watchings of Adventure Time. Nothing I say during an Adventure Time watch is valid because I am currently on metaphorical cocaine. Go face to face and prove he's evil. Or good. So what are you doing, Ricardio? Are you evil? Or nice, with an evil face. That's none of your business. The safety of Princess Bubblegum is my business. Yeah, we just want to know if you're evil or not. Oh, yeah? He looks like the kind of guy that would steal breast milk. Editor, put the article of the breast milk blizzard stealing on screen, please. Thank yeah. You. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. You stay away from Princess Bubblegum with all that stuff. Now that my plan is nearly complete, there is no way you can stop me. I could stop you if I wanted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <gasps> what is even happening right now? What's going on here? Princess Ricardio? Yes. It was all part of his plan. All part of his plan to make him look bad. Oh, my God. This, this Ricardio guy is some sinister shit. All right, princess. Finn, oh. why'd you do it? He was going to hurt you with those oh. ropes and bottles. These were for our Balbaflonic laser? It's not all his fault, princess. I might have looked a little threatening. Finn, you shouldn't punch brainiacs. You know how what? fragile they are. You gotta stop this jealous business. What? Come on, Ricardio. Bro, man is a menace! I'll catch you up and give you candy. Just give him a, a slick, evil look. Just like look back with like an evil little glance. I know you she want hates to. me now. I was totally wrong about Ricardio. No, Finn, you are not wrong. Let's go, Ice King, best boy! He's literally, he's my favorite character so far. And and don't stretch this into something like, yeah, he's he, technically he's a sex offender, but like, let's, let's not, let's not twist it. I can appreciate a villain while thinking that his actions are rather rude. Is evil. <laughs> Ice King, what do you know about this? Tell me or I'll do something! Hold on. Oh god, now that's a threat. Uh, Finn, the Ice King looks sort of damaged. I don't care. I only care about rec I don't care about damaged people! Damn, man is so based out here. Just on on the on main like that. On main. Cardio. But my enervated condition has everything to do with him. I was trying to cast a spell that would give me total control of Bro. Princess Bubblegum's Ain't heart. No way. But I messed it all up. Lost control of mine. Wait. What? <laughs> what? 
just happened? <laughs> he planned to rip out Princess Bubblegum's heart to make it his bride. Okay, that's terrifying, honest to God. Like, holy shit, that's like some JoJo level of body horror. What just happened? <laughs> Without my heart, I grew weak. Uh, but I made my way to the Candy Kingdom to look for him. In an alleyway, I begged him to- What is this plot? Okay, let me try to get this straight. You have a guy who's a sex offender that's trying to kidnap a lady so that he could basically make her his bride against his will. This guy wanted to make a potion to kidnap her, basically, to mind control her, to steal her, but it backfired and his heart came out and his heart's plan is now to kill the lady and steal her heart to marry her heart to troll the sex offender kidnapper who's now a good guy question mark and this whole episode's 10 minutes long and we got this whole freaking plot this is a game of thrones shit oh my god this show's amazing to return to me and leave the princess alone but then he threw me in the dumpster and left me for dead stop ricardio gah come on jake gotta save the princess princess, princess! bubblegum <gasps> You were right all along. No way! The creepy broken bottles and the, and the rope was actually for like kinky stuff and not actually for boob lasers um, or whatever he called it. Then, uh, now I'm going to cut out Princess Bubblegum's heart and make. Oh my god, dude! Yo, whoever wrote this show went to the artist and was like, yo, I want a rape face on this heart. Just. Please give me the heart and just put a rape face on it. The scariest possible rape face you can. Out with it. Now if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> One step closer and I'll remove her heart. Finn, I feel like a big idiot for doubting you. He was just so engaging. But his knowledge on plantoids is actually pretty weak. Shut Damn. Damn, you're really gonna roast him in that situation, homie? Oh my god, now is not the time. Your mouth a princess. <laughs> I'm gonna smooch that heart. It will be my bride. Why don't you marry someone your own size? Like my foot! Huh? <laughs> he has the worst, like, hero attacks of all time. And my fist! <laughs> <laughs> that is the saddest villain I've ever seen. Stop it! That's my heart, you piece of ice king! Uh, 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 should we let him take his heart back? He is villainous. I don't want to watch an old man die on Princess Bubblegum's carpet. True, if he was outside, like, then whatever. But, like, on his on her carpet, though? And oh, yeah. Wait, wait, Come to wait, daddy. No. Okay, that's terrifying, honestly. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. This is a little scary. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's some weird self sess shit. I'm not, I'm not for this. You like that, huh? See you guys later. <laughs> Dude, this is, like, the... the prologue to some whole ugly bastard arc that's coming. I feel wonderful! <laughs> and now that I've saved the princess, she'll marry me and live in my dungeon every day. Aw, oh, man, that's so wholesome! No, she won't. Yeah, no, I won't. Yes, you will. Yeah! Oh! Well, maybe not today or tomorrow. <laughs> he's flying away with his beard. No! He's flying away with his beard. Oh, but another day. Another <laughs> Dude, he's the coolest character. I freaking love him. Thanks again saving me. Again. Don't mention it. Now that Ricardio's gone, you don't have to be jealous of anyone anymore. I never get jealous. Kiss me, Finn. <laughs> I mean, kiss me, Finn. Am I doing it right, Jake? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Schmauzo, that's horrible, bro. Anyway, thanks for being here. <laughs> this was an episode of all time somehow. I don't know what I'm watching, but apparently Adventure Time is it's real. It's a show that exists, and that's what that's why I'm here. I'm here because it's a show that's, that exists. True story true and real and true everyone's been telling me adventure time was good for years and i saw like little clips and it was all just so stupid and i was like this is so dumb this is so stupid dumb this is dummy dumb and then i i watched a few episodes and i'm like oh my god i love how high this makes me all right let's watch some shrooms gamers let's get right into the shrooms one of us 
Business time. It's business time. This'll be wholesome, probably, because business has always been wholesome. Okay, all right, wholesome. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know, man. The first second, he's holding a little fire monster and he uses it to light the end of a flamethrower while he's standing on a glacier. What? Only this show could start an episode like this. Yes! I found another bike and more- What? <laughs> computers, what do you got? I keep finding baby shoes. What the heck, man? And they're all lefties. Sorry I'm not finding any loot. Keep it together, Chubby, because I think we found enough scrap to finish building our gauntlet dock. A dock that is also a gauntlet. Because obviously they're building that. Sure, sure. Aw, building this gauntlet dock is hard, man. Hard work sucks. Don't be... Real. True. So true, Jake. Man, God, that is so real. Lazy Jake. Huh? Incoming iceberg! Whoa! That one's huge! I got dibs! Ooh, I hope it's not baby shoes! Oh, God. <gasps> it's a guy! Brother, what? Creepy. It's a bunch of guys. You know what they remind me of? Well-dressed pickles. Stand back, Jake. I'm gonna melt them out of there. Full charge. Whoa, don't roast them, man. You gotta flambe. Bro, we're watching his dog waving uh, uh, his dick gun at a ice thing full of people i don't even know man ah perfect bro what are they zombies like what is this shit growing out of their face Yo, bon appetit hey can you hear me hello i don't think they made it hey this one's got some kind of pack <laughs> Yeah, right? At me, when uh, I'm touched by old men. I remember <sighs> business. Is this supposed to be some kind of weird post-apocalyptic world type shit? Every episode has like these weird like sides to it. It's like, on the one hand, yes. You have these, these zombie lawyers that show up in icebergs and they melt them out and they have like this whole episode shit go on. But how did this happen? And the how it happens for every single episode is so dark. Like, that's what makes Adventure Time keep appealing to me. Every episode, like, I want to understand. <laughs> look out, look out, look out! We are businessmen. Oh. They just like me, for real. Definitely donate, definitely subscribe and, and like. Oh, well, I'm Finn and he's Jake. What kind of business do you do? Been frozen. So long, I can't remember. I don't know, but I'm surrounded by liberals. <laughs> can't remember. Huh. Looking for help your business? We love work for you. Nah, adventures don't need any help. Yes, help us fix that dock. Dock? Uh? Yeah, right over there. Yes, okay. this dock uh, could be more efficient. No, wait. <laughs> Jake. This dock is our fun pie. We should be the ones to bake it. But they're begging for it, Finn. Just and also, why do work if someone else will do it for you? That's just basic, basic business. Get em. Finn, these poor souls are lost without jobs. We can't True. ignore their plight. They're just like your average New Yorker. Uh... Come on, guys, fix it up. <laughs> 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 They do seem really happy to do it. Of course, man. They're they said they'd love work for you. Uh, we we finish. finish. Whoa! Told you so. Yo, on, let's perfect. Try it out. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh, that, that's good. That was that was a huge success. Yeah. See, if we hire them full time, they'll be back in business and we'll be able to focus on fun stuff. Fun stuff, like getting my ass kicked in by my own inventions. Let's go. Everybody wins. Maybe you're right. You hear that, guys? Maybe I'm right. Really? <laughs> Job with 
Adventurers? Yeah, man! Yeah! <laughs> it's just like the isekai anime where the NPCs get transported to another world to help out and simp for the hero. Feels weird doing nothing. Relax, man. This is your day off. Bro, that's actually kind of dark in a weird way. This is just like some some kind of crazy employment agency that they have going on here. Somebody Trouble, dude. Get your ass. I'll get mine. What? Adventure pack. Ready for you. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> At some point, if your life is always the highs, then there are no highs. If you have people out there just doing all the scut work for you so that you only get to live life, what what is a video game with zero grinding? Say, Jake, my sword is totally shiny and stinking sharp. Uh-huh. Even my shoes feel different. Not only are they clean, I feel radder, faster, more adequate. Cool. Very cool. Schmauza. <laughs> What the frick is going on? Don't cry, hot dog princess! Sure, the hot dog princess is being attacked by floating tofu. Th this totally makes sense. Nick and I will send off these battle cubes. Stop you! I'm getting tired. Oh, me too. These cubes are. Ooh. Freaking resilient. Hey, business dudes, uh -huh. hold off these cubes so we can catch our breath. Jake, they don't know how to fight. We're going to fight. Here we go. Water, orange slices help rehydrate. Are these guys going to get paid at some point? Like, are they going to ask them for, uh, you know, and now I demand your kidney as, as payment. These guys are great, right? I gotta admit, they are helping. Oh, I think I figured out how to defeat the battle cues. That's because you had time to rest your body and refresh your brain. Yeah, guys. Okay, we'll take it from here, guys. Yeah, good work. <laughs> Grab all the cubes together. Got him. Ah! It worked. Wake up, hot dog princess. You're free. Oh, thank you. They just saved the hot dog princess. All you needed is a little bit of slavery. I mean, a business associate. Especially you, Finn. <laughs> Ugh, she smells like old hot dog water. <laughs> I take one for team. <laughs> yeah! This businessman's never touched a glizzy before. This is awesome! You get a promotion, fella! Ooh! Take Yay. one for team two. Yay! Oh, lost again! My turn! Dude, next scene, they're just gonna be these two fat asses sitting on a chair. And it's like, oh, adventure! Oh, oh, the business guys could take care of it. What's that? Whoa! God damn! Hero vision monitor. Use satellite to tell us world problems. Oh, wow. Anything going on? Just small things. You save stress for big things. Freaking awesome, man. What are they doing? Taking care of business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's not slavery. It's just unpaid internships. What's the difference? <laughs> that was a joke, obviously. Twitter, don't cancel me. That was just, I was just saying that to make like a point about, okay. Hit me. <laughs> I, I told you you'd become a fat ass sitting on the chair. I told you. Yeah. We need adventure master. Holy moly. We're adventure masters. Yes. <sighs> Ooh. Never knew being fat and lazy was so rewarding. Yeah. True. True. God, I love just sitting on stream for 18 hours a day. Yeah. Your gut's so huge and moldable. Hey. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Man, that tickles. I'm the Ice King, and I'll never find a bride because I'm such a tool. <laughs> How dare you do Ice King like that? He's my favorite guy so far. Yes, he kidnaps women and sexually harasses them and assaults them and, and, and you know, tries to marry them against their will. But, 
But he's so fun. I like him. He's cute and nice. <laughs> and why is Finn shaped like an eggplant? <laughs> All right, let me try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Princess Bubblegum, and I'm a dwarf because I like science. All right, this is this is weird. I, I don't I don't even. I've also got a really annoying voice that Finn thinks is attractive. <laughs> That's it. Hey, what'd you say? <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me alone. Oh, so ugly. Bro, why is she always around, this lumpy princess? What the f? <sighs> Bro, she out here getting chased by Nikki Kato Avocado. Man, I am not in the mood for saving lumpy space princess. Hey, business dudes! <laughs> what do you guys think? Mm, just one monster, we do. <laughs> right. We'll just save our strength for the big adventures then. Yeah! Oh, nice call, dude. Imagine how awesome the adventure's gonna be when it's time for us to go out there. That's right. I'm too tired to imagine stuff, but I bet you're right. To, to be being great, great adventurers. Bro, bro. <laughs> it's so cursed. It's so cursed. This is like actually such a great commentary on living lazy lives. What would a utopia look like? I was in a call with Quebble Cop and he, on our podcast actually, and he was telling us how the future will be a utopia, that the entire world is just run by AI and people don't actually have to ever do anything. He said it would be brilliant and amazing and that's, that's what he hopes the future becomes. Everything, content made by AIs, all jobs done by AIs. And I told him, bro, that is so cursed. Wally's the future, exactly. Guy with the bad One Piece takes in chat, thank you. But it's a literal dystopia. I love how Adventure Time is being a commentary on that in the wildest and craziest way possible. Oh gosh. Huh? Jake, did you hear that? Yeah, let the businessman handle it. I heard it again. Businessman, dude. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Jake, we messed up. The businessmen have gone back crazy, dude. And just let the businessman handle it. True, so true. The businessman are the problem, you lazy plug hole. Huh? Guys! Uh, 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 guys, stop it! Uh, 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 stop it, guys! Stop what, boss? You're jacking up those fuzzy friends! But we're being heroes. Like you, boss, we're protecting them. Collecting them in our care set so they cannot be hurt. Bro, they're collecting the white stuff. Dude, that's crazy. But that's true. Like, all they, they have gotten to 1984. This is an actual government moment. It's the most efficient way to save people. We're gonna keep you safe by forcing you into padded cells. You're making them unhappy! Irrelevant. These Happiness is irrelevant. Results is all that matters. Dog, crazy. People are in our care set. They're what? Happiness is not priority. I am your boss! And you guys are all fired! Fired? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. no! Oh my god, they killed it! Oh! Alright, guys. Now I gotta take you down. Finn style. I'm taking your care sack, dudes! Finn? Oh, crud. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, no. Ah, I'm so fat, dude. I don't know what to do. That's it! Jake, demoralize them! What? Why? Do it, man! I have a legit plan! Okay, A legit right. one! Hey! You guys are horrible at business! <laughs> wow, it was as easy as that, huh? They're sucking me up, dude! Now, eat that ice cream some more to become fatter! While also using your stretchy powers to grow huge! <laughs> Bro, what?! <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a good thing you ate the ice cream. That'll change it all. This sucks. Yeah, dude, keep going. Do you get it? Going. You're breaking apart their robots. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Looks like the business better blasting off again. I'm going to kill you, not boss. Wait, man. Wait. I want to rehire you guys. 
Rehire? Really? Yeah, man. <laughs> what? Pancakes. <laughs> they froze them back in the iceberg and floated them away for what? Oh my god. So wait, what you hire them to do? I hired them to stuff themselves in that iceberg and get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna miss him. Brother, what just happened? That is so cursed. I guess it's obviously a metaphor for the, the, the entire story. This whole episode, honestly, this was brilliant. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This was a freaking fantastic episode. The whole episode was purely focused on happiness. What is happiness? What is self-worth? And like you have this whole scene of them being happy doing nothing, which just leads them to a state of unhappiness. And also you had these like little white nut balls over here that were getting sucked up and their happiness is irrelevant because they're protected now. And then you have the worker guys that were stuffed in a iceberg and their happiness is irrelevant. It's a meta commentary on the modern day capitalism and how it regarded the average worker as a tool that could be used and discarded at the end. I love how they're making Jake and Finn out to be like these nice, cute, good guys, but they just did something atrocious. And the show knows it. They're not trying to hide that. This show is so unfathomably dark. And I'm gonna miss this gut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss my gut too. Huh? Aww. Aww. Bro, what a good way to end the episode! Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Bro, what just happened? I loved this episode. This was so good. Human L, true. How do they keep getting away with it? It just leaves you thinking at the end of these episodes, these stupid episodes with these stupid characters jumping around, doing stupid things, and they all leave me with like this void inside. Alrighty, adventure time. It's time for adventure because I haven't been high enough. Recently, I've been thinking about the real world and it's making me sad. So I realized it's time to lose myself in a place of mushrooms, heroin, drugs, crack, and adventure time. I don't even know. It's like normally when you get like the episode freaking intro or whatever. <laughs> episode 62 of One Piece has a whole meeting up with Laboon, how Laboon made a promise to a crew that he would wait for them and they never returned and he ended up waiting there for 50 years. And this is the title of episode 63. A man's promise. Luffy and Whale vow to meet again. Bro, I know exactly what is going to happen in this episode. I, there is zero doubt in my mind as to exactly what the core of this episode is actually going to be about. With Adventure Time, I am lost until the very, very end. Pussycat, come here! Hey! What the fuck? Help! Don't worry, his spells never last long. Who are these guys? This is a great fight. Yeah, you never fought them? They come out every day at 4 o'clock on the dock. I guess that's because I meet Lady Rainicorn every day at 4 o'clock on the dock. Okay! All right, okay, dude out here meeting Lady Rainicorn. Listen, listen, I've met enough bronies to know what he's been doing. Oh, shoot, I'm late. You should stay, man. At five o'clock every day, I chop both their heads off and they grow them back for the next day. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. I do want to stay and fight those guys, but I also want to hang out with my girlfriend. Boo. Uh. Cringe. Cringe, bro. Everyone in chat right here thinking the same thing. Damn, bro. Really? Bros before hoes. That's the number one rule. Uh, I should probably go. Man does not look happy at all. Man's ditching the boys right now to go hang out with a <clears throat> woman. Oh. I'll see you later, buddy. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I'm late. Finn and I were fighting this shark and science cat and I lost track of time. Anyway, I'm here now, my lady, and I have brought to you half an orange. That is very wholesome. Gomella. What? Nice. Now make that green. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, Tarogayagata. Sleep. Wait, hold up. What language is this Japanese? Is she speaking Japanese? Korean. But we were supposed to play viola together. Uh, yeah, sorry again for coming so late. <sighs> Good night. Bro, 
he comes all the way, shows up, finds his girlfriend. She literally st sits there waiting for him to show up, and she says, bye. Hi, Jake. Oh, hey, Shelby. Why are you looking so down in the dumps? No response, huh? Guess you're good. I'm fed up. <laughs> literally me. I am so obtuse sometimes. Unless someone tells me that something's wrong, sometimes I just won't know. Shelby, hmm? whenever I hang out with Lady Rainicorn, I miss out on fun times with Finn. And then when Damn. Man just described a healthy relationship. That's crazy. When I hang out with Finn, I'm missing out on Lady Rainicorn. Oof. Hey, Jake. Why don't you just hang out with both of them at the same time? Uh, Shelby out here gets no pussy. Then I won't miss anything. That's a terrible take. Shelby, my problems are solved. No, no, stop, please, no. Ah, isn't this great? This is totally great, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? That's uh. <laughs> what? What did she say? She said she also thinks it's great. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, did you know that you both have an awesome sense of humor? We do? Yeah. Anybody have a joke? Oh, I have a joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. I'm ready. Okay. Knock, knock. She said, who's there? Okay, that one I got. Diarrhea. Jega susare. Oh, I don't trust her. Well, I don't have to tell her. Did she say diarrhea who? Uh, no. No, she didn't say diarrhea who. She didn't. Say it. Lady, how about you? Why? I want to know. I want the translation. Stop it, please. Please. Why? What is she saying? Lady, how about you tell a joke? Oh, what was that? Oh, we were all tied up and the bed was full of shit. Do you remember? You guys are really drinking too much. Bro, what a simp. What a simp. I bet you that joke wasn't funny. I bet you that wasn't funny. <laughs> What's the joke? Uh, well, the Joke doesn't translate very well. Man, I might leave. Is it okay if I leave? I, I kind of want to go fight something. No, don't leave. There's only some way you two could talk to each other directly. Oh, dude, I just remembered. There's a universal translator device. At of the course there is, obviously. The bottom of Lake Selizen. The lake guarded by evil lake knights? Yeah, I can't remember why I threw it in there. Let's all go and get it. Whoa, Jake, you're inviting Rainicorn? No offense, but isn't she a little too sweet for deadly adventure? Trust me, Finn. Bro, that's sexist. I always throw women into the heart of danger just to prove how much faith I have and how successful they'll be at taking it. And she's the rowdy queen. She can do anything. Hmm. All right, trust pound. Okay. Underwater camouflage. Nice. Meanwhile, she's still incredibly colorful. Bro, they're really holding their breath forever, aren't they? No, don't just leave all the, the treasure. Wait, what? God, she's she's freaking OP. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, all right. yeah. Lady, you are incredible. You should adventure with us all the time. <laughs> all according to plan. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, Finn, please don't sleep with her. Please, Finn. Oh, She's gonna kiss him on the cheek and he's gonna get all jealous and be like, whoa! Uh what? Here's the translator. Let's see here. Voice options are old man, nerdy alien, or nightmare. Try saying something, Toots. <laughs> and then I ate all the peaches in the orchard. And that farmer was so angry. <laughs> okay. I like this voice. <laughs> and that's the end of my story. <sighs> Well, that's rough, buddy. The old man option, we can understand him. I mean her. I mean you, sugar. Hop on my back. I'll give you both a ride home. <laughs> Whatever you say, Grandpa. Come on, my darling. Wrap your legs around me. <sighs> I remember why I drowned that translator. Now. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. 
How are you able to fly if you don't have wings? Well, light travels from the sun, then what? bounces off of our planet and back into our eyes so we can perceive color. Whoa! That does not answer the question at all. Oh. My body can intercept that light Whoa. and dance around on it. Baby, it's a little rocky in the backseat here. <laughs> Schmow! That force wizard is giving away free power rings. Sure, because why not? I freaking love this show. Yeah, of course the forest wizard is giving away free power. Duh! Do you want to try getting some, Finn? Yes! It's like, I, everyone loves when their girlfriend gets along with their bros, but no one wants them to get along too well. Lady! Finn! Lady! Lady! Finn! No around here? Dang it! Whoa, check it out! Oh, did you see that? This is like the funnest thing ever! There you are! Where were you guys? Wait a minute, you didn't fly down with us? I thought you were behind us this whole time! No! I fell off your tail end. I was sh Oh man. Man was just holding on to her ass cheeks and couldn't hold on. Her ass cheeks were just too too dummy thick. They were just clapping and, and alerting the guards and he just couldn't hold on. Shouting your name. Oh, honeypot. We probably couldn't hear you because of the cloud density. Jake, check out these Sure. Power rings. Whoa, that's cool. You got ten of them? Yeah. Lady got some too. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you want one of mine? I've got so many. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, wait, I can't take them off. I guess they're cursed. Still pretty cool, though. <laughs> Worth it! Worth it! Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, this time, I'm gonna destroy you, Rainicorn! Okay, that sounds nice. Oh, yeah, don't you love when your best friend absolutely smashes your girlfriend? Just, just destroys her, just smashes her, destroys her, obliterates her. Don't you, don't you like when, when, when it's like, oh, my, my best friend is just destroying her right now. Oh, I got I, the sword. Hey, lady, do you want to go play music together or something? Oh, oh, uh, I, I would, but uh, I'm in the middle of this game. Oh, when he makes your wife drool like a Gundam's nerval, Hey, Finn, after this next game, you want to go adventuring with me? Lady and I are going to a party in the Cloud Kingdom tonight. Oh, <laughs> when you sleep because of stress. While she gets mating press. That's an You should go to that with us. <sighs> oh, man, man got so cucked right now. <sighs> Jake, stop sighing! You're messing up my game! Jake, what's going on with you? Nothing! Oh, dang it! Man, lady, you're too good at this. Hey, it's time to party with clouds! Jake, you coming? No. Dude, I thought you wanted to spend more time with me and lady together. I do. Then come on! No, you go ahead, and you have fun with my girlfriend. Uh, oh, that sounded horrible. Oh, God, man just devolved into full Sneeko. Uh... <sighs> We're gonna head to the party, but you should meet us there and stop acting weird. <laughs> oh no, no, self-sabotaging little bastard. They should be back by now. Oh no! Hey man, you watch Hello, Cloud Hello. Kingdom. Ah, uh, yes. Dude, I love this world. Sure. Sure, there's a cloud kingdom with clown phones. Why not? Sure! Hello. Um, I'm looking for Finn the Human and Lady Rainicorn. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, they left a while ago. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no! A while ago? What the? No! <laughs>
girlfriend in the arms of my best pal. Well, two can play at that game, sweet cheeks. Let's see. Doug, Todd, Jerry, Dennis, Reggie, Peter, George, Larry, Luke, David, Benton, Mike R, Mike H, Mike A, what? Gareth, Jennings, Mr. International, Mr. Outrageous, Captain Majesty, the Flying Letters Brothers, Pete the Punk. What? <gasps> Princess Bubblegum. Tiffany. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this is so sad, because, like, obviously this kind of shit happens, but also the revenge arc, the, the telling yourself that something evil is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish Jake was here having fun with us. Hey, where's that music coming from? Yeah, yeah, louder. What a terrible look. Jake, what are you doing? Oh, hey guys. I'm just sharing a tender moment with my beautiful friend, Tiffany. Stop! You're making Lady jealous. Well, I'm trying to make you both jealous. <laughs> well, good attempt. Good at I was not expecting an NTR episode, I'm not gonna lie. Why would I be jealous of Tiffany? Because Tiffany's a boy! <laughs> what? Jake's my best friend now. Forever! <gasps> <laughs> okay, sure. He got he got cucked right in the NTR. Oh no. <laughs> Literally me, me when I see a femboy. Is that a femboy? Let's kill him. <laughs> Home wrecker. No. Jake, what's going on with you? Oh, I guess I'm jealous of how much you and Finn like each other. I'm hanging out with Finn because you wanted us to get to know each other better. I know. <sighs> Get out of my life, Tiffany, and never come back! Oof! No! Jake will be mine! I'm sorry I'm an idiot, baby. Forgive me? Oh, sweet potato. I love you because you're an idiot. If only it was that easy! Now, this is fantasy. Until here, this story was just generic real-life stuff. Now is when it enters the realm of fantasy. You pull this shit, you will sleep on the couch for a lifetime. Not that I'm speaking from experience, because, you know, you have to speak to women first. But whatever. You make me feel like a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, what a wreck. You make me feel like I'm hugging an old man. It's time to get rid of this piece of crud. Oh, you get that too? Yeah, way better. Beat it, Tiffany. Go on, get You'll never defeat me! Dude, I really hope Tiffany's not a recurring character, brother. Please, please tell me he's not a recurring character. I do not want to see him again. I will be Jake's best friend! He is? Aw, oh, man, he's not. He is? All right, whatever. Typical chat just telling you two separate things. Because I'm Tiffany! <laughs> Damn, that sniper! I'm sorry I was an idiot. You forgive me? Shut up, man. I don't want to hear that stuff. Let me get in there. Ugh. Let's never be stupid again. Wait, let's always be stupid. Yo, real. Forever. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking crazy ride, bro. Whew, what a wild. I did not expect an NTR episode coming out of coming out of this show. I'm not gonna lie. I I I don't know what I was expecting, but my first mistake was um, trying to expect anything out of this show. Ladies and gentlemen, adventure time because life is terrible, and I need something not to pull me out of life, but something to drug me. I like looking th at the world through the eyes of a coke addict, through the eyes of a meth addict, through the eyes of a heroin abuser. I want this show to make me feel like an, I'm overdosing. That is why I'm watching this right now. Pull me out of this tragic reality we exist in. This sad corporeal realm and throw me into a world of drugs. Because that's what this show is to me. Memories of Boom Boom Mountain. Okay, okay. Is the PTSD episode question mark? You guys sure you want another round of squid ink? <laughs> Bro, look at this guy. Holy crap, his ass is coming out of his hips. He's so thick. <laughs> Were they just kicking each other in the... Dude, I see this, and I'm just like, okay, this is just Adventure Time shenanigans, I guess. I don't even question it anymore. <laughs> You're not too bad for a human boy. Not too bad? I'm better 
better than that. Huh? Hey, do you hear that? What'd you say? What? Oh my god, it's a reindeer with a smurf face. What in the ever-loving smurf fuck is going on right now? Whoa! I think someone's crying. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this is serious! I gotta go find out where that crying is coming from! Get back here, you chicken! Oh! Yo! What did you call me? Uh-oh. You can't just walk away from a rough house! Hey! Listen up, you cold-hearted marauders. Somebody's out there crying for help, and I'm not gonna ignore that. Aw, oh, here he comes. Lay it down, Finn. A long time ago, when I was a baby. Bro, we getting some tragic hero backstory right now? I went boom boom on a leaf. What? Boom boom. Then I fell backwards and sat in my own boom boom. I cried for a day. But That's rough, buddy. That, that, oh, okay. No one came to help me. That day, I vowed to help anyone in need, no matter how small their problem. That is the greatest backstory I've ever seen. Dude, I'm coming here from watching One Piece. Every backstory is like a Shakespearean tragedy. And and here we go, bro. And that's it, just as simple as that. The memories of Boom Boom. I get it. That's the episode. What is even happening? And that's why I need to go. Yeah, this is one of the origin stories of all time. Yeah. yeah. What the hell is even going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go, he still cries when he poops. Thanks for being cool, guys. Yeah, you didn't need to say that, Jake. Thank you, bro. But but you really did. You didn't need to say. Yeah. Okay. Wait up, Finn. <laughs> why why would you? <laughs> it's coming from up there. Someone must be caught in that avalanche. Let's get it on. <laughs> That is such a convenient power. So, who's crying? I am. Whoa. Aw, what's wrong, fella? You crying boulders? Sure, cause why not? I, I love that he doesn't question it. Like zero, this rabbit hole is getting deeper and deeper. What is this lore? Does any of this actually make any sense? Or is it just a world of whatever the fuck? Yes, I am sad. Having been forced to watch roughhousing men for centuries. Man, if I was forced to watch big blue people beating the hell out of each other for centuries, I would cry too. Oh, I see. You're feeling left out, and you want a rough house too! Well, I'll take you on, tough guy. Come on, back me up, Jake! Yeah, do it, Finn! Hit him with a boulder, and then hit him with another rock! Please! No roughhousing! It m makes me so sad! Yeah, I think they really got that message a little bit wrong, bro. There's a sentient gum princess and slime princess, and you question a sentient mountain? <laughs> the point is I wasn't questioning it. The point is the giant mountain that's crying boulders shows up, and they just think it's normal. That's what I found hilarious. <laughs> Because they're so rough on each other. But ah, uh, this mountain's just a big softy. A smooth, well-controlled roughhouse bolsters your guts and uh, rejuvenates the muscle. No, it's raunchy and maddening. Oh, those men and their disgusting, fantastic bodies. What? Bro just has a boner. Bro has like a embarrassment boner. This out here, the, the peak of Karen Mountain over here. Sitting here, Karening her way into oblivion. Sitting here at the very, very top. Bro, don't tell me this is like supposed to be some commentary on closet gay people or something. Like, oh no, I don't even want to hear any of this. Whoa, this guy's got problems. <gasps> Look, mommy. Honey, don't look. That kid's got problems. Oh, no. I'll help you, Mountain. Whoa, what? I'll stop those roughhousers from being rough. Really? You do that for me? Bro, this is just someone out here bitching on Twitter that they see boobs. It's like, oh, man, I hate it. I'm scrolling through Twitter and, and, and I saw boobs and it's ruining my life. My life is over because of all the boobs that I just saw on Twitter. Ah, and then you have someone, don't worry, lady. I'll help you not see boobs anymore. Yes, sir. My name's Finn, and I'm going to help you out. But Finn, we're not going to shut down the rough house for real, are we? No way. But there's got to be some kind of solution. If you follow Fifi, you're asking for it. No, Fifi has no boobs. 
I'll figure this out, mountain man. Yup. He just jumped off a cliff. They literally just jumped to their death. Hey, you guys. Ah, oh, Finn. Ready to get destroyed? No, no. Uh, uh, wait, uh. Oh, no, the voice crack. No, no. <laughs> Definitely not. not. I mean, at least not for the front. Um, actually, can you guys stop being so rough? What? What? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about, Finn? Could you just tone down the rough housing? Why don't they just move the rough housing to the other side of the mountain? A little? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, it's all right, fellas. Finn, I'm sure this tone down the rough housing thing has something to do with your boom boom, and I can respect that. But how can we possibly make rough housing less rough? I think I have a perfect idea. This will soften your punches for smooth. Oh my god, this is the worst idea of all time. Okay, I think the moral of the story is that if someone's crying and they are claiming to be a victim and they're crying over something that's really none of their business at all, it sucks to be them. I, I hate to be so crass and rude. I, I hate it, but gotta be a little toxic to toxic people here. If you're if you're that mountain, if you're complaining about something that literally does not affect you at all, and you're just crying and complaining about someone else's mentality or whatever, just shut the fuck up. You do not deserve to be saved. You are not a victim. You are cringe. With knockouts, like punching a dream. <laughs> <laughs> picked up my knees! Picked up my knees! Bro, this is the worst idea of all time! They could have picked anything else than animals! <laughs> That's like mathematical. Yeah. What do you think? Fixed all your problems, right? No, that was terrible! Now the men are just punching animals! It's worse than before, and it's in no way a good solution! I really hope that the moral of the story is, you know what, Mountain? You're a bitch, and we're just gonna annoy you, and we're not gonna do anything, and we're just gonna piss the hell off for no reason. I hope that that's the moral of the story. Sorry! Well, you should be! It's not fair to those animals, and it's not fair to me! It's not fair that you are imposing your cringe on other people. I might just start to cry again, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Jake. I gotta give this another shot. Finn, this guy seems like a real nut job. You know what I mean? You don't want to get sucked into this guy's hang-ups. Yes. See, I disagree. I don't think he's crazy. I think he's entitled. I think that's even worse. I love crazy people. It's the entitled ones that are kind of annoying. I do, Jake. That's what I vowed to help anyone in need, no matter how small their problem. At least that's <laughs> oh God. God. So be it, brother. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> hey guys, guys? <clears throat> men, men, please stop a second. <laughs> men, boys, please, I have more to ask of you. Bros, my bros, brother? What? Did you just pet me? I'll pet you, pet pet. Hey, pet pet. Hey, this is great. Hey, did you just pet me? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm petting you back. Whoa, whoa, what the? What is even happening right now? What is even happening right now? What is even happening right now? What is going on? This is awesome. <laughs> All right, this could be it. Yeah! Dude, I love how nonsensical the solutions that they come up with is, and they just work somehow. <laughs> You're really mixing things up in the best of ways. To what is even happening? Maybe you can solve everyone's problems, like a cherub with his bottom out. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hey, I'm gonna go tell the mountain. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, mm, I'm gonna stay here this time. <laughs> so everything's fine this time, right? Yes. No, no, this mountain does not deserve to be happy. Thank you, Finn. So the mountain is totally fine with everybody petting. I feel great. Right on, man. The marauders are going crazy over the petting. They're petting each other raw. Check them out. <laughs> what? Oh my god, dude, what is even happening right now? They look kind of rashy. Hey, Finn! Uh, hey, man. Uh, as you can see, the petting got sort of out of hand. 
Oh, uh, stop that! We are done with that! We're going back to roughhousing! No, wait, fellas! Th the mountain doesn't like roughhousing! Well, we don't like not roughhousing! Based, based, why should they have to do the thing that the people that had nothing to do with it tell them that they need to do? You see the problem here? Well, what if... What if we rotate the entire mountain 180 degrees around? So the mountain's facing the other direction. Yeah! That way, you guys can keep roughhousing. And she can stop bitching. And the mountain doesn't have to watch it. Sounds fine with me! What do you say, mountain? That's okay. Only if you guys promise to stay healthy and not roughhouse after you rotate me. That mountain can talk. Just promise him anything. <laughs> he just noticed? Gord. Uh... Yeah, we'll stay healthy. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, good. Stay healthy. This is like the vegans out there trying to tell everyone that they also need to be vegan. Yes. All right, kids. Spin me the math around. Now I just need to set up some sort of pulley system. No! Over here! Don't do it, around. Because if you cave to one person, if you cave one damn time, one damn time, time you complain once and you cave once to someone that does not deserve your respect it's just gonna be another one if you do don't miss looking at his beautiful bag Let's go. bro she out here just getting off looking at his bag oh, huh what really what uh but uh, okay um maybe what we can do excuse is excuse me huh we need your help there's no music playing and we desperately want to dance that's it baby once one person complains and you cave, the next person is going to complain and you're going to have to cave too. I love the moral of this episode so much. Oh, uh, hold on just a second, you guys. I'll, uh, I'll help you out in one minute, okay? Hey, pipe down over there. I want some peace and quiet. Uh, let me just, uh, I need to be pollinated. Bro, I am so happy with what is happening right now. This is the ultimate moral of the story. The ultimate moral of the story. Huh? Pollinated all over to make my babies. Everybody, please, one problem at a time. My butt's itchy, but I can't scratch it. This water's too cold. Mommy, please keep the flag away from our mommy. That guy's still at oh, God. Anger. If I swipe my plum. We want a rough house. We I love this episode! I love this episode! <laughs> okay, also that guy's kinda kinda wild. What's happening? Ah! Everybody wants different things, and some of them want stuff that's exactly the thing the others don't want. Whoa, dude, hold on. So this guy wants this, and that guy wants that. But man, what do you want? What do you Bro? Want? Bro! What do you want, baby? Why are you crying? Margaret, this baby won't tell me what's wrong with it. Oh my god. And it's stuck to a leaf and it stinks. Give it here, Joshua. This baby just needs some love. <laughs> Joshua? Is that Jake's dad? And kisses to be happy. Mwah. Mwah. There. See? No, it's happy. You just kissed a boom boom baby. So don't expect any more sugar from me, sweetheart, until we wash your dead. Wait, what the fuck? Big dirty face. <laughs> Jake, what I want is to help anyone in need. So everyone is happy. <laughs> wow, that's pretty corny, man. But let's. Yeah, that is pretty corny. Do it, dude. Woohoo! Ready over there, mushroom gang? Ready, Finn? Ready, dragon? Yes, sir. Ready, mountain man? <coughs> I'm ready. Go! Bro, <laughs> <laughs> <Bro>, what? <laughs> Can't hear a thing! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> what? Pollen! Here they come! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. Bro, what is that butt? Oh my lord. Dude, I've seen a lot of dragon porn in my day, and I have never seen a butt quite that pink. <laughs> Is anyone roughhousing? No! Radical. And I can still see this gorgeous back! Thank you, Finn! You what?! I, I guess the fantasy part of this episode is the fact that you're actually able to make everyone happy. <laughs> really helped everybody! 
Follow your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly. Honestly. Stop! I've got a problem. Well, what's the matter? This dolphin fell in love with me. Killer. That's the opposite of a problem. Adventure time! So they're just gonna keep the dolphin on the hook forever, and uh, and uh, meanwhile he has a girlfriend. <laughs> it's only a matter of time until all that falls apart and everyone suffers. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna say the thing. I like this episode. I like this episode. I like the moral of the story, and I like that despite the obvious moral that they were getting to, they still decided, you know what? We're gonna one-up it. We're gonna make this a whole fantasy episode. We're gonna make everyone happy for just one minute. Finn will see them all happy for one minute, and it'll all collapse. And even though it'll all collapse instantly, it doesn't matter, because you know that the viewers, you got the moral of the story, and he could live in his life of just making believe he actually helped everyone. That was good. I like this episode a lot. It's adventure time, baby! All right, listen, listen. I promised more adventure time. We are back in it. We're like halfway through season one now. It's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of wild. But I've been feeling mega depressed, and I wanted to get high. So adventure time! Let's go! Adventure time presents Finn the Wizard. Bro, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I, like when I see a title like this, I have no freaking idea what's going to happen. Sure, just walk right over the butt mountain. Yes, this mountain looks like a butt. No, it is not a coincidence. Hey, Jake. Yeah? You ever wonder what a demon's heart looks like? I never, ever wondered that. Never, actually. Of course, dude. What the fuck? How do you start with this? You ever wonder what a demon's heart tastes like? Hey, kid. You want some magic powers? Magic powers for absolutely free. Heck yeah. Oh, that's not suspicious. Yeah. Wait. Oh, your average child. Let's fucking go. Is that a is that a child being an idiot reference? Is that is that a white, suspiciously parked van in front of a children's playground reference? Wait, let's not be too rash. Just look at this guy. Check out the sunken, <laughs> lifeless eyes. The foul stench of decay. You know what that means? Bro, that's the first time I watched anime. <laughs> that has sucked me right in. Means he's evil, I guess. Well, evil, sure, but mostly he's unattractive. <laughs> huh? No! Why would you say that, Jake? Oh my God! And unattractive people are desperate. You should haggle with them. Hey, I want more than just free powers. What else you got? All right, free magical powers and. <clears throat> And this keychain. Oh, oh, oh! Can you just rip his arm off? Yeah, cool, Finn. Right. I begrudgingly accept your offer. Yes. Then the deal is struck. Bro, what the fuck am I watching? Adventure Time just like, it just launches you right into this. You can pick up your powers right through that door. This oh, that's not suspicious. It just looks like a demon's vagina. Hey. I wonder if anything bad will happen. Ugh. And that's the demon's butthole. Man, continuity's a bitch, huh? This place looks magical. You think this is where we get the powers? Yes, I do. Free powers. Oh my god, it's the Peppa Frog. Oh, want some? Yeah, are you the guy handing them out? You seek Bufo, the wizard. So where is that guy? He is here, of course. Uh, He's here? But he's not you. That's right. We should beat him up until he starts making sense. Yeah, I love how they're the good guys. We are Bufo. This is the wildest shit in the world. I, is this what being high feels like? So, so you wish to, you be, wish inducted to be inducted into the into ancient, the ancient order. order? Dang it, Leonard. If we don't talk at the same time, nobody can understand us. What is even going This show is just like an actual drug trip. I don't know, man. Sorry. He's... Um, so, you want free wizard? <laughs> he just... He just motions with his hands like he's part of it. Oh, man. Powers. Powers like... <laughs> sure! Sure! Yeah. We want, we him. want him. Give us, Give the, us stuff. the stuff! Yes, oh, we do! Boy. Can't wait! Then follow. That's not suspicious. Behold the grand hall of wizardry! Yes, us! Us! 
the nine talking semen blobs. This is where young potentials train to become ultimate wizards. But most are not ready for the responsibility that That's comes with it. I'm responsible, dude. So am I. That's a lie. It is a lie. And I take full responsibility for it. Oh, development. Love that. Yes, yes. Very responsible. Now I bestow upon you these wizard cloaks. Whoa. Hey, this is a dress. Yeah. And I am into it. Let's go, Jake. You just you just be yourself, buddy. It's like gossamer. This way it won't be in <laughs> What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> what did I just see? Embarrassed. Fine, fine. Yeah, you won't be embarrassed anymore. Let's go. Now for every power that you accrue. You shall receive a star. This episode is just less transphobic Hogwarts. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Edge like these. This final star betokens the rank of ultimate wizard. <gasps> Mark me, Jake. I shall have that final star. I believe it. Right. Where do we start? Level one, Dustamancy. Yeah, Dustamancy. Yeah, that is. love give, give, doing give. random things that old random adults tell me to do as a child and without knowing really what I'm doing. It's so cool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. To receive this power, you must first eat these brooms. What the fuck? All right. Ah, wait. What? Ugh, this is gross. Man, I can't eat this. Yeah, you can. Do what I do. <laughs> Who could have seen this vote? Eat the broom. Dude, what kind of crack house were these writers in before they made this episode? Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa. You got a star. <laughs> Observe my magics. Wait, Jake. Don't use them until I finish my broom. <laughs> Bro ate a broom. You expect me to r have you ride the brooms? <laughs> you fool. Last bite. Dude, you got your star too. We're Dustamancers! <sighs> Nothing happened. Troll, you just ate a broom. This is a total ripoff. Bufo, you tricked us. Stupid power doesn't even work. Calm yourself, boy. <laughs> you are acting hysterical. <laughs> Calm yourself. Punches him in the face. It is all hysterical and cringe. We have to see that again. Stupid power. There is so much personality in this show. I, it's like, it's too much. Power doesn't even work. Calm yourself, boy. <laughs> Just slaps the child. Calm yourself. Slap. You are acting hysterical. Do you not see that you are using Dustamancy? Behold. I'm doing this? So, I have... Yes. Mastery over all dust motes. Totally not worth eating a broom. I, like, I ain't, I'm not even gonna lie. He ate a whole broom so he can watch dust things flop, fluff and float. You can also read their emotions. For instance, this moat is very unhappy in his marriage. What? <laughs> sure, sure, th this, this dust fluff over here. Yeah, he's getting cucked. Sort of cool. Sort of cool? This is radical. Okay, dude. Calm the fuck down. Woo, yeah! Force that enthusiasm! Are you ready? Force enthusiasm, still enthusiasm! For more magic? We get more? So much more. Like level two, the power of Shadow Cerise. You can't what? see through those, right? Nope, not at all. To gain provenance over the shadows, place your hands into this bowl! What bowl? No, cover your eyes! Mm, fine. Yeah, Rust okay. your hands into this bowl of eyeballs. I so cover your eyes and put your hands into the bowl of eyeballs, and then you'll control shadows. This is the greatest wizard training I've ever seen. Eyeballs? Dude, it's okay. They're just peeled grapes. No, they're eyeballs. Damn, spoiled the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You have groped the eyeballs. You have groped the eyeballs. Who wrote this? Fearlessly. Another star. Yeah! Shadow Serene! Oh, that was easy. Okay. Man, just Shikamaru now, I guess. Onward, my shadow steed! It's just a shadow, idiot. Huh? No touches. 
this is just Scientology. This is just the Church of Scientology right now. Wizard powers are so cool. I want all the star badges! Excellent. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what? Well done. <laughs> wow, these, these are some powers, damn. <laughs> For your next initiation training, you must drink ga gallons and gallons of nut. <laughs> what is even happening? <laughs> Bro. All we're missing now is the big star. You ready to complete the set, man? Nah, I'm good. What? How can you- <laughs> What? You stop now. Nah, I got everything I need. A limitless supply of mayonnaise, this cap- Really? Captivating new hairstyle, and I just learned the best spell of all. What's that? Sleep. Oh my god, I wish I had that spell. Holy shit! Aw, uh -huh. what a lame-o. Bufo, I'm ready to get that big star. To tell true. The last power is not free. What? You can't do this to me. Yo! This is like all of those courses that YouTubers are trying to sell you that are free for the first 99 useless steps. And then the last fucking step is not free. It's like you have your free trial to try out some sort of shit software. And when you're editing your project, you're 99% edited through your project. Oh, the last percent will be $27.99 a month. Man, I've got no money. No. No cash for the final star you- Oh god, please don't say it, please don't say it, please don't say it. Must take- Don't be pedophile sperms, please, please, please. The pledge of ultimate responsibility. Okay, I'll take that pledge. Are you sure? That was easy. Perhaps you are not sufficiently familiar with- I'm ready! Well, there may- Oh no, read the fine print. Please, please, don't suck their dicks. Be ramifications that you cannot- Just let me take that pledge, man! My word, I've never met someone so irresponsibly responsible. Very well, then, you must grasp my hand. That's it? Easy? Whoa! What? Huh? <gasps> what? My big star! Yes! What? Oh! Yeah! What? Wait, where am I? Direct your attention to the scale model orb. Huh? Is that an asteroid heading for this very temple? Yes. No, no! Now for the rest of eternity, you will be stuck up there in this weird BDSM costume on the ceiling. Now that you have possessed all this incredible magic, you will simply need to spend the rest of eternity holding off this asteroid. Yes, it's been heading for this temple for 847 years. Okay. Only the magic of the ultimate wizards keeps it from getting any closer. Quickly, add your power to that of the orb. Oh, okay. Whoa! I got it! Now what? Now I That's it! I love how hilarious and also just incredibly cursed the concepts are. Like, the incredibly predatory and borderline abusive manipulation tactics done by this literal church of Scientology! I release the Elder Jeremy from his pledge. Razamafu! It's about time. And you take his place for the rest of your natural life. Awesome! Wait, what? This is what you signed up for when you took the Pledge of Ultimate Responsibility. This is what all the wizard training was about? You tricked me! No, the wizard! The asteroid approaches! Oh, yeah, sorry. I tricked you, oh, of course. Oh, my God, bro! Anyone ever volunteer to do this? I'm out! Oh man, this sucks. Grr. Old people, there's got to be a better- Bro, that's insane! This is insane! One must imagine Sisyphus happy. Sisyphus will never be happy! Read the terms and conditions, people! But also, like, I just love how, uh, how accurate, how just incredibly accurate the, um, like, the portrayal, despite the weird, obvious fever dream we just watched. Like, it's just- scarily and eerily accurate to the predatory courses that you see. Like, dude, this is just Hustlers University. This is just Andrew Tate promising you a life of money and luxury if you just pay him $50 a month and join his Discord server of being free and, and your mind being woken up. Way! Nope, this is how the ancient ones wanted it. Yeah? I got a younger idea. <laughs> you fool, your new fangled thinking will get us all killed. Youth culture forever! Have you gone crazy? 
Get back in the bouncy harness. Oh, man. They're just putting it back in the coffin. Wait, you know what? Uh... Ultimate wizardry? Activate! Uh, hmm. Maybe my footing's off? There you go. Yep, okay. I cast Dragon Eyes! What? Tiger Claw! What is even going on right now? Vorpal Hand! Sure, he has Vorpal Hand too, I guess. Blazing Feet! Bro, I, I am so high! Beauteous Wings! And finally, every other power I didn't mention by name! Why didn't you just do that? First. With all my magics combined, I'm powerful enough to move the entire village out of the asteroid's path! Bro thinks he's General Radon Lamau! <laughs> or not! I need some help! Jake! Awaken! Reflect! Hey, I'm alive! What's that up there? <gasps> oh, they just brought a rock to life so it could get murked by Nibiru over here. Oh no! Huh, my stupid young idea will be responsible for hundreds of deaths! It sure will! Huh? Old wizards, you dished your responsibilities to help me! What? No! We left so we wouldn't be killed by that asteroid! Oh, okay. Um, since you're here already, can you lend me a hand? What? It nuked their clothes. Oh, no. Woo nice job. Oh, good censoring there. I like that. Thanks to us, the village is saved. And we reclaimed a few of your twilight years. Don't forget to thank me for... What? But this was my plan for all of these 847 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, Andrew Tate. This is like when, when one person that actually does Andrew Tate's course is actually successful... Andrew Tate and be like, you see that, everybody? I told you. Now he's a top G2 because he listened to me. Yes. No way. Your plan was to dupe a succession of rubes into keeping the asteroid at bay. Perhaps you're right. No more giving out free powers. I hereby renounce all magic. <laughs> My life is over. Chill, man. No, don't don't feel bad for him. Please don't feel bad for him. You don't have to quit your job. I don't. Nah, just don't take credit for ideas that aren't yours. Oh, okay. Good idea. Glad I thought of it. <laughs> no! Glad I thought of it, that idea. Hey, naked kid. You want some free demon heart? The show makes no sense. Like, who is this guy? Full circle! Yeah. This whole show is insane it's just batshit crazy it's okay nux it'll make sense three seasons and everyone keeps saying that but i don't know what's happening ladies and gentlemen here's a psa to everyone watching if any of you want to take drugs don't do that and watch adventure time instead it'll have the same effect and it'll also with your brain which is so much healthier for me honestly the wildest part of these episodes are the title cards, Evicted, where you have these two people in the cold next to like these zombie hands coming out of the ground in like the scariest possible way. It's like eviction is scary. You lose your home. What is this music? If you can call it music. This isn't music. This is just like the sounds of conch shells orgasming. <laughs> And as it waded through the carnage it had wrought, the vampires smashed their skulls oh. just for the fun of it. That, that vamp pussy just goes crazy. No way. Yes way, it did. And also, the vampire hunched over its victims and breathed their vaporized blood mist. That sucks. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm watching this show, I'm breathing vaporized blood mist. Jeez. Jake, is this stuff you're saying true, or are you just trying to mess me up? You have to be honest. Oh, it's true, man. That's like me when I tell my editor. It's like, yo, Stevie, I got a whole new video for you. It's an hour long. And then Stevie's like, are you just trying to mess me up? Or are you being honest? And I'm like, <laughs> I heard it through a reliable source. Reliable? Right. <laughs> and my source is, I made it the fuck up! Yeah, some say it haunted this very tree. This tree? Good night. Jake! What a bitch. You're full of it, Jake! <laughs>
Oh no. I just love the random dead corpse flesh shit on the floor in this children's house. That is not okay. No worms on the bed. Okay, makes sense. I'm with you. I'm with you. Huh? Oh huh? shit! Ah! Oh my god, dude, I love Adventure Time so much. It's like, I'm not surprised by anything that'll happen anymore, and then they surprise me. It's like, oh, this won't surprise me. I'm already expecting literally anything, and then, and then it just goes further. Jake! Jake! I saw someone outside the window. It must be the vampire, and I think we're unprepared, so I- Relax, buddy. I made that story up. I was just trying to scare you. But you said you heard it from a reliable source. Yeah, his source was, I made it the fuck. Why is everyone in chat saying, God, she's everything? <laughs> I made that up too. I was trying to scare you and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitch. One's outside. Phew. It was just the wind, scaredy cat. I wasn't scared. I was singing. I was singing my scream song. You're a I did not want to ever see that in my life. Oh, what's man? Ah! <laughs> 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 Woman jump scare. Ah! Hey guys, what's up? What? Mommy? I'm sorry. Mommy? Hold on. M mommy? Sorry. Mommy? What? M mommy? Sorry. Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Sorry. I'm Marceline, the vampire queen. Oh, hey. Are you gonna smash my skull and read my blood? I want her to smash my skull and read my brain. This Don't suck our blood. <laughs> I want her to suck my... <laughs> Calm down, weenies. I'm not gonna do that. So... You don't suck blood? Sometimes I do, but it's not the blood that I like. It's the color. Dude, I thought she was gonna be like, I could either suck that or suck something else. Then I realized I've watched way too many hentai. I eat sheets of red. I never actually watched hentai, that was a joke. Red. Golly! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just excited to eat something that a woman touched. <laughs> Wow, I'm exhausted. I've been traveling all over the land of Ooh. And I all over the land of Ooh, that's crazy. Seen some stuff that would really make you say like what? Like what? I found a school of goldfish beasts. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. And I fooled around in the fire kingdom. The fire kingdom? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and check these out. I love how instantly they trust her just cause like she's a woman. Nuts? Oh, these aren't just ordinary nuts. <laughs> oh God, I wish you would do that to my nuts. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're just, they're just yeah. cute little guys. Uh, thank you for not sucking our blood. You guys seem cool too. Oh, but as you can imagine, I'm really tired. So you two should probably get going. What? <sighs> look. Oh. M for Marceline. Oh, oh man. no. I carved it in this tree years ago. Oh no, <laughs> they've been living in her property. Two rascals started squatting here. Uh, based landlady, based landlady. But seriously guys, thanks for keeping the place warm for me. Like really great. Oh thanks. man. Huh? Good night. Time to pay rent, I guess. Bye. Classic on, landlord. Finn, let's get out of here. She can't kick us out of our house. No, Finn, wait. Get down here, lady, and fight me. She's a vampire, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna kill Bro. you. Bro. Bro. Oh, no. I guess you're gonna have to make us your personal slaves. Okay, you guys are way too down bad. Like, holy shit. Heard and or made up or true. Vampires will kill you. There's no question. <laughs> but what about our home? A vampire took it. Aw, oh, we should go house hunting. Bag us a new house. But I like our home. Finn, house hunting is wild. House hunting sucks. This man has never lived. You gotta try it. Really? Yeah, man. It is so nuts. You always know what to say. Are those balls? Blah, blee, blue, blah. Oh, okay, it's his mustache. Blah, 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 <laughs> Okay, I'm convinced. 
Let's roll. That was easy. Sweet. Things are gonna start going our way. Hey, look. See? As, as easy it? as that. So Finn and Jake set out to find a new home. What the fuck music, huh? It's gonna be tough for a kid and a dog on their own. Here's a little house. Often sticking his foot in. Well, that's a bad idea, dude. Cause now that bird thinks you're a jerk, Finn. And never chilling on the side of a hill and thinking living in a cloud would be totally thrilling. Yeah. And once they find something inside like a mean cloud man and his beautiful cloud What is even going on right now? <laughs> this show is insane. What? They're just... I have... I am like losing my mind there. Be high, oh no, don't put your foot in there, guy. Y'all tried that before and you know it didn't turn out. What if the bee just comes out and pukes on them? What is going on? Right. Big shell, go inside, look around, it seems alright. Frog jumps out, and balls a tiger, throwing down punches for What just happened? You know what, honestly, you know, alright, sure. You know, cat's out of the bag on this one. Ah! Sure, sure, you know, okay, whatever. Going down It'll okay, it'll make sense soon. And I'm just waiting for someone to come and chat. Look, stop asking questions. I know it might feel like you're on an acid trip right now, but it'll make sense in season three. And fire. You know you should have stayed and fought that sexy vampire lady. <laughs> no! This song is just our intrusive thoughts right now. You know you should have stayed. And fought that sexy vampire lady. I've never felt this called out by a narrator before in my life. But Jake was feeling terrified. He was super scared of her vampire bite. Which is understandable. Because vampires are really powerful. They're unreasonable and burnt out on dealing with mortals. Oh, Marceline! Why are you so mean? I'm not wow, they really rhymed Marceline with mean. Damn. Not mean, I'm a thousand years old, and I just lost track of my moral code. Oh my Yo, her song, her, well, damn, she, that voice, though. Oh, God. Oh, God, you hit me right in the boner. I mean, the heart. Marceline, can't you see these guys are in pain? No, I can't. I'm invested in this very cute video game. So there go our boys. Walking on no! the Ice King! Let's go! He's back! Bro, I love him so much. He's so fun. Um, <laughs> That's part of her character. She sings. Heading towards their destiny. I'm sure they'll figure something out. This is weak. I don't even like any of these places. I want to go home. Finn, let me tell you a little something about what home really means. La, la, la. Home isn't a place. Let me give you a clue. Home is anywhere what? where people care about you. Oh, that's so real. I don't want to hear a lecture, dude. I just want to go home. But home is where your heart is. Right, shut up, dude. Is Finn. And where is your heart, Finn? Well, it's right there inside you. Well, I'm sitting right here. His heart's with the sexy vampire lady, just like every person in my chat right now. And beside you. With your lucky stars that guide you from above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, two planets just farted out a star. Sure. Sure, why not? I freaking love this show so much. I guess I'd rather be out here, wrapped in your ear, than be in some awesome house all by my souse. I'd rather... Damn, that's, that's out there. It, this man has the YouTuber singing. YouTuber tries to become a rap artist, and this, this is the first thing. Be dancing with some babes. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Gross. This place looks gross. And abandoned. And abandoned. And abandoned. Oh, well, that was easy. Whoa, bro. Want to just live in here? Yes. So they cleaned the cave. That was easy. Inside the cave. <sighs> so what do you think, man? We did pretty good for ourselves. Yeah, we did. So, uh, what should we do first in our new digs? Let's trash it and throw a party. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I love the... She literally died in the last episode we saw her. What? The pedophile elephant is back? Ah, <sighs> this is it. Feeling good. Feeling... I'm feeling like we did it. I'm feeling like... Yeah! <laughs> completely satisfied. Nothing else could go wrong. You know, Jake? Marshall enjoyed the party. Marshall enjoyed the party. Marshall enjoyed the party. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I know, too. Yeah! Mommy! Uh, Marshall! 
Hey, Finn. <gasps> She's back! Wow, pretty awesome party. Yo, that's my reaction every time I see a woman as well. So true, so real, so based. You got here. What do you want, Marceline? Oh, I just want to show you something. This cave belongs to me! What? I fucking love her! I love her! Get me a girl that can own property like Marceline, am I right? Oh my god, bro. I wish she'd suck me dry. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro! Ow! That actually hurt, Finn. <laughs> God, I wish I could punch a woman. Okay, uh, uh, actually, editor, can you, can, you, uh, can you make that not sound like the. Can you, editor, can you, uh. <laughs> Why didn't you just kill me? Because that was fun. <laughs> it should have been him, not me. Been fought like I mean, me, not. Oh, God, never mind. That and me. I fucked that up. Cheers. Thanks, Finn. Finn, aren't you dead? Nah. Before she bit me, I used my powers to shrink all my guts and blood over my thumb. See? <clears throat> Makes sense. Um, you two are pretty hardcore. I can appreciate that. So. Yo, did they just impress a woman? Does that mean we can have our old house back? Yeah, keep it. As a gift for me. Blah. Dude, I love that she just does the Hotel Transylvania blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Huh? Did you guys get on the bed? I told you, you're not allowed! Oh, hey guys. Huh? Come here, friends. This is my house now. <laughs> Hug me. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Hug me. What? What? You're just gonna end the episode like that with the King Pedo Worm? Mind control? What even a go? I don't even know what's happening. What is even going on? I feel so uncomfortable. What is what? I don't think that's literally ever explained. Bro, what just happened? Dude, this sh I'm telling you, man, this show just it it gets me. Like I feel like it gets me. It is that confusion that I also am. You know, honestly, what a, you know, honestly, whatever. I I don't know. I'm like I'm I'm losing my shit. I I'm I'm fucking lo lost here. I don't I don't even know anymore. All right, I guess we're doing adventure time. I guess we're doing adventure time. Woohoo! Freaking City of Thieves with a little Eldritchian porn monster on the side. I'm just saying, I haven't. I'll tell. Can I tell you something that really goes ahead to prove that I am really invested? I'm not. I'm even holding myself back from wa looking at the Rule 34 of Adventure Time because I don't want to spoil myself. You're welcome. Emphasis on come. You're totally slow, dude. Speed up them gams. Uh, I'm not used uh, to running on all fours. Uh. Ready to admit Bro, it's hard. Being on all fours is it's the best way to go if you, if you just want to, you know, if you're into pegging. Fours, uh. Ready to admit it's harder than it looks. <laughs> I'll never admit anything to you. Wait. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I admit. Dude, this is literally exactly what chat does to me every day. They just trip me. They they brutally destroy me. It, it's it's harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you did pretty good. Hey, check it out. Whoa! Oh, this is the only show in the world. It's like they are on stilts, 50 feet above the ground. One of them trips the other. They come crashing down 50 feet, and then he's like. <laughs> That was much harder than it looks. <laughs> Best friends forever for life. Yeah. Giant dead turtle. I think it's some kind of city of thieves. It's the city of. Th this is the only show in the world that I wouldn't be surprised by the random ghost bitch coming out of the tree. Thieves. Be warned, boy. All oh, who enter the city are destined to become thieves themselves. <laughs> Dude, I love Adventure Time so much. I'm the only person in the world that that hasn't seen this show, and I am so loving it. <laughs> Even you. I wouldn't become a thief, lady. Got him. I'm a pretty true. Pretty good guy. So real, just like me. Yeah, get your glasses on, Grandma. Oh, that's pretty ageist of you. This kid is pure. In fact, he's about to help that little crying kid. <laughs> the the random crying kid in the middle of the nowheresville. 
Oh, whoa! Me one! Enough, lady! Hey, little girl, are you okay? Please, don't steal anything from me! Whoa! We wouldn't do that! <laughs> whoa! I don't want to see your underwear, girl! We're heroes! We want to turn your frown all the way around! <laughs> Jake! I'll face the other way, but I'm gonna keep doing this! Yes! Yes! Don't give in, Jake! Jake, keep doing your comedy. It do, you, no one needs to hear. No one needs to laugh. No one laughs at my jokes, but that doesn't matter because I'll just keep making them. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, it was terrible. Time for her to steal his shit. I was trying to sell my flowers out here in the desert when these two thieves came and stole my whole basket, then ran into the city. The city? Oh, thieves! Oh. I love this lady, what? Oh boy. Heed my warning, boy. Into the city, and you'll come out a thief. Never. I actually love this plot. This is such a good, random, stupid plot line. The city of thieves, where you go and you become a thief. It's like, who could come up with this? You have to be high. Never. I'll get this girl's flowers back. Bro, what the frick is going on with her dumpy? Her name's Penny. I'll get Penny's flowers back and come out of that city as pure as the driven snow. Let's the fuck's the driven snow? Let's go, Jake! Yeah, we're gonna purify that city. <laughs> a city of thieves! God! My ring! <gasps> Stop! <laughs> he was just holding his ring out the window? Wait, God! He's just standing there holding his ring out. Okay, all right. You know what? This dude deserves to be stolen. My ring! <gasps> Stop, thief! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> My ruby! Oh, this dude's really... Stop, baby! I don't steal! <laughs> don't steal, Mr. Turtle! Finn, it's hopeless to try stopping a thief here. Everyone steals from each other. So real! It's just like making YouTube content. Just stealing ideas from other people. It's hopeless to try and stop people from stealing YouTube content. It's redo do ridiculous. Penny, never say that. Redo do ridiculous? No, the whole thing you said about hopelessness. Cause I'm gonna get your basket back from. Oh who man, that's so wholesome. Like he's he's believing in dreams. It's about dreams. Whoever took it, and then I'm going to beat my purity into them. And then I'm gonna beat your purity out of them. Yeah, good teamwork, guys. You got this, team. And then beat a sandwich into them. <laughs> and then beat them to the punch. And then punch them. We can beat these thieves while we search for Penny's. Yeah, stealing is bad, but violence. <laughs> I love me some good ass smattering if you don't know what I'm saying. Our basket. Okay. Yeah. Hey, turd -ole. I'm gonna kick your butt. Also, have you seen this little girl's flower basket? You're going down, turtle. Whoa. Ah, me when I eat too much Korean food. I want jets. Yeah. Come back, crossbow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Punch the red. My crossbow. Hey, my basket. That's my basket! Don't worry, Penny. We'll get it right after I deal with this guy. Stealing's wrong! I love the faces he makes. Doofus! <laughs> this is fun, Finn! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> my bro! Oh my god! They stole his head! Oh. My body! I'm gonna steal your flower basket, wizard! Pinky, pinky, pinky. <laughs> wow, brother! Yeah! My glasses! What? Those are his glasses? These two? What? What? Huh? <laughs> My jammies! Mm. <laughs> the little thing. The sneak of underwear. My glasses! Oh! There it goes! <laughs> <laughs> they just beat up I will smite thee, goblin thief! You stole that basket from me! No, I didn't! Hey! Give me that! I stole it first! I'll use my sword on you! Hey! You there! It's time oh to step God, inside the pure! This is the trippiest show in the world. I have never seen something like this. This is wild shit, brother. Oh my god, I love how they come up with these plot lines. Tension chamber, son! Hey! <laughs> supposed to get that basket back if it keeps being stolen they uh, steal hey us. we could steal a new one from that guy he's got lots of flower baskets oh anyone that goes into the city becomes a thief and boots 
I'd like to steal me one of them pairs of boots, especially. No, Jake. We can't steal. We have to stay pure. Okay. I have an idea. My mom used to tell me that there's a king of thieves who lives in the center oh, of the city, yes. and everything they get stolen from little girls sure. ends up at his tower. Okay, he's a pedophile. Stay away from the, the thief king that collects stuff stolen from little girls. Maybe we'd find my basket in this treasure chest. That's a great idea, Penny. There's one thing, though. The tower that he lives in is surrounded by a magical bear, sure. which magically keeps thieves out. Have you forgotten? We three ain't thieves. We're pure! Right, Jake? Jake? No, not wearing the boots! It's gotta steal these boots. I love how no one's stealing this stuff. In the middle of Thief Town, just, just a whole thing of baskets and boots and... Hey! Huh? Hey! Go away! What are you doing, man? It's the city! It's getting to me! Help me, Finn! I'm here for you, buddy! Thank you, Finn. That's all anyone ever needs. Just need someone to be there for him. Just... Chat, I'm here for you guys. Not that I would ever do anything to help you on your in your personal life, but I'm here to make you make you maybe smile with my bad comedy. Thank you. No! I won't let you become a thief. Uh, what are these? Bells. That way. Well, thank. Yep. Yeah, all right. We gathered that. Hey, I'll hear if you try to steal again. Oh. Mm. The King of Thieves Tower is right up here. <sighs> All right, Whoa. the King of Thieves. It's a random phallic Oh my god, it literally is a phallic shaped tower. I was joking, and then I saw a little bulge area at the end. This is just a big dick. You ready to pass through, Penny? I'm too afraid. Is it okay if I wait out here? Sure. Come on, let's go, Jake! <sighs> Coming! No! <sighs> Jake, where'd you get those boots? Huh? What? What boots? Oh no! I stole the city! <laughs> it took advantage of me! Yeah, dude, it's. <laughs> no! It's just every time, bro, every time. I love blaming my inadequacies on other people. It's my favorite thing. Ah, Jake, you're a thief now! You won't be able to get in anymore! Yes, I can. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> it's up to me now. Legend says you'll find the loot in the King of Thieves' chest. Good luck, Finn. Dude, is she just trying to gaslight him into stealing from the King of Thieves? This is just this little girl's whole evil plan to get him to steal from the King of Thieves. Oh, yeah. And that high window is the only entrance. At the top of the condom area on this phallic-shaped tower. Hmm. All right. Wish me luck. She already did, man. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah, Finn! Great, now I gotta climb down? At least I'm not a thief. Yeah, I did commit property damage, but you know. Oh, the king of thieves! <laughs> the king of thieves lost a little weight, haven't you, Sam? Uh, sorry to trespass. I just... Uh, hello? The chest! It, it's in his chest! I knew he was gonna say that. It's in his chest! <laughs> Thanks! You see, if you have too much earwax, you won't be able to hear anymore. I got it, guys! The chest! Give me that! Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, kid. This <laughs> 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 is a random Game Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, all this treasure isn't like, like an old Game Boy. What? Is your basket under all that gold? Of course it's not. I set you up to steal this chest of gold. I couldn't get past the barrier because I'm a thief. But you're just a kid. Oh my god, who could have seen this coming? A little girl. And I'm a thief. Well, if this isn't yours, I'm going to return it right but he now. But get in because he's a thief. Huh? Bro thinks he's Yujiro Hanma. Editor, put the clip of Yujiro Hanma. Why can't I? You stole something in the city. Now you're a
a thief. No! No! What have I done? What have I become? Listen, listen, it's okay. We've all, we've all done something because of the government. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequence of your own actions. You've become a thief, stupid. <laughs> My hands, they're all dirty, covered in the dust of a criminal act. Yeah, breaking and entering, trespassing, grave robbing. I'm a thief! Oh, no, this guy is poor dude. <laughs> oh, this freaking old lady everywhere! God! Oh. oh, what did I tell you, boy? This city will get you no matter how pure you think you are! <laughs> I was right. Hey, that's enough from you, hag! Oh, hey! hey. Based, beating up old women. Let's freaking go. A lot of people think that old women are impervious to damage, and this show is willing to take the stand that I wish I took long ago and say no. Old women are easily beatable and should see justice. Don't touch me! I'm in pure, man! Unfit to be a hero! Unfit to be your friend! Come on, Finn, keep it together! No, Jake. This is a one-way path down a jacked-up road. True. I, going, watching Adventure Time has been a one-way path to a jacked-off road, because the Rule 34 is drawing me in as much as I try to say no to its fair and subtle whisper. And I gotta walk it... alone. Oh, no. I'm not gonna leave you alone in the city. You're my buddy. Besides, I stole these boots. These super babe-style boots. So I'm just as dirty as you are, Finn. Listen, guys. You may have watched porn, but... You're not alone. Other people in the chat, not me, have watched porn. I've never seen porn. I don't watch porn. But if I would watch porn, I would respect you as a person. We gotta walk this filthy path together. Then we shall embrace the darkness of this wicked city and use the methods of the criminal to seek vengeance on Penny. Yes! Joker arc! Let's go! Let the darkness consume you! Cowabunga! Dude, I freaking love this show. Mathematical! Cowabunga indeed. He just knew that he wanted to turn into a cape. Embrace the darkness! Embrace the darkness! It sounded like it meant something else. And I'm here to enact my revenge upon you. Hi, Penny. Finn, please don't punch my lights out. I'm just a poor homeless baby girl. I trusted you, Penny. You made me steal, and you took my purity. Penny just took his virginity, and he is not getting it back. You ruined me! I'm sorry, Finn. Let me give you some, uh, gems or some gold. Or, uh, have some knife in your neck! Watch out, Finn! Ah! Ah! Ow! 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 Thanks, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sure! You merely live in the dark. I was molded it. Molded by it. Dude? No. I am Batman! Starts beating child. You have soiled my purity, but I... You have soiled my trousers, and now I will soil yours! <laughs> think you can still come out clean. Come on, Jake! <laughs> no! No! That <laughs> did not go where I thought. What? Nice work, dude. She's purified. I feel clean. Yeah, I don't know if that's all right. Like all the filth of the city and wrongdoings are gone. Yeah, I, I don't know about. I, I don't know if it's really that easy, homie. But like, okay. Thank you, F and J. I haven't felt like this since I was young. You're welcome. Whoa! What do you mean, since you were young, dude? <laughs> the soap got on us too. We're clean! What is even happening right now? Yes! This good deed we did has purified us once again. I love how the moral of this episode is actually so dark. Like, may maybe I'm mistaken, but it the moral of this episode is that everyone does crimes. Everyone does things that are wrong. And ultimately, it's all- the way you live with yourself is purely in your own head. No one's pure. <laughs> That's actually insane. We're Virgin Islands! What? Finn, thank you for the second chance to live a pure life. 
And you know what that means, Penny. No more stealing. Never again. Well, I think it's time for us to get the math out of here. I'm going to miss you, Finn. I'll miss you, too. Steal the shit, steal the shit. Goodbye. Whoa, dude. Why are you naked? Ah! Penny! <laughs> that was a wild episode. <laughs> what is even going on? Uh, homie just got robbed by religion. True. Yeah, that was a, that's a wild episode, honestly. I, I liked it. I liked it. I Maybe I'm looking into it deeper than it's supposed to be looked into, but I really feel like that is the moral of this story. The moral of the story actually is impurity is a state of mind. You have to lie to yourself sometimes. It's crazy. I, this show is actually insane. It really makes you think sometimes. I, I love it. I love it. One more adventure time. Yeah, let's do it. One more adventure time. I'm sorry. Once I start, I can't stop. It's like the first episode is just taking a nice, healthy amount of drugs injected into my bloodstream. And then the sec the next episode, that's that's the overdose. Let's go, baby! Let's do it. Which is guarded. Okay, you got a got a frog walking there holding a crown. Dude! How long are we gonna follow this frog? I just wanna see him put on that crown. <laughs> it's like you wonder, what is the plot for this episode? I, what is gonna happen? Well, they're following a frog holding a crown, stalking him, waiting time and time again to wait for the frog to put the crown on because <laughs> it would be a frog with a crown. Wow! Whoa! It looks cool in there. Too bad we don't have the key to this. What are you talking about? I got two keys right here. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Hold on. I am so lost. They just went in this creepy... All right. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Birds Jake, are, are these donuts? Flowers they look like looting. donuts. But maybe they're poisonous donuts. <laughs> yeah, stupid Jake. Suck up those toxins. Yeah. Wait a second. God, I wish someone would sniff me like that. I don't know what poison smells like. Ah, uh, come and come and Jake W. Let's go. Hey. Oh my God, dude! Why? Why do they make every episode has like these old ladies, and they're each one is more terrifying than the last? Resume hey. What gives? You ain't one of my. <laughs> she did this with the... Okay, good spell. I donuts. No, I didn't. I just sniffed it. <laughs> I would argue that's even worse. You're lying! The stink of magic dog lips is everywhere! What? Holy slug, lady, calm Holy down! Holy slug! Jiggle my figgly! Listen, Mrs. Witch. I never married. Well, I never ate- Miss Witch, please. Eat your donuts! You- I can fix her. Eating one right now! I'm not. Whoa! <laughs> that's weird. I don't even remember grabbing this. My subconscious must be hungry, huh? Uh, Whatever. Magic has no more of us! Uh oh. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Just a little chilly. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Why would they do this? I never wanted to see this. <laughs> what did she. Bros, the, he just got the Zoro Helmepo treatment in the One Piece live action. Oh no. Do to you! I stripped him of his magical powers for stealing one of your billions of donuts? Yeah, it's not like I killed your husband or something. I am not married! <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the point to harp on here, I guess. The point is, you overreacted. Stop moving your boobs like that, Jake. You don't want to give me another fetish. What gives? I used to have like eight more of these things. The only way I'll give back your powers is if you admit your error and say you're sorry and mean it! Because I can tell the difference. Th that's not witch powers, that's just women. Women have a, an uncanny ability at reading your minds and emotions. Like, you could say something, and they will not necessarily hear the same thing that you said. Well, you can forget it, because you're the one who's wrong. Is she, though? You just robbed her. Right? Total support, dude. No! No! The influence of the City of Thieves is affecting them. Go back at us from whence you came at us! Aw, now you're just making these up. Go uh, back at us from whence you came at us. Yes. Are you all right, my, my donut pretties? <laughs> Wait a second. You're a bagel! Liar! Liars everywhere! There's what? gotta be-
give you a way to get your powers back. Where'd they come from, anyway? Were you born with them? Or... He's still playing with his boobs. He's just like what I would do if I had boobs. Did you have a freak industrial... <laughs> he just keeps doing it! Stop, please! Accident! <laughs> that takes me back. Let me just... Remember... I see a memory. <laughs> when I was just a pupster, I'm rolling around in a mud puddle. And I'm just loving it. Yeah! Oh, no! No! Oh. <sighs> Whew. Remembering is hard work. What happened uh, next? Oh, um, I went into the mud, and I guess I became a magic dog. I okay, the course is clear. We'll you in every mud puddle anew until we find the one that are restored. I love that the world that they're living in's name is Ooh. It's like this incredibly imaginative world, and they're just calling it Ooh. For your powers! That's nuts, man. You got any idea of how many mud puddles are in the land of Ooh? Four, maybe even five. Jake, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show so much. Always been lucky, buddy. Maybe the first mud puddle we find will be the right one. Nonsense. But I like it. Then away. <laughs> Nonsense, but I like it. They just said the JoJo meme. That's bullshit. But I believe it. I love this so much. Hey. Yeah, Woo! let's do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I don't have magic powers anymore. How do we search for the mud with- Oh well, that's rough, buddy. No magic powers. I guess it's time to jump off a building. Without my powers! We run! Run like energetic little boys! That sounded weird. <laughs> this whole time I thought running was some sort of leg magic. It is, I would argue. As a person that doesn't like running at all myself. Someone that likes sitting in my own fluids for endless hours at a time. Uh, shout out to people that don't run. Look at me. I'm running. Oh no. Running oh. is evil. Come on, lazy bones. It's too hard. I guess you could ride on my backpack. I can't reach. You good, Finn? Strangling me a little is all. Look there! Across the river of junk! There's an idea- Is <laughs> this a river of junk? And he knows the mud puddle? Yes, I know every mud puddle in this entire city! What is even the happening? mud puddle! I'll stretch into a boat! <laughs> Starting to really miss that old magic of mine. We can swim this oh, river man. easy. Yeah, easy, easy. Just jump over the San Francisco-themed river. Yep. Come on, Jake! <laughs> Man, that looks exhausting. Why are they trying to swim? You're right, Jake. It is exhausting. <gasps> what are you? I am your subconscious. Okay, what are you doing here? I'm here to tell you that what you're feeling deep down inside is true. It is way too hard to swim across the river. <laughs> I love how they're just making a whole character out of his own laziness. Bro, he's just like me. This Jake, I have one of these Jakes too. It's easier to wear a hat. Here, have a hat. <laughs> Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I met you. Jake, stop talking to yourself. Cross over already. Uh, I can't swim that river, dude. My subconscious says it's too hard. <laughs> That's gonna be my excuse. Hey, can you go buy some shit? Can you do me a favor? Listen, I would. My subconscious was telling me I shouldn't, though, because it's too difficult, so... Check out this hat, though. <sighs> What's wrong with that guy? They just wait for me there. What? Is he holding his breath? Okay. It's an actual river. Dude, what is going on? This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This, I love the world building. They don't even question it. They don't talk about it. It's just a river of garbage. What you working on, Finn? Everything. Look at you, doing stuff. Oh, is it a chair? A chair for my butt? <laughs> So Not the nature. Did it work? Oh yeah, I can feel this working. In fact, you should roll in the mud with me, Finn. We can both be magic. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! <laughs> 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 this isn't working at all. This isn't the right mud. I was just really hoping this was over and done. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. Then let's just go find another mud puddle. Actually, I'm feeling kind of chubby tired. Can't we do this tomorrow? Uh, 
This is stupid. Just go back to the witch and apologize and get your powers back. Never. I'd rather be powerless forever than apologize. <laughs> this is like the terrible life advice that everyone has. <laughs> Listen, sometimes pettiness is sometimes sometimes pettiness is just too petty. I'm lazy but prideful. You're not even trying, man. First you won't run, and, and now you keep and and no matter what, I just you just you. Adventuring is too much hard work for a bro without his powers. But you are an adventurer. Nah, from now on, I'm just your regular old dog. Ironic. He sure looks like one. Given my current man baby body. <laughs> Damn, his body looks a lot like a lot of you guys in chat right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Behold! What the fr What the frick is even happening right now? The thing I like about Adventure Time is that no one actually learns from their mistakes ever. The beautiful mermaid of the river. Wood. Uh, <laughs> Not base of you. Which one of you mortals wants to mate with all- OH MY GOD! All this. I volunteer as tribute! <laughs> Jumper bones. <laughs> oh, um, how do I say you're the grossest thing ever without offending you? I'll scare her off, Finn. Ruff, 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 ruff. You did it, Jake. You like them skinny? Uh, not that skinny. Beat power like that! Finn, I've got an idea! What is it, buddy? Rub my belly. Yeah, I'm one of those kind of dogs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's all sick, and she's out there shooting death fire at him. <laughs> Finn? <laughs> oh my god! Finn! Come on, Finn! She's just flying You gotta head. save yourself! I'm just a dog! Oh man, oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Bro thinks he's Morty. Then I'm back on the team! I'll save you! Jake? Don't worry! Hey Finn, can you help me to get up there? Oh, if only I had my powers back. The only way I'll give back your powers is if- I know, I know! Thank you. If only Naruto had that ability that every time we saw a flashback of him sitting on the swing He would just like say, okay, we know my parents are dead. All right. Apologize to that witch. Oh, you're doing so well. And I hate you so much. Yo, she just like me. Hey, witch, I need my powers back. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I ate your donut. Rasmafu. Uh, he, uh, oh, so do I get my powers back? Mm, apology denied. What? Why? Because you took too long. Damn! Women, am I right? Damn! <laughs> oh my god, bro. Dude, moving the goalposts, she became Twitter. She just became freaking Twitter. Now you have to apologize while doing a variety of humiliating things. This is so Twitter. I cannot believe, I feel like I'm watching Twitter just merged into a human. No way, Jose. Come on, dude. It's the only way to save Finn. Who is that? He's my subconscious. Wait, then he has to do it too. Aw. Uh, I, Jake the dog, while slow dancing with my subconscious with flowers in my underwear, do humbly apologize. Wait, wait, start over. You're recording this? It's for my newsletter. No way. I have my dignity. Where? Guess what, cool guy? You can forget about getting your powers back. Ever! Oh no, dude. Meanwhile, Finn is still in the freaking place being eaten by the skeleton women egg birds. What do we do now? <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying, Jake. What? Mm, he says he's dying. Let that be a lesson. Why does she know that? Do all you cupcakes. I love how we're like not even making it weird that she's talking to his subconscious like that. <sighs> Why are you dying, bro? Because I'm the subconscious of your old magical self. <coughs> Goodbye, Jake. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bro's being gaslighted by his own subconscious. <laughs> so I've finally broken you. Yeah! <laughs> if only I were a humbler guy. <laughs> Why does she look so happy about it? This is just... And you know what? The funniest thing is, this is what most Twitter users actually look like, too. My subconscious would be alive, and my best bud wouldn't be trapped in a mermaid's nest. Yes! <laughs> Gloat! 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 All right. I think you've learned your lesson. I forgive you. My powers! How can I ever thank... Ha! Gotcha, Kane. <laughs> oh, my God! But didn't you learn your lesson? Nope. <laughs> Dude, I love this show. I love how every single episode of this show is just another episode on how characters did not learn lessons from their various mistakes. How it's like it's dystopian in such a weird way. I, I cannot get over it. <laughs> hungry, hungry. <laughs> Remember to save the brain for dessert. Honey, I'm back. How about a big kiss? You guys yeah, are- That may have been the weirdest anime attack I've ever learned. So cute, I could just maul you to death. Jake! <laughs> you just commit suicide. All those birds just died. They all just fucking jumped off a cliff. I never should have doubted you. Yeah, you should have. Oh, well, I'm glad you learned your lesson. That in a crunch, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Aww. Ah, so is that how you got your powers back? You apologized to the witch? Um, no way. I, um, I must have found the right mud puddle. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, this is the Zoro nothing happened moment, but way less cool. Bro, I love how this show does that, honestly. I like how unabashed they are about writing plot lines where there are obvious moral lessons for the characters to learn. And they just don't learn them. <laughs> They're just like, nope, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm not learning my shit from any of this. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to end off this stream with Adventure Time, but I guess we are starting with Adventure Time and said, holy shit, there's 26 episodes in the first season. God damn, the show never ends. All right, let's go, baby. All right, baby. What is this background music? Listen to this music! What even was that? That was just like some guy with the kazoo trying to freaking play the Lavender Town theme song. Ah, that, that sound, that was one of the worst sounds I ever heard. As I've said many, many times, the best word to define a sound is schlorp. It is bad news! I'm hey, man. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, uh, you know, just taking this garbage bag of butter. Why is it moving like that? Into the house. Dude, that's not that funny. <laughs> it was Schlorp. I literally called it. I knew it was Schlorp. Aw, butter pranked. I can't believe I didn't see that coming. You fool. You heard the Schlorping sound. <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. Slorp on my gorp till I morp. This is why chat is not on screen. You have a butter pranked. This is like me, but with like a massive bag of cum. Offended my honor, sir. And Trying to piss off Twitter people. <laughs> in so doing, you have awoken the pranking demon that sleeps in my pits. The demon what? is coming for you, mortal. Oh my god, I just said that. It is going to prank you so hard. Whatever. I'm going to take a day long nap. <laughs> That's right, sucker. Go nap it up. For when you awake, the pranking demon will be upon you. Yes! Oh man, nothing's better than throwing a big bag of butter at someone. <sighs> Gotta think. What's a better prank than butter? Answer me, book. What's better than butter? A unicorn, a treasure hunter, a battleship. What is he doing every single one he turns? A pie. A young girl in love. Wait, book, rewind. That's it. I'll throw never ending pies at Jake's face Damn. forever. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna build me a pie throwing robot. Oh, that yeah. throws never ending pies. That's the dream. On Jake's ugly 
face. I'm so excited to get copyrighted for this song, if you can call it a song. And he won't know what hit him, cause the pies are na 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 never. What is this world that they're living in? It's like this weird, creepy fantasy land with like random sprinklings of incredibly high tech. I, I'm like so confused. And no, I will not watch a lore video to explain it. I will figure this shit out. No, 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 never. Or not. No, 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 never. Ending. It's never ending pie throwing time. Come on, dude. I love how this video, this episode about um, pranking each other is called What is Life? Like, where, where is the weird existentialist crisis coming from? Turn on. Why isn't it working? <laughs> I'll never make a prank better than Jake's garbage bag full of butter. Oh! Ouch! Holy stuff! He talked! Wow, cow chow! Greetings, creator. Oh, whoa! Hey, man. My name is Neptur. Neptur! That's why chat was saying Neptur, and I thought they were just having seizures. Which stands for never-ending pie-throwing robot. Oh, perfect! Well, let's go. You're exactly the kind of robot I was trying to what make. What a coincidence. That's exactly what he needed. I'm a little scared now, because this video is titled, What is Life? I can't deal with another one of those existentialist robot episodes. Creator. I am eager to commence the creation and propulsion of pies forever, but my pie-hucking appendage is uh, malfunctioning, and my Aww, oven my lamp head. is cold, and my tank treads do not roll. They only do skid. Why, creator? Does it please you to watch me struggle? Oh my god, it had to make an existentialist robot! <laughs> he made a robot that can't do its one purpose. Ah, adventure time, why must you do this? Neptur, don't say stuff like that. Look, I know we just met, and you're probably going through a lot of personal stuff right now. But I really like you, Neptur, and I'm not gonna rest until you're working properly and wow, throwing hot pie in so my wholesome. best friend's face. This is just to such a wholesome premise. Together, we're going to prank the poots out of Jake. One thing that I have noticed about Adventure Time is that they take incredibly, like, childish concepts. Like, you know, oh, he pranked me, I'm gonna prank him back. Like, a really childish concept, and then they're like, all right. Now, you're not gonna totally see the, the fact that we're about to have an existentialist crisis robot, and they just shove it in there. You're like, whoa! I'm telling you, this this whole show is just drugs. This I, I feel like I'm my heroin addict days are coming back. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, love are coming for the first time is what I've meant to say. I've never done heroin, guys. Don't do drugs. Watch Adventure Time. You creator. I know you will, Neptur. Now, all we need is more lightning power so you can be operating at full capacity. And I think I know just the dumb hole who we can get some from. Ice King! Ice King! Bro, is our is best boy coming back? Listen, he may have kidnapped a lady or two, but that doesn't make him a bad man. What beautiful piles of sugar! <laughs> no, Neptur. No. We call that snow. No. <laughs> Did y'all smack me in the- <laughs> He just conveniently slided, slid up the mountain. That mountain on purpose. Yeah! Oh my god, what the frick is this show? Take note, Neptur. These guys are grade A pranksters. Damn. You guys hang out in case we need a daring escape. Yeah, sure. Daring escape, sure, yeah. Absolutely, we got you. Oh back. yeah, you can, you can trust these guys. I got his wallet. <laughs> Just gotta sneak around until we find his lightning bolt stash. But creator. The stash of lightning bolts. I love the fantasy of this show. It's just, you can never actually predict what's going to happen. It's just a level of fantasy above any form of relatability. It's not breaking and entering wrong? No. No, you fool, because you're breaking and entering into a bad person. It's we're pranking and entering, which is awesome. Sneaking. We're sneaking. I love how they just use the just a prank bro mentality. <laughs> They're just like, well, no, it's technically, it's not breaking and entering. I'm just pranking him. Shush, Neptur. Sneaking. Shh. Sneaking. Neptur, you're gonna get us caught. Sneaking. Is that you, honey? Oh! How was your day at work? Honey. Tara. Has he found love? Well, how? Oh, he's schizophrenic. Could I possibly stand to be apart from you, the Ice King? You see, Gunter, that's how it would go if I actually had a wife. Quack. <laughs> Game time! All right, Gunter. Kill the frog. Kill the frog. Uh, come on. Oh, he's right in front of you. But lower. Love. Hey, stupid oh, lady. Man. Modern video games, am I right? Why is everyone saying Gunter like this guy's gonna become a character? If we get caught, I want you to know that I will always love you. Shh. You 
already told me that, and we're not getting caught. We're gonna get you working so we can prank Jake. He could wake up from his nap at any second. I may wake up at any moment. No, but not now. I'm still yeah, asleep. He's no. just so based for that. He's so real. No! That frog is casting magic missiles on my babe! No! Quickly! While he's distracted! Oh, come on! Get out of the... Ah! Uh, move! Quack! Bah! This game <laughs> cheats anyway! Uh, look what you did, Gunter! Gunter, you fool! Uh, we're home free, Nepzer. What are you on about? Bro, I love Ice King so much. I feel like I'm so high. Oh, You're starting to Bro, what is going on? Infuriate me. It's almost like you're trying to alert me. Warn me about, I don't know, an intruder or something? Perhaps he's lurking in this very room. Just <laughs> I feel the vision. Maybe! Maybe that's happening right now! Dude, I love the Ice King. Dude, please tell me the Ice King became, becomes like an actual important character. I literally love this man. Well, knock it off! What do we do, creator? We're gonna prank him, Nepzer. Hardcore. Huh. Ah. You're looking kind of fat, Gunter. Look at these arms. Fat, fat, fat. Daddy's little fatty. Holy shit. He just called his penguin daddy's little fatty. Oh. oh, you'll never get a prom date with all that tub on your face, you know. Ooh, bless these melty ceilings. <laughs> Creator, you have shown me the joys of pranking. I cannot wait to throw pies infinitely at Jake's face. Ugh, the ceiling really is melty. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Yeah! Dude, can I just say, Ice King is just, just a little too unfathomably based for, for Twitter. Twitter would not understand Ice King. <laughs> Toad monsters that sh shout alarm, and then you have this freaking ice bull with actual organs and a brain fall down. What is even going on? What is this show? Why is it so good? Why is there just a level of creativity here that I haven't seen in so long? Pigs! Alarm! Huh? Intruder! Alarm. Maybe a beautiful princess like in. He's just reading porn. What a freaking legend. Man's more of a porn addict than I am. Absolute Nux W. My poems. <laughs> We gotta find that lightning as fast as creator lightning. It's a lightning-shaped door, and we're gonna smash right into it. Yeah. Hold on, Nepter. I got a plan. That was. A oh my God! He died. Plan? Nah, that wasn't my plan. We got lucky. Are those my tickets to the gun show, creator? Mm-hmm. You're gonna be fully functional, just like I promised. Whoa, Isopy! Oh, it's an Isopy. I am. Ugh, why can't you ever be a princess? I said so real, so real. When people break into my house and shove ice up my ass, I want them to at least be a princess. He's so real for this. Speed, attack! I said, Speed, no! Ah! Let's grab some lightning and get out of here. <laughs> Finish him off, my semi-loyal pet. I love him so much, my semi-loyal pet. Get him! What? An innocent bystander? <laughs> Nepzer! I love how he's just... Wait, you think I'm evil now? Wait a second. I'm gonna call him an innocent bystander before I murder him. No! Oh yeah, that's what we wanted to happen. Nepzer is fully functional! Yeah! <laughs> Nepzer! Him like you crushed me! Creator? Damn, I wish someone would crush me. Anyway! Pies! Pies! Oh, right! <laughs> what the fuck reaction is that? Damn! Pranked, bro! Yeah, we might have destroyed your castle and collapsed on things, but. What was in those pies? Just boys and berries. <laughs> and also. Poison. <laughs> oh fuck, Neptune's going psycho. Oh god, Neptune's going crazy. He's acting different. Quick fan! Jump! <laughs> what? Pranked, bro! F Child felt his death! Pranked! <laughs> <laughs> you guys got me. Something about that robot I tried to kill fills me with deep longing.
Thanks, guys. Random cutaway, I guess. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess. I like how Neptor figured out the meaning of life. Once he obtained power, he realized that it's something that he wants to wield and use to, uh, uh, against others. We just appreciate the fact that the powerless feel like they always need a one-up. The powerless feel like they always need to be given a chance and given a platform, given a, a place that they could appreciate or be appreciated. And then suddenly, once they obtain power, they want to step upon the little people the same way they themselves have been stepped on in the past. Guys, your blood oath is fulfilled. Yay! To, to the, the Mesosphere! <laughs> your blood oath is fulfilled. Yay! Wholesome balloon! Bye, guys! Finally, we can die! Oh my fucking god, what just what just happened? I'm troubled, creator. Troubled by a sudden urge to collect princesses. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ice King zapped him and gave- Did he give Neptor his urge to collect princesses? Neptor, that's a heavy unsettling thing to say. Yes, Neptor. Do not collect women like they're property. But pull yourself together. We're about to prank Jake. Uh-huh. Sure. One, two, three! Run, Neptor! <laughs> Let's go! Ice King jump scare! I love it so much! Oh! Oh man! What a close fight, man! Damn, that—that's what would happen if if Superman fought Goku. Just saying. I've come to take my son. <laughs> Is he flying with the, the little ends of his beard? Your son. Come to Poppy, son. I won't attack you unless provoked. He's not your just like my dad. Wow! Your son? If anything, he's my son. It was my power that activated his full potential. Uh, oh. When you were struck with my lightning, you also became infused with my private particles. Hey, you are my son. I have infused with my private particles. Okay, Dad. You just, you cheat just like my dad. Wow. Well, I mean, he wants to be with me, Finn. No way. Neptor wants to help me prank Jake. I am torn. I am processing a love for both princesses and pranking. Don't. <laughs> I possess a love for both princesses and pranking. He just like me, for real. Worry, son. I'll show you the life you deserve. No! Neptune! Whoa! What is even going on right now? <laughs> All right, we'll spin you. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. Yes! Now that we've entered my imagination zone. <laughs> fucking love Ice King so much. He's the coolest guy! Sure, he has an imagination zone. Yeah, alright, whatever. We'll all get to take it. Allow me to tantalize you with this! Princesses! As my son, <laughs> you will carry on the tradition of capturing ladies! <laughs> no, stop, please! Please, stop, please! Please, no! Tell me more, Poppy! No, Neptur! Son who can do better than I. One who can succeed where I have failed. Oh, man. You can mate with robot princesses. Can I oh my fucking god. I love him so much. Why is everyone saying lore? What, that he has an imagination world that he can say, son, you will also follow in my footsteps of kidnapping women. Mate with robots too. Can I still prank with Finn after? No! I'll show you what will happen if you hang out with Finn. Yeah! Putin on Neptune to, to the max. max! He's not wrong. <laughs> Ice King is just the dad that stepped up. Uh, yeah, I love Finn's pranks. No! I'm through playing around, son. Who do you choose? Come on, Neptune. This is like, do you choose your adopted father? Or do you choose your biological father? Choose me, buddy. Choose pranks. I... Uh, I choose... What is life? What is life? King. What? You've got to be flipping. He just like, I would also choose Ice King to be fair. I mean, like, let's be real. He could still prank when he's working for Ice King. But if he's working with Jake, he ain't getting no princesses. You know what I'm saying? Kidding me. He made his choice. Get over it, crybaby. Um, yeah, bitch. Suck on my knob. I choose Ice King to prank. Hardcore. Oh my God. He just got pranked. What? Ah! My face. <laughs> I birthed you, and I can unbirth you! Never! <sighs> Sleep well, Poppy, in your imagination zone full of beautiful princesses. You wanna prank Jake? It's why I was created. <laughs> okay, let's go! It's actually 
actually kind of dark in a way. It's like I, I'm forced to live in the shackles of what my creator created me in the image of my father. It's like th there is like a dark side to this whole situation. Oh! Jake, wake up! Ah, hey, dude. Ah! Ice King, a single tear. Bro, it's actually so Sun is going down. Shall we capture princesses now, Poppy? No, let's just stay here a little longer, son. Oh, I love you forever, Poppy. Oh, man, why do I feel things? He's just so alone and so misunderstood. If only Ice King had an Andrew Tate in his life. Ah, oh, oh, poor Ice King. All he wanted to do was kidnap helpless women. He's so misunderstood. He's so misunderstood. All right, we're doing another episode of Adventure Time. Sorry, I can't just do one. I can't just do one. It's like I'm almost at the point of where I'm gonna overdose here on Adventure Time. And that's the first episode is just getting me to that state of high. And then at that point, it's like the dopamine is just kicking in. Yeah, I have to, I have to go over the peak. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> In the dark recesses of the Ma, a disease known as fear feasts upon the souls of those who cannot overcome its power. Oh, oh, come! Sorry. Power. I am Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, nice, nice boots. Come back, thief! Whoa! Stop farting on me! It's. <laughs> Wait, what? Rouse! You can't just go around stealing boots! Yeah! And you know the penalty for- Why is every pair of boots in this whole show stolen so far? In the City of Thieves episode, he stole boots. Now this axolotl fire-breathing guy is stealing boots. Stealing boots? It's poots! Aw, oh, newts! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's like Nux comedy. Levels of terrible that only Nux can truly achieve. He's getting away into that lake! Dude, that isn't a lake. That's an ocean. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> bark, 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 bark! Huh? What? He's uh... of the old <laughs> on, What is even going on here? He just flies on top of the fire-breathing axolotl that stole boots and just farts on his face. No! <laughs> Hold on. Is he using his butt cheeks to grab on while he farts? Dude, this is some real good stuff. <laughs> I'm coming, Jake. I'll poot on that newt as soon as I'm bare food. Bro, it's the ocean of fear. <laughs> Why is my stomach going nuts? Ow! <laughs> well, that is actually terrifying. Yep, that, that is actually horrifying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who are you? I am the manifestation of your fear. Yep, that, 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 that tracks, I guess. Sure. Fear of the ocean. What? I'm not afraid of lakes, wells, or rivers. Dreams or deep wells or puddles? Uh, why would I be afraid of? <laughs> Cause you're a wuss. I'm no. Sorry. No wuss. I'm the hero around these parts. I see this guy every time I open the Twitter app, and I'm. <laughs> you fear random Twitter accounts calling you out on the cringe song you made five years ago. <laughs> You're too scared of the ocean to ever be a true hero. Not true! I'm not scared of nothing! Ah! Ah. <sighs> I shall Calm conquer down. my fear! Yeah, right! No, I will! I'll conquer my fear! Of course you will. And I live in a two bedroom apartment that doesn't smell like vomit. <laughs> Yeah, and for me, rent isn't incredibly overpriced, and my landlord isn't an asshole. Sure, sure. Sarcasm. Oh, sarcasm. Never mind. Dude, dude, did you see me? I was all like, whop, and then I was all like, take this, whop, whop. Where's the boots, though? Whop, and then. Hey. Yeah, you farted on him. Good job, but where's the boots? Hey, what's wrong with you, dude? Jake, I think I'm afraid of the ocean. Say what now? I need your help. 
to overcome my fear. He's so real. Would you do it? Ah. Uh... So based. Admitting your fears is actually such a brave thing to do. Like, an un underwhelmingly brave thing. Like, um, that reminds me of the Game of Thrones line every time. It's like, I want to be like you. Brave, but I'm afraid. And then his dad says to him something along the lines of, Bravery isn't not having fear. Bravery is overcoming fear. And it's like, oh man, you so real for that guy. Um, no, I don't really want to do it. Jake! <laughs> Best friend moment, let's go. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a best friend, he'll tell you no. He'll just tell you no. Oh, God. Don't be like, yeah, later. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'll do it. Hmm. So Where to start? Oh, okay. I think we should just take a few steps in the water. You can hold Jaker's hand if you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's okay, dude. I see the problem. It's just your feet. Feet for free? Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Don't want to be scared. Beep. I shall not beep. be scared. Boop, boop. I'm afraid! Ah! Jake, get me out of the water! Now, Jake, now! Murder him! <laughs> Kill him! Drown him! Take him down! <laughs> Hot jam! You're really scared of the ocean. In fact, you're so scared, it gives me an idea. Let's start a business of being scared of the ocean. J Capitalism! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! If you can't monetize your fears, what are you doing? Fake. Okay, I have a plan to get rid of your fear. We'll start tomorrow morning. But I must conquer this now! Ah! I'm not afraid of you! Face. I love this show so much. This is the me face. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. <sighs> we don't talk about those collabs. Okay, yeah. Let's try tomorrow. Finn. Finn. Hey, Finn. Wake up. Morning, Jake. Ready for me to help you get over your ocean fear? Yeah, man. Cool. But I can only do this if you ask me. I'm asking. Then get ready for my three-step plan. Oh, Watch God. your trouble. I hate when friends are too friendly. When friends are too, like, helpful sometimes, it's just the scariest thing in the world. It's like, oh, remember when you said that you wanted to do this thing that you really didn't actually want to do? Well, the good news is I'm going to remind you of it every day of your life. melt away with step one. Yo, just pull a Konosuba, put him in like a cage, and drop him in the ocean like they did to Aqua. Ah! Jake, are you crazy? This is not an okay thing to do. Hey, hey, come on. When you, your friends sometimes, they're, they're just a little bit too helpful. The ocean is your friend. And you got friends all around you, right? Miles and miles of friends. You're nuts. Don't try to struggle, man. It's all good. I just bondage you to the bed! I'll let you out in a second. You just need to calm down. Really? Okay, I'm calming down. That's great. You're doing great. Ready for step two? Yeah, man. We're gonna I flip the bed over. I can do it. All right, dude. Step two. Jake! <laughs> That's even worse. Okay. This isn't a joke. It's touching me. Let it hold you, man. Let it hold you like a child. I'm trying to let it hold me. Oh my god, dude, this is actually so horrifying. And I Control your breathing. <sighs> this isn't working. That means we gotta move to step three. Just don't scream. Wh what? I'm gonna push you underwater with my jowls. Just <laughs> <laughs> I will drown you with my moustache! Just don't scream! Don't scream! Don't scream! Hold your breath, Finn! You <laughs> this is actual torture! What am I watching right now? He is literally torturing a child! What the frick is going on? This show is just batshit! No, no! I don't even know what's going on! Are you afraid of dying? Well, loads gun! You got it, dude! Ah! Oh 
Okay, problem solved. Easy, easy, easy. I am not drunk enough for this episode. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm safe. I'm safe. How'd I do? I think we should give up. What? Oh, poor I made it all the oh. way to level three. Look, Finn. It's not that I don't want to help you. I just don't want to get beat up anymore. He's so real for that. I mean, this is my bread and butter. I can't have you messing up my bread and butter, dude. He you is so nice. Holy crap. Oh my god. Have to help me. I can't do this without you. Okay, fine. But only if you dude, I just you love the little random have details. to help me. I can't do this without you. Okay. The little snail here in his house just with a tank for some reason, just waving okay. at them. Fine. Like, dude, Adventure Time is just full of this random goodness. But only if you swear not to hit me anymore. I swear I won't hit you anymore. And also swear to only speak in rhymes. Speak in rhymes all the time. I swear. And pigs have hair. Yes, perfect. Sure, okay, you know, all right. Dude, <laughs> I take it all back. Jake is the worst friend. The worst friend! Since you want more, it's time for step four. What? I thought you said it was a three-step plan. Man, I'm not that good at counting. <laughs> Come on, let's go kick your fear of the ocean where the sun don't shine. Well, that was that was fun. You just uh, just randomly had a freaking. There is snail lore. Are you joking? The snail is there every episode. How have I not noticed? In the sea cucumber. Random submarine. Sure. Okay. I guess. Dude, the whole technology in this world is just kind of fucking with me. <laughs> Check it, dude! 100% awesome at two! Yeah, it's pretty math, you psychopath! You know, it looks way more math if you open up your eyes. Whoa. See, man? The ocean is beautiful. There's no reason- Wait, hold up, what? Are there cars down here just stuck underwater and broken buildings? Are these dead people e or are they like alive? The ocean is- It's like, I don't know, I don't know. I've been saying this for a couple episodes now, but if this is like some kind of weird post-apocalyptic world, I am freaking out. This is not the first time we saw this. When I saw that episode with the businessmen frozen in that ice cube, and then there was another icicle thing that, that had like a bunch of children's shoes in it, I was like, something creepy is going on, man. There's no reason to be afraid of things that are beautiful. This. Hey, this isn't that bad. I'm actually glad. Hey, look, a black abyss. Oh, nothing like a black abyss. Let's freaking go. Go check it out, sauerkraut. No, Jake, turn around, turn around. Ah! Say, turn around. It's so funny, like that, that crippling anxiety, that just insane fear. It's like an unexplicable monster. And I like how they materialized it as this weird sperm-shaped thing in this episode. Twice doesn't count as a rhyme, dude. <laughs> hey, you swore! <laughs> oh, my bread and butter! I just beat him up again. Why would you do this, Jake? Stop! <laughs> no, dude, don't! <laughs> it was a nuclear submarine. Dude, everything's cool. This is the perfect segue into level five. Here, put this on. Just make sure you don't pull the emergency tab. No, dude, I said don't. Oh. Oh. Jake? She knocked out Jake. Jake's falling in the abyss. Stop. Oh, no. Jake. <laughs> My God. And you know the only thing worse than actually being paralyzed by your own fear? It's when your own fear and your own disabilities causes something bad to happen to your friend. Your inhibitions did something to someone else. And it's a fear that you seemingly can't control, but you should have. That is so dark. Like, this actually brings up bad memories, man. Pathetic. You can't even overcome your fear now that your friend is about to die. Your unheroic body will never let you save Jay. <laughs> You're right. What? Really? You think I'm right? Well, that's... That's great. If my body won't let me rescue my best friend, then there's only one thing left to do. No, wait, no! no! Oh my god. You gotta force yourself into it. Oh man. Okay. <gasps> Jake! Jake! 
awake! I guess the abyss wasn't that abyssal after all. Wake up! Ugh. You okay, dude? Yeah, man. Wait, Finn, you did it! You conquered your fear! What? You're at the bottom of the ocean! Thank you for reminding him. Very wholesome. <laughs> Maybe we should celebrate on land. <laughs> Turns out, Finn did not need to jump in there and save Jake at all. Jake would have just woken up eventually and floated himself out of there. Finn was completely useless. Okay, let's go. I'm proud of you, man. You did it. Thanks, dude. You. Such a wholesome show. Nothing to be proud of, boy. You will never get over your fear of the ocean. Whoa, dude. What's with your belly button? Bro, he sees the blank. Fear nut. What the flip, man? I just swam to the bottom. No, you didn't, cheater. You just sank to the bottom. You will never be a great hero. He's right. I'll never be a hero. What just happened? Finn. What the fuck is going on? Did he just fart out a limo of, of dead people? You are wrong. The mark of a great hero is his flaw. Yeah! Someone tell this to all the Hollywood writers writing female characters in modern superhero movies. Someone take this, take it and, and put a bow on it and send it straight to them, baby. You know nothing, wise man. Sorry. You know nothing, wise man. Sure. Silence, fear feaster. We know a lot. Wait, why did you wait so long to tell me? Because the limo driver's flaw is being late. <laughs> Yeah, that tracks. Oh, that logic makes it. You know what? All right, all right. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> the average Uber driver's flaw. Sorry. That's actually hilarious. Farewell, Finn. You truly are the greatest hero of Ooh. It's time for you to go away, Fear Feaster. What? Am I supposed to live in your tummy for the rest of my life? Everybody has a flaw, and it looks like yours is smelling like my nasty guts. Oh god. Alright, they're they're really taking this to the next level. Wonderful. And so fear is forced deep within the soul of a hero. Conquered. At least for now. Bro, I, I guess he comes back, but what is who's Pat McHale? <laughs> Uh, interesting one. The uh, I guess that, that was a wild episode. I love that uh, the moral of a lot of these episodes are very clear. This one is one of those obvious ones where the moral of the story is you could be a hero even if you have flaws. Everyone has flaws. You just have to make the best, the most of yourself. And I really like that moral. I've been preaching it for a very long time. Especially when it comes to writing characters. Overall, the show just impresses me. Like, you get these weird little lore tidbits from time to time. It's so shocking awesome. to me that a wholesome story like this can take place in this weird world with these buildings with crystals coming out of them. With Check cars it, pretty much sunk at the bottom of the ocean. And, like, it really gets these dead people over here and their dead dog watching television on the bottom of the sea. It's actually really sick. Scary. Uh, and yeah, I, I also like that they made it clear at the end of the episode that Jake was able to see the fear thing. It wasn't just his own subconscious. It's just like an actual part of this very world. Bro, actual great show. I don't know how I slept on this for so long, but I am so happy I'm watching it now. Ladies and gentlemen, with everything going on in the world right now, I want to get high as f And Adventure Time is how I'm gonna do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Adventure Time is drugs and drugs are usually bad but in this one specific scenario i really want some acid so let's go we got an ice king episode i bro ice king makes me feel so alive the literal only womanizer i so respect and support i'm telling you yes great The little phallic shaped mushroom house. Oh, God. Are you okay, dude? Yeah, why? You look bored. Nah, that's just how I look when I'm listening to music. Well, Aww. good, because I'm about to kick it up a notch. Bring it.
Who do you think it is? Could be anybody. I can't quite make it out. <laughs> ah, it's the Ice King! The Ice King? I think this is the right address. Maybe this is... is this weird? <laughs> yeah, kick his butt, dude! This is what I'm saying. I think, all, being that I am not ageist, I think that beating up old people and beating up young people is valid. I would beat up old people or young people if they deserve it. That's how based and and how much I believe in equality. <laughs> Eat my sword, Ice King! Yeah! Uh -huh. You cannot defeat me, child! I will, though, with a sweet kick! That was the greatest fight scene I've ever seen in my life! No, look at this. We have to look at it one time. Uh -huh. It's like, you know how uh, in, in Star Wars it would be really nice if people turned their lightsabers off and back on again just to like throw the guy off balance and kill him? Who cannot defeat me, That's child? The of this. I will, though, with a sweet kick! Bro's even holding on to his foot. The ultimate fake. The ultimate fake out. He's holding on to his leg. He's like, bro, of course you can take his leg. <laughs> he just beard slaps. Woohoohoo! the greatest fight scene of all time. I'm telling you. You can suck my left nut, Baki the Grappler. Oh, I can kill you! Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I am so stupid, silly Billy. I came by to tell you the good news. Uh -oh. What's the good news? He's getting married. I'm getting married. I am so based and red pilled and awesome. I am so. I, my observation hockey is literally levels and tiers beyond anything you've ever experienced before. I am so ba I'm sorry, I'm just sucking my own dick a little bit. Let's keep going. Someone, Someone has to! Someone has to! And who wants to marry me? <gasps> my betrothed is right over there. I mean, people's reactions when I when I release the great news, huh? Hi, honey. Hey, cool guy. Oh, shit. I'm a lucky guy. I didn't even have to kidnap this one. She fell in love with me the moment I slipped on her engagement ring. Ew. This man's doing the Kazuma move. He's using the Kazuma panty steel thing. Bye bye. So based. <laughs> the lady penguins are throwing her one of those bachelorette parties. Uh, <laughs> this is weird, dude. Hmm. If you get married, what about capturing princesses? Oh well, no more capturing pretty princesses for this ice king. <laughs> That's kind of cringe. You see, I believe that uh, he could go for wives two through eight. That's what I'm saying. Listen, it's not too late to mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, fare thee well, ice king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck with ye and thy creepy wedding. We totally support your decision to stop capturing princesses. I'm happy for him. <laughs> sure wish someone would throw me, me up. Bro, Ice King wants a bachelor party. Bro, what is this show? What is this show? I don't understand. This man's been terrorizing them, kidnapping women, all that fun jazz. And the red party. But we hate you. If you won't throw no, me that's the so red party, then I'll never have my last hurrah before buckling down with that battle axe. It'll drive me back to a life of stealing hot princesses. Is that what you want? He is literally half of Twitter. I love how easy it is to blackmail people. It's just so much, it's so easy and fun. It's so simple and base. No, 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 no. Dude, we gotta show him a good time and treat him right. Otherwise, he'll go back to imprisoning ladies. I, I, I can't have that. I, Shh, I know. He's so I... real for that. Imprisoning women is literally the worst place to put women. I know that you can't have that. Don't worry. Yeah. All right, let's go party, Ice King. <laughs> Some Ice King Neto Rare happening.
This is why Ice King deserves all the women. It's his right. God, look at those legs. God, they're this man, they're just slapping him around. want to just lay on the tummy of your best bro it, fellas it's not gay if it's just his tummy best man red party ever <laughs> okay <laughs> that was terrifying i love how this show just needs to show him celebrating by creating sentient snow and murder him. Now I'm gonna go get married. <laughs> I'm gonna get married. Bye, Ice King. Good luck. Have fun, you me. fool. You also need to be the best man. I do. Yes. Or do you want me to kidnap princesses? Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you why blackmail never works. Because they can always keep blackmailing you. And you can't always pull the Cowboy Bebop live action trump card of, well, you're black and a male, which is one of the greatest lines in fictional history. Married. No more stealing princesses. Yeah, wait. Uh, no more st stealing. Get married. Bye, Ice King. Good luck. Have fun being married. No more stealing princesses. Yeah, wait. Ah! I don't understand. Why is my internet so shit? Fine with it. No more st stealing. Princesses, wow. What? I didn't realize I'd have to give up stealing the ladies. But you- He's so real for that, bro. Just because you get married, suddenly you can't kidnap and abuse women anymore? God, this is what society has all wrong. Bro, the freaking woke media trying to stop me from kidnapping women once I get married? I cannot stand this. I will stand- for my gender- Alright, I'm gonna stop making this impassioned speech or people are gonna take me seriously. You said you were fine with it. I know what I said, but you know, sometimes you say things and then you don't really True. mean them. What? True. Some I sometimes you get married because you love her or whatever, and then all of a sudden you realize all the things that you have to let go of, like like kidnapping women, other women, the sacrifices we make for love. Are you serious? I'm just not sure I want to get married in such a hurry. What if she's just after my demonic witching eye and golf pouch? <laughs> Ain't no way, dude, because this is like a random one-off gimmick. I love Adventure Time so much. Like, it, it has no right to be as thought out as it is. Like, it's so harebrained and wild in some ways, and it's just so cleverly put together in other ways. We just took you out partying so that you could feel better about getting hitched. Maybe I'll just go back to capturing lots of girls. It's what I feel comfortable doing, you know? You gotta break out of your shell, man. Stop stop kidnapping women and just just, just abuse the one you marry. I mean, just, uh, you know, just, just live life. It's time to grow out of your rebellious phase of abusing women. Being free. Wind at my back. Lots of girls. Kidnapping them. All right, here comes my double kick. Finn, Finn, cool yourself, buddy. We need to get this guy married, remember? Yes. Yeah. I yes, remember priorities. Let big brother handle this. Negotiate with hey, the terrorists. Hey, Ice King, don't be nervous. Marriage is the most beautiful thing that could ever happen to a jerk like you. Oh, really? Why? Why? Hoots. Well, <laughs> ask them all the homies. That guy is good. That's it. Oh, God. He really knows how to destroy his argument. God damn. Why? Why? Jake. Not now. Why? 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 My mind is made up. 80% sure. No marriage. Well, uh, don't oh, you, uh, professional voice crack. I wanna grow old with somebody, right? I'm already old. Just like these old swans. That is the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Ah, those stinky old swans. He's so real for that. <laughs> ah! Bro, that is. Oh, that was strangely beautiful. Okay. What? Oh, now I get what you guys are trying to you tell so me. You so get it. You could swallow women now. Marriage is a thing that allows me to capture a princess forever and let her live inside of me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is the most beautiful thing in the world. Yes, uh, and you got that from watching swans voring each other. Yes, it is. Jake, 
This is bad news, man. We gotta go tell him that he can't eat his wife. Yeah, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Look how happy he is. The wedding? Back on! 100%! <laughs> let's go! All that's left is the lousy wedding. I'm ready for the wedding. That was horrible. Why are they going? Why? All right, let's go. I want a penguin like that. Penguin DJing it up. Listen, let me let me tell you my top two favorite DJs of all time. For the wedding. In second place for the second best DJ ever, an adorable penguin with a bow tie. In first place for the best DJ ever, this wonderful woman over here. Uh, she's just so good at DJing. God, just listen to all that copyrighted music that's probably playing. God, l ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the greatest DJ of all time. You know, even though the Ice King is a wad, I'm pretty happy for him. Uh-huh. This wedding looks lame, man. Be prepared to be bored out of your mind. <laughs> Finn, Jake, you made it. Uh, come on up here. <laughs> he's a he's, wow, he stole the bride. Wow, he just stole her heart, didn't he? Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. I'm almost finished tying up my bride. Weird. And your bride is into that? This is a traditional wedding ritual for good luck in the Ice Kingdom. Uh, I you agree. see, she'll be hoisted up. And then lower down, and when she touches my beard from above, <laughs> she will be my queen. That is the greatest marriage ritual I have ever heard. The BDSM wedding everyone needed. <laughs> well, cool, man. I'm glad y'all are happy being crazy together. Thank you. Excuse me as we finish preparing for the nuptials. Two, four, eight, sixteen, twenty, uh, thirty-two. Yes, 32, 64, 100 and... Huh? Her eyes are huge. I'm gonna go check them out. Stop scratching your ear, man. It's gross. It wasn't me. It was my foot, dude. Whoa, yeah. you've got ridiculously large eyes, princess. Are you allergic to something? No, Finn. I was just born like this. Why are you crying? I'm not crying, Finn. My tear sack is broken. Help me! What? I didn't... What?! <laughs> This show is fucking crazy. <laughs> I love what is going on. Say anything. Every episode just breaks my head. The Ice King cursed me. You've got to set me free. I would rather die than marry the Ice King. <gasps> he tricked me. And I was happy for that son of a toot. Look at her ring. She fell in love with me the moment I slipped on her engagement ring. Oh. That's what cursed her. Don't worry, princess. I'll remove this ring and save your life. No! She's my love boat. <laughs> no, man. You cursed her. She yeah. cursed you. Okay. You cannot just go around trapping women in their own mind. That's your too opinion. Real, too Wait real. a minute. <laughs> uh, so you knew she was cursed all along, which means you knew she wasn't trying to steal your demonic eye junk or whatever, and you knew you had total control of her. Yeah, yes, that's right. So then why did you make us go through Bro, all that junk about why Mary? literally a Captain Eisen level plan. This is Aaron Yeager levels demonic planning. Just worth stuff. Oh, I don't know. Uncomplicated and spontaneous. <laughs> That's probably why she wants to marry me. She wants to marry you because you brainwashed her. Silence! Whoa, whoa, wait! Oh, man! It's time for the lowering yes. ceremony. Yes! The <laughs> greatest ceremony of all time where you hoist the women and catch her with your beard! And then they will become one! Hoist her up! <laughs> Commence the lowering. <laughs> this is the greatest ritual I have ever seen. Yes, nothing can stop me what? now. <laughs> of course, he has a, a legendary battering bow tie. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh God! Yes, Ice King getting the Usopp treatment. The groom's nose at a wedding. There's something wrong with. Huh? Gotcha. Thanks, man. <laughs> no problem. Dude, I love how chill they are about all of this. They're just like, oh, no problem, bro. Thanks, man. No, it's all chill. It's cool. 
I think you dropped something. Whoa! That was the <laughs> This is the greatest I'm telling you, I love Adventure Time fight scene so much. Dude, look at this fight scene. Gotcha. Right? Thanks, man. <laughs> No problem. The weirdest moment ever, right? So I here you got. You dropped something. He throws a penguin at him. He freezes the penguin to break his stance. Whoa! <laughs> it's the greatest battle I've ever seen. What is going on? Uh, what? Jake! Oh, hey. Hey. You got the ring off her finger? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. Now she's not hypnotized. But we're still frozen. I got a plan. Oh, good. Now, let's try that again. Lower her. You lousy butt-faced pig. I hate you. Yes. Here she comes. Yes, touch my beard. Dude. Touch the beard. Touch the beard. Yes, that's right. Almost there. No. <laughs> oh, I'm married, right, Snowman? Yes, it's official. It's official! You done married a dog, dude! What? What's that supposed to... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the... What am I laughing about? <sighs> and that is how Ice King married a dog. <sighs> and now everything's back to normal. Well, I wouldn't say everything. Come on, guys. Help me celebrate my own marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane um that's that was a great episode um that oh, holy shit uh okay all right listen I, these episodes they're out there they just impress me i'm just saying well anyway one more episode of adventure time because i am not high enough yet the world is just a little too f right now uh and i need some more drugs so next episode's dungeon <laughs> Guys, how Bro, was that bird farting? It's propelling through farts. All right, guys. It was just farting itself into the screen. It's so real and based. Hammer all these safety signs around this dungeon hole. I've got a jet off on my swan to take care of some royal junk. Princess Bubblegum <clears throat> scares the shit out of me. As far as all the characters that I have seen so far, Princess Bubblegum is the scariest. You got it, princess. Yeah. Whatever you want, mama. Bubblegum, away! What did Jake <laughs> What, what, what did he say? These safety signs around this dungeon hole. I've got a jet off on my swan to take care of some royal junk. You got it, princess. Whatever you want, mama. Jake down. Horrendous. Horrendous. Bubblegum, away! Off goes the farting swan. Ow, ow, ow. There. That's the last sign, Jake. Now no one will ever go down this hole ever. Probably a lot of dangerous, awesome stuff down this hole. I would love to enter that butt crack of the abyss. I better go take a look. <laughs> go, dude. Oh, you see, that's the secret entrance to the. Dude, this is the coolest, <laughs> the coolest, most random power. Dungeon of the Crystal Eye. Whoa. Legend has it that the eye rests in the deepest chamber of this accursed dungeon. Man, we shouldn't even be talking about it. Cause it's lunchtime. Yes! This is the title sequence we all needed. The Crystal Eye. I wanna meet this dungeon. Maybe after lunch. Uh, I'll skip lunch. Just catch up to me when you finish. <laughs> yeah, right. What? Without Like he's gonna finish lunch. He's so based. The aid of my magnificent powers. <laughs> Huh? Huh? You get killed down there. Hey, I can do things without you. You wanna bet I can't? Nope. Come get your sandwich. Listen, did you? <laughs> you wanna bet? No, I have no shame and no ego. I'm just a dog. Anyway, here's food. Finn, he only wants what's best for <laughs> I've never been this jealous of Ice King and how Ice King married just such a wholesome dude. <laughs> Come put her out of her misery, dude. We are betting. I bet that I'll get that crystal eye and be back within 11 minutes. Ready to go. <laughs> within 11 minutes, the length of an episode. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, I better go after him. No, Jake, stay here with me. Oh 
my. <laughs> Did, is this Meat Canyon voice Jake? Oh my. Oh yeah, mama. Jim's chambers. Whoa. Uh, Evil creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure chests. <laughs> How is he so good at adventuring? Like, I know he's just trolling and memeing right here, but this man is better than every single isekai protagonist. Traps! Yeah! I'm in my element! Yo, I'm also in my element when the world is crumbling around me, but that's only because of <laughs> life experience. <laughs> Am I right, gamers? Huh? Oh. 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 Somebody come pick up your freaky cat. Greetings. Oh shit, it talks. Oh shit, it talks! Frank the human boy. Frank? Called him Frank? How did you almost know my name? <laughs> Dude, that would, if, if, if everyone had as good of a reaction as Finn to random bullshit, the world would be a better place. They have approximate knowledge of many things. Dude, that is such a cool power! Think about it, bro. You have this dude who is in some anime character, and his superpower is the approximate knowledge of many things. That is one of the greatest abilities ever conceived. And Adventure Time just did it to this random shitty cat in a hole in the, in the ass crack of the world. A semi-omniscient being is the coolest concept I've ever heard. For instance, I know that I am possibly going to slay you and munch on your eyeballs. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, That's right. It. That sounds like idiot talk. I have the approximate knowledge for the cure for cancer. It might also give you diarrhea. And manling, and I'm the thing you should be afraid of. You can't hurt me. I'm a radical boy on a mission for the crystal eye. I'm going to unzip this. I am radical and mathematical. Schmauz out. You can't do anything. Skin and wear you like a little coat. Unzip this. Damn. Oh, <laughs> approximate knowledge. This. <laughs> yeah. Now you die. Wait a second. Is that dog smell? You, you have a dog with you. I'm out of here. Yeah. Approximate knowledge of what? Man's whole gimmick was the approximate knowledge of random shit, and he just gaslights himself into losing the fight? That is the greatest thing I've ever heard. Right, good excuse! Slaps, that cat was kicking my buns, and it might have finished my buns if it weren't for Jake's stank. Dang it, Jake! I'll get that crystal eye on my own, with my own odors. Pressing on! He's, he's just like me. I also, I take the world on with my own odors. One moment at a time, he might have a dog! True! Let's see. No to skeletal remains door. No. no to giant monster mouth door. Oh. I love how he's like completely unfazed. He's unfazed by every near death experience he goes through. What kind of horrible trauma has this poor child suffered to be so unfazed at the thought of his demise? Giant key door it is. If Jake was here, he could stretch his hand into a key and open it. <clears throat> yeah. Please work. Please work. Ouch. Aw, oh, man. Hey, what the jug is that? Oh, sweet. The key. Well, that was, that was surprisingly what easy. <laughs> I want to have your baby. Okay. What? Okay, you're so good to me. Oh, jelly cube. Come on. Give it to me. Don't flaunt it if you're not gonna give it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man damn near got vored right now. God, I wish that was me. Ugh, I'll never get that crystal eye. No. No, I just gotta stay pumped. Pump it up. Pump it up. Woo! Woo! Shit. Yeah! Shit again. Damn. Who, who could have foreseen this? Steady, Finn. This place is probably more creeped out of you than you are of it. That's what I tell myself every time I open Twitter. Halt! Hmm? Come no further, adventurer. For you see, none can defeat the Bucket Knight. Okay. Then I won't fight you. No! You must challenge Damn. me to- Hey, cutie. Do you know how to get to the Crystal Eye from here? Yes, it's through that door over there. But Thanks! Hey! <laughs> you can't pass through that door without battling me! Yeah.
Yes, I can. Because I'm huge compared to you. Just add water. Damn. And exponential growth. Oh. Fuck it. Now. Man thinks he's a crypto bro. Own powers and we yeah. Take a look at the cup size of my balls. You shall engage in thrilling single combat. <laughs> Thing is, I don't really have any powers. I see. Got him. Dang it, Jake wouldn't be running. He'd grow all big and suck you right in the nose hole. <laughs> I love the morals of these stories. It's like, can I do it myself? Can I not do it myself? Oh God. Oh God, this is sad. Man did it! Man actually did it! His face kind of looks like a blobfish, but man did it! <sighs> Alright, Finn. You're in a heavy pickle here. You don't have Jake, but you can still handle this. You don't have Jake? You can still get that crystal eye! <laughs> hey, my dinner is back, and your dog isn't with you. That's what you said, right? Jack the dog is not accompanying you. It's not Jack! Well, I have approximate knowledge, okay? You mean Jake? Jake, Jack, whatever. He's not here. Dude, they gave him such a cool voice actor. I fucking love this guy. Here. Means I'm going to rip your heart out. Crud, 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 crud. You can't hide from me, Jim. I know almost everything, remember? Yes, Jim. I know exactly where you might be. This is the greatest dialogue of all time! I'm about to pounce on you. One, two, three! Ah, oh, man. That should be behind this rock. Hmm. All right, I know well, <laughs> where you are now, and I'm about to pounce again. One, two, three! Oh, man. Well, there's only a few more places to look. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. I love how they came... How did they come up with this character just in a random episode? Oh, Jake, I'm such a fool. A silly, silly fool. Shh. Who the heck? Hey, it's okay. What? Shh. I'm your guardian angel, Finn. What? I'm huh? here to save you. I mean, I would... Does she also... Would she, like... You know, uh, R really? Mm -hmm. Now we, we need some Finn voice to go, oh, mama. Come here. Let the angel pick you up. Uh oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is radical. Are you comfortable? Would you like some snacks? Uh -oh. I'm fine. Thank you. Here, let me clean you up and mend your clothes. What <laughs> is going on right now? What is happening? I hope this is a villain. I'm like, I don't understand. Uh, I have, see, unlike most people in chat, I have like an incredibly innate fear of women. Because of that, I have developed this defense mechanism where I don't trust anything that's too good to be true. I'm taking you to the chamber of the crystal eye. Oh yeah! Where I'm going to cook you and eat your flesh. What? It should have been me, not him! Me! What? Trust in your guardian angel. Put me down, lady. As you wish. Well, oh. that sucks. Everyone wants to eat me up. It's probably because I'm so sweet. Now, for little kid soup. <laughs> little kid soup, yes! My favorite soup! Good is a low flame over a long period. That's Jake's secret, too. Sure hope he saves me. I will save thee, Finn. Lady, you are sick! <laughs> <laughs> what? Jake! Finn! What? what are you doing here? <laughs> I was looking for you, knucklehead. I was so worried that right after lunch, I plunged into the dungeon after you. Strangest thing, though, I kept running into obstacles. Dude. Wait, what? We know this guy! We've seen him before! Sure, dude. 
weapon. Eh, uh, um, uh, I choose sandwich. <laughs> what is with him? He gets into all the random weirdness. And Challenges were impossible for me. But you would have blown right through them. I kept asking myself, what would Finn do? Just Damn. Ugh, frustrating. You know what I mean. Yeah. That's such a wholesome moral. It's like, it's true, you need Jake. But Jake needs you too. It's because you guys are a team. Jake couldn't have done the side quests. And uh, it's so wholesome. It's such a beautiful way. I think I do. Huh. <laughs> huh. They're just not petty enough to be relatable. I'm just saying. Ah, that's so cute. Now, let's figure out a way out of this cage. Key, Got it covered with key hand. I don't see any keyholes in this cage, though. Not a problem, man. Lock hand. I'll get us out. Right hand. <laughs> She was just playing the fucking xylophone. Sure. Come on, man. We still got a couple minutes left to steal that crystal eye and win your bet. Was that her skull? Oh, God, they murdered her. Wait, you'd help me win a bet that I made about how I could accomplish something without you? Just hop on my powdered donut. That there is a true friend. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a true, real friend. Boy. Clink. <laughs> There it is, the crystal eye. Let's give this the good old friendship lift. Whoa. Uh, friendship go! Yeah! At least if I die, I'll die with my best friend. That's Me all. Too. Get on my swan! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Farting laser beam swan to the rescue, dude. She is the most hacks, overpowered, manipulative, vindictive, broken character I've ever seen. <laughs> There's a little lever, cause of course it does in Adventure Time. Why, why not? from all this uh we, we learned, learned that two heads are working together one is better head. than not working together <laughs> so real and based <laughs> whatever <laughs> it uh -oh. looks like that's not the answer she wanted uh i learned that you are a very uh intelligent princess yes that's exactly what you got it i'm telling you man that's what it is you're darn right i am yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flattery will get you everywhere <laughs> They were underground! I I don't even care anymore. Is Hokov, thank you for the sub. I don't even care. The show's just great. The show is just awesome. I I continuity could get fucked. Because this show is gold. I love it. I love it so much. Now, normally I, I only reserve myself to watch two episodes in a stream um, because I can only take so much drugs. But due to the atrocities going on in the world, we're gonna need more cocaine. So let's go, baby. The Duke. Oh God, I'm terrified. <laughs> Dude, I love these these balloons, these trolling balloons. I am slowly but surely understanding, not the world. No, the world is still a complete and total mystery, but I am still kind I'm starting to put pieces together, different characters that are just different, tiny little parts of this world. I have, I have not fallen in love with a show like this for a very long time. Valorous, thanks for the prime. I feel like this is nostalgia that I needed to have. <laughs> Here, try throwing this one. <laughs> Here's one called Cat. And they're just like, sure. <laughs> we just we just summon an evil ghost. <laughs> Lamau. Day's surprise. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Get out of here. Unless you feel like a fist cookie, you better keep running. What the heck is going okay. on? I have no idea, but it's probably best to stay out of it. Yeah. Hey, look. This one looks stupid. Let's see how it flies. <laughs> Oh, oh no, it's a boomerang ghost. Uh-oh. Duke of Nuts! What have you done? No! Oh no, she thinks 
said Nuts guy did it. <laughs> His name is the Duke of Nuts. <laughs> Gotta go clear up what happened. Don't worry, my dear. I'll have you fixed up in no time. Princess, are you okay? Yeah, I guess if Green and Bald is okay. <gasps> <laughs> Got her! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Boy, I'm sorry. I can't stop now. <laughs> my dear, not to worry. The medicine milk in this suit will have you healed lickety split. In just five days, you'll be back to your beautiful... Five days? Bubblegummy self. Five days? The grand meeting of Ooh Royalty is tonight! Oh. Uh, hey, princess. There's something I should tell you about that bottle that hit you in the face. Dude, can we just appreciate that he's actually here to take accountability? I mean, I wouldn't. We know, Finn. The Duke of Nuts... I'm a YouTuber. YouTubers are literally trained to not take accountability for things. ...has always been a bad guy. But now that he's done this, I'll never forgive him! And it's not just because I hate the Duke. I'd never forgive anybody who did this... Oh, she's really making it clear here. ...to me. Ooh. I'd hate them! Ooh. Yeah, but... Forever! Forever? Finally, I have a witness to his misdeeds! Oh, God! Oh, God. Who witnesses? Jake. Jake! <laughs> oh, Finn, my flawless, flawless champion. My flawless champion. She's just really laying it on. She's laying it on. Bring the Duke of Nuts to justice. The Duke the of justice Nuts. justice of a cold dungeon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, she's fucking wild. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> She's completely bonkers. What do I do? <laughs> women moment. <laughs> women. <laughs> I tell her I threw it. She'll hate me forever. Don't worry. That won't happen. We're going to catch that Duke. But we're the ones who threw the bottle. Dude, look. The Duke of Nuts is bad guys. How do you know that? Think about it. If Bubblegum hates him so much, then he must have done some rotten stuff. Or, I mean or, or... Princess Bubblegum's just batshit insane. Maybe he even threw a bottle and turned someone ugly before. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am. All right, then. Just this once, we'll be vigilantes. Nah, we're more like cops. Crooked cops. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, we're gonna be like cops. And and D's nuts guy? Yeah, well, he's gonna be like uh, an innocent black person, to fit this metaphor. And, and we are gonna do like what, uh, like what cops do, bro. We're gonna pew, pew, pew. Princess, I won't rest until the villainous duke is captured. Oh, thank you, Finn. Oh, my God. God, I wish he would do that to my penis. Someone has to! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and by then, hopefully, you'll have taken care of this. Damn. Look yonder! The Duke of Nuts Castle! Duke of Nuts! How are you? By order of Princess! <laughs> Was his big entry, how are you? Um, Princess... <gasps> Hello, Finn. Are you here to arrest that duke? How did you know? The nuts told me. <laughs> Why is everyone just batshit insane? Why? Why? For I am the Duchess of... I am the Nut Mother! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, should have asked if these were like her eggs or something. I know of my husband's crime against the princess. A crime that you personally witnessed. And why would you lie, huh? Yeah, why? Oh, but he was once such a wonderful man. He bit dogs, kissed babies. What? He kissed babies. Really? Is that your metric for a wonderful man? I together underneath the cashew bush. He even taught underprivileged nuts how to dance. But somehow he's gone rancid. These nuts tell me he must be executed. Holy shit. <laughs> what is going on? Would you like to hear what my nuts have to say? That won't be... Would you like to hear what my nuts have to say? That's the greatest line I've ever heard. L ladies and gentlemen, run that back. But somehow he's gone rancid. These nuts tell me he must be executed. Would you like to hear what my nuts have to say? It won't be, um, necessary. Listen. Listen! Whoa! I don't 
don't get it, Jake. How can I don't know. That lady out there was a little bit fruity. I was going to say nutty, but I felt like that was too cliche. He'd be to, evil if he pets puppies, kisses babies, and lies with his wife. What? You believe that? She is nuts. Listen, man. <laughs> he is nuts, literally. Let's just go back and face the music. Who cares if Bubblegum hates you forever? No uh, Finn? The guy with a working penis? Oh, Biggie. Tons of people hate me. Why, Jake? Why won't you print my- What the fuck is this technology? What is even going on? My letters? I, I, I hate you! Bro, Jake just like me for real! <gasps> it's him! The Duke of Nuts! I'll break left! You take the right! I went left too! Oof. What? You're way smaller than I thought you were! Dude, that's not him. No one will harm the Duke of Nuts. I will kill whoever seeks to I am just one nut. To arrest him. No, please! This has gone far enough! Brother. That's the Duke of Nuts. But I found- <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> look at this dude! <laughs> Why does he look like a French guy from the 1400s? To kill whoever did this to you. They can't take you away, Dad. <laughs> oh, no. Not the dad. Oh, this episode is testicular cancer. <laughs> I love also the trees are all growing out of nuts. Like, this is just such cool random world building and lore. Who's the toughest little nut? That's you. <laughs> One second. Man, I don't know, Jake. Why would Princess Bubblegum oh, hate him if he was such a nice guy? Just because he's a good father doesn't necessarily mean he isn't a villain. That's true. There are so many villains that are just nice dads. That's so true and real. Doesn't look like a villain. I could probably think of a... If I ever see someone this quote-unquote nice to put his cape to block the puddle so the ducks could go, when the ducks had a perfectly capable way of going around the puddle, I will call hacks and bogus. It's like every single time I open up a stream of some streamer and the streamer is sitting there like, Oh, mental health is so important. I never want to see anyone suffer. I heard a man cry and it broke my heart. Men crying is... It's so sad and oh, oh, the mental health is so valuable. The way people lie on the internet and there are every single one of them is later exposed to be some vile, vicious, vindictive shitbag human. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it happens every time. And why that's villainous if you gave me enough time, maybe. <sighs> maybe we should just confess, but then Princess Bubblegum will hate us forever. Hey, man, it's not that it's bad. It's not true. She'll only hate you forever, Finn. At being hated? Come on, pick it up! You son of a blee blob! Oh, <laughs> okay. sorry to make you wait. I made these daisy crowns for you guys as a, as a token of my gratitude for waiting. Damn. He, I'm telling you, literally too nice. Anyone that is this nice is a vindictive bitch behind the scenes. Oh, sorry, I... I have to sit down for a second. Oh, I know this is an odd question, but you wouldn't Bro, happen- Bro, I hope there's anthrax in this Jake envelope and he just picks it up and dies. That would be epic. To have any pudding on you, would you? Actually, yeah, I think I have one in my pack. Of course he has pudding. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I think I have a spoon in here too. What? What happened to the cup? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Now you know my shame. I what? can't stop eating pudding. What? That is the greatest villain backstory I have ever heard in my life. I'm working on a video right now about terrible villain motives, and this right here, this is this is up there. I don't tell people because I hate making them worry. But yes, I have a rare condition, a pudding deficiency. What a wasted opportunity. And I always end up eating all the royal pudding supply whenever I go to the castle. So that's why Princess Bubblegum hates you. Yes, but I didn't turn Princess Bubblegum green and bald. I would never do such a thing. God. But how did he know that she became green and bald? Of course you wouldn't. You're too nice a guy. I'm the one who threw that bottle. I was gonna tell her, but then she started talking all crazy. 
She said she'd never forgive me, and I, d I didn't know. Hey, it's okay. People make mistakes. It's all part of growing up, and you never what? really stop growing. No Bro, he was gonna get executed! <laughs> so nice about it. Maybe I should just confess the crime and end all this. Wait, I think I might have an idea that will save everyone's reputation. Halt! Finn! Did you find the Duke yet? Not yet, but you are in grave danger, Princess. There is an assassin in these very woods, dead set on stopping you from reaching the grand meeting. In fact, it's that rustling in the bush. Russell, Russell, Russell. I'm in ambush! Halt! What's going on? Oh, did I come out? This'll work. Too early? Are you here to do, stranger? I've come for the princess! I'm an assassin! Um, guys? Stand back! I will stop him! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! I'll kill you and raise your children as my own! Yeah! <laughs> Me and my brother play fighting in front of my parents. Remember, it's just acting, Jake. Sorry, dude. Now to kill you up. But wait, surely this cannot be the fair princess bubblegum. Where are her pink flush cheeks? The long gooey hair. Oof. Clearly, the princess travels elsewhere. Later, Bubblegum. Get out there, man. I don't know if I can do this. Go, 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 go. And that's how I, the Duke of Nuts, by disfiguring <laughs> you beyond all recognition, uh. humbly saved your life. Yeah. This is the greatest show I have ever seen in my life. 10 out of 10 choreography, 10 out of 10 writing, 10 out of 10 plot development and characters and... This, this right here is a masterpiece. It is a masterclass in writing and storytelling. It is something the likes of which I don't think I have ever experienced or witnessed before. I feel like I was just silently watching that entire exchange, uh, straight up better acting than She-Hulk. Also, I'm just saying. Yeah, all right! Yeah! What was the point of this little play again? <gasps> and why isn't the Duke clapped in irons? She's right. Innocent or not, I should accept what's coming to me. Peppermint Butler? Oh no! Nothing's going my way today. Nothing's going his way! Hup. 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 No! Finn? The Duke didn't throw that bottle. Ugh. Princess, I have something sucky to confess. I'm the one who. Su something sucky about these nuts? Threw the bottle. <gasps> I'm sorry, but I knew if I told you, you'd hate me forever. Hmm. Well. I could never stay mad at you forever. Ah! Just for a really long time, as people tend to do. And you seem genuinely penitent. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but that doesn't do. Well, why is he rubbing his balls? His nuts, if you will. It's my hatred for the Duke! Yeah. What's up with that hate? That jerk always empties out my pudding pantry! Ah, oh, shucks. He just can't control himself around pudding. He goes cuckoo nuts for it because he has a pudding deficiency. It's true, your majesty. That is the greatest villain plot I've ever heard in my entire life! I'm sorry for my medical condition. Oh my, you poor man. Of course you're forgiven. Hold up, why is she being so sensible? Why is she being this sensible? Yeah, I don't believe a word from him. <sighs> I'm really sorry about making you temporarily ugly, princess. Especially before the grand meeting of Lou Royalty. I wish there was some way to make it up to you. Maybe there is, Finn. Maybe there is. Hey! Hmm? What? You said maybe. Call to order the sesquicentennial grand meeting of Oo Royalty. All right, let's I go. I now call upon the Yo, it's the Oogway of Oo! Get from the Candy Kingdom. Princess Bubblegums? I feel like there there was a better way to do this. <laughs> Ahem. It would be presumptuous indeed to present myself against the distinct <laughs> Wish Princess to whom you have listened. <sighs> Buy a lady a drink. The, the Marquis of, of Nuts! nuts. Yes! By the What the fuck is going on? This show is just completely insane. I don't know what's going on. This whole episode was just way too out there. This was the heroin injection in my veins I desperately needed today. Come alone! Remember me, Jake? 
No. <laughs> that, that's how it ends? No shot that is how the episode ends. I don't even, like, I can't even begin to comprehend anything. Brother, I am so lost. And not nearly high enough. That was, that was crazy. Adventure time, adventure time. Adventure time, adventure time. We are up to Freak City. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Freak City time on Adventure Time. The reason why I decided to jump right into Adventure Time right now, even though I wasn't planning on doing it, is because the world is sad. And I want to escape from that very sad world. And it's either drugs or Adventure Time. And Adventure Time is the healthier alternative. Let's jump right into it, baby. What why is everyone saying it's the Magic Man time? I don't know what that means. Walking, walking, walking. Handball break. Woohoo! That, that's how I walk too. Yes, look at this man. So happy. So full of life and enjoyment. He's everything that I am not. I am a walking sack of person. Every minute, just a minute closer to my inevitable death. Hey, hey, get away from me. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> Food for a beggar. <clears throat> Food for a poor old man. Whoa. She's the wheeze guy. Okay. So you got any kid? Food? Oh my God, look at that. That is a scary head. I got this little piece of sugar. Nuts! I'm freaking all about sugar! But I'm even more all about feeding hobos! Wait! Yeah! Feeding hobos! <laughs> oh, look at him out here! Finn, maybe helping the starving homeless guy is the wrong thing to do. What? Damn, he's so real for that. That's what I say. Every time I say to myself, yo, should I give all of this money that I'm making doing YouTube to charity? Or should I use it for myself and my own personal needs and gains? And then I say, you know what? The right thing to do would be give it to charity. And then my my inner Jake says, but maybe, maybe helping homeless people eat is the wrong thing to do. And then I remind myself that yes, maybe my inner Jake is correct. I, I don't know, I, I said maybe. A hero always helps someone in need. And besides, probably secretly an elf who will reward us for being nice. Damn. Here you go, buddy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, I'm not really a beggar. I'm actually an elf! Who <laughs> will reward you with something nice? I'm actually a magic man! Oh. I was not high enough for this. Holy mother of fuck. Whoa! He's, oh, yeah. he's magic! I didn't, I didn't now expect out. this! Magic. <laughs> oh, Adventure Time, you fickle fuck. You fucking fickle fuckery. What? Did he just turn this bird inside out? Magic man, so wholesome and rainbows and birds chirping and flowers but creates this abomination. Cool. Away. Oh, that's nice. Think happy thoughts. Oh, that was the worst sound I've ever heard. Whoever did the sound design for this needs to be caged. L listen to the sound effect done to this bird, the fleshy flurgling. Away! Whoever made that needs to die. No offense. Think happy thoughts. Little cute bees, little babies, tiny, tiny bunnies. What is wrong with you, magic man? You gave me that candy. Now I'll do you a favor in return. Oh, don't turn him inside out. A magic favor. Oh my God, this dude's just Bill Cipher, just, just gayer. <laughs> A mystical, magical favor. <laughs> he turned him into a foot for free. Whoa, dude! For you. That's so nice of it. Why'd you do that? Because this day, a magical life lesson comes to you. Oh. No, change me back. Is the lesson not helping hobos? Because if so, I could, I could definitely put that in my, in my repertoire of moral. Uh, Moral standings and ideological strength. Not until you appreciate what a jerk I am. Whoa. Oh my fucking god, he's just like me. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting a seizure. What a nutty guy. What the heck, man? Don't react like that, he became a foot. And what kind of deal is that? I help somebody out and they make me a stinky foot? You smell pretty good. Get off of me, man. I can't be a hero if I'm a big, good smelling foot. Maybe you're <laughs> oh, no. looking at this magic gift all wrong. Now that you're a huge foot, you can kick evil's butt like way more times as hard. Bro, everyone needs a friend like Jake. Everyone needs a friend like Jake who will just turn every bad situation into no better of a situation. You 100% kick, man. Why are you being so level headed about this? Don't be a sis, Finn. Here, come on, kick my butt. You're the sis. 
Sis. Ouch! Ooh, ouch! See, man? Let's give your foot body a shot. No! Oh my god, dude. This is the worst thing I've ever seen! Oh, dude, I want to go find that magic man and get my body back. Shh. Okay, I will. Awesome, dude. You'll never regret this. <laughs> Okay, when the next monster comes along, he'll step on that tree. Dude, he is way too wholesome. This is not right. You should not have friends this wholesome. Dude, th because Logan Paul was surrounded by yes men like this, he thought putting a making a video about the suicide forest was a good idea. I'm just saying it. Over there. Send in your giant foot body into the monster's crotch. This Babe. sucks, dude. Shh. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, it worked! Being a foot is incredible! Mobile, I take it all back! Our crotch! Our evil crotch! <laughs> what I tell you, you're a great hero. Let's go set up some more crotch catapults so we can laugh and be heroes. No, Jake. Let's find that magic man. Finn, being an enormous crotch kicking foot is a gift. It is. Don't scorn it. You gift. should not hate what God or magic hobos have given you in this life. That's the moral of this story. If town on fire this looks like a job for a foot giant thin foot. stomping ability yes but i i can't even bend these big fat toes man you can do it finn what i teach you dude not to scorn the kicking of people in the crotch you got it yeah i'm gonna go rescue all the babies in town only the babies get your <laughs> he's a man man's crazy hero on dude <laughs> okay can do this, Finn. Start you got this, bro. Man. I'm taking you down. It's hot. Oh man, I'm smoking. Bro, these guys are just dicks. This is a whole city of penis people. God, please help me out. I can't move. It's another one of those freaks. He probably started this fire. No, I didn't start it. Throw him under the bridge with the others. Get rid of the others. No, there's there, there's no there's what do you mean hey, others? Stay out of us! Hey, snail! Snail! I found him! He's here! The snail! Sorry. Time freak! Ugh. I'm not a freak. I'm a hero. Finn! Jake! How'd you find me? Oh, I can sense when you're about to cry. It's like a mother-daughter thing. I'm not oh. gonna cry, man. Okay. I just feel like crying. We have Bro. to find that magic guy and get my He's just like me. Whenever I'm harassed endlessly on the internet, I don't cry. I just feel like it. Take that, haters. Got him. Be back now. What we have to do is find out what reeks under this bridge. <laughs> Jake. Not Ooh. more feet. Not more feet. If it's more feet, people, I'm out. If it's more feet, people, I, I'm gone. I'm it's done. Locking out your good foot smell. Get back just, here. Just like 30 oh, feet, smells people. Smells like vomit on fire. It's like fancy cheese in an old guy's mouth. Welcome, travelers. Wow. Okay. I am Gork, leader of Freak City. Uh, okay. I can see one of you has felt the magic man's touch. Oh, yeah. the magic man. He's, he is a whole city of people <laughs> tortured by them. Oh, man. Yeah, you know that guy? I will tell you all that I know. Oh. We are the accursed ones. Are they all feet? All once normal guys and gals who crossed paths with the magic. The accursed ones. It's just people that look different. How cursed is that? Oh, my God. Magic man. That's Zap, the arm. Oh my god, True. they're all different body parts. B, the waist. <coughs> That's weak. Oh my god, are they testicles? Oh lord, have mercy. We and Gorflex. They were turned into tonsils. And that's Kim. Mm. Tonsils, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> okay. But please, make yourselves at home. Would you like something to drink? Do you have any orange juice? No. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't think so. I'll go check. Yo. Then, okay. this place is really that bumming was me out. Let's get out of here. What? No, dude. These guys might be my only hope of finding the magic man. Hey, we actually do have orange juice. Thanks for being That's cool and all, but what do you know guys. about this magic man? How do we catch him? Magic oh, man! he can't be caught. He's got magic. And we're worthless freaks. We can't ever beat him. Damn, so let's... we've gathered here to wallow oh in our self-pity. Ah! That's so sad. Oh, my God. But don't y'all even want to try? <laughs> no. Why not? You're all totally miserable here. Eh, it's a living. No, it's not, Zap. It's not a living. It's Dookie diapers. I don't want to be a foot. It is very not true, Zap. We did. 
Yeah, Finn, maybe there's another lesson to be learned here. To accept what is fate has given you and shit? Why did he pick that exact spot to sit down? Stay a miserable foot. Gork, can we live here in this pile of trash and rats forever? Yeah, man. Do it up. Awesome. Here we go. Jake, stop screwing around. You're gonna make me give in to depression. Eh. What are you gonna do about it? Oh! <laughs> he just left me for real, for real. Probably nothing, right? If you're depressed, you'll do nothing. Oh my god, he's so real. Jake has been up. This whole episode is just the Jake Joker art. I. Maybe I will do nothing. Don't give it to depression, bro. Don't do it. Don't become like me. Don't become a streamer. Don't become a VTuber who thinks he's funny. So he just says, come piss and fart all day. And people in chat go keck W laughing like I'm just a normal person. I'm not just a clown in a circus. A freak in a circus show. Just a man sitting behind a computer trying to be cool, spitting on his cell phone all the time. Thinking that I'm just some guy. Some guy that, that that's worth something in the world when people around me are fighting when people around me are dying people around me giving their lives for something of purpose and i'm just sitting here saying ha ah, poop shit fart come cuck ha ah, sneeko's girlfriend's getting plowed by logan paul's girlfriend with the with the strap on lamau and everyone laughs and i think i'm funny and contributing to the world but you people aren't even real you people aren't real i'm just sitting here i'm just I'm anyway maybe i'll just lay <laughs> down here <sighs> Lay down and rot like the rest of you. Yeah, stay a foot. Stay a foot. Stay a No, Jake, don't Is stay a really foot. My life? Is this some story ends being How did this become an episode? Can you imagine the people that put this together? They're like, all right, so we're going to have a, a bunch of people that because they look different, they were shunned by society and they're going to live in rotten depression for their whole lives. Also, we're going to have a magic man turning him into a grotesque body horror foot. He's a child who literally wants to do good. So he gives food, food that he wanted for himself. He gives it to a homeless person. And because of that good deed that he did, he will live a life of misery as a foot being just trampled beneath the foot of a magic man. Just an asshole who could get away with anything. Whoever wrote this episode was baked out of their goddamn gourd. In this body. And it's glorious. Seems like a battle that I cannot win. Maybe I should lay my head down slow and sleep until it's all over. Is this the end of a hero boy named Finn? Oh, it's Heck no! Sonic, no! This isn't how I go. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kick last spot okay. and win it. To win it, I'm gonna take last name and spin on it and kick it. Life can just go eat it. Cause this is a man's game. Get up, Gork. Huh? Why? I'm not gonna let you lie here and waste away. He's so real. Gork, He's kick so bad. Today's the day. Whoa, okay, man. Just be cool. And I'm not gonna be cool. Cause I'm piping hot. Get up, Trudy. <laughs> what? Get up, Kim. I'm not gonna let you rock. Hey, Finn. Jack. Stop Step telling on him. me to enjoy. Being a foot and get out of that trash. <laughs> I can't take you seriously when you're singing, man. Get up! Ah! All of you ah! make me sick. I'll yeah! You with my kicks. Gonna reconstruct Dude, it's so based for this. Y'all self worth. Break my emotional break. I love how he knows that uh, he's basically talking to victims that have that see themselves as victims and never want to see themselves as anything but victims. They they're just Twitter users. They are people out there that that are happy with their role as the dregs of society. And as tragic as it is that society has shunned them, they have accepted that, and that makes them even further shunned. And he thinks that he he's never gonna talk them out of it. You're ready for a really good take. You will never talk. A person with a victim mentality out of being a victim. You got to kick their ass. Violence is never the answer. Violence is the question. And the answer is yes. <laughs> God, he just kicked me. Please stop it, man. We He's like forming a creature ahead. A torso. Arms. Touching each other. Huh? He gave him testicles. Please, man. Wait a second. Kim, get Combine them! No, Turn them into a Megazord! I freaking hate Trudy! Kim, I will destroy you! That's okay, it! Okay. Threats of violence, baby! <laughs> yeah, do it, Kim! 
Yes! Now for me! Look at us! Whoa! We're like a big, normal guy. We're Thank you perfect so Oh my god! They're like a normal okay. guy together! Word! Now let's go wreck up that magic man! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I don't have Let me get in on this. I'll form the pants. No! Jake, you can do so much! You don't need to be the pants! <laughs> food for a baby. <gasps> Y'all got any food? We've got a little orange juice left over from- No, you fucking idiot. Wait a second. That's right. It is I, the Magic Man. Magic Man! Come on, Apple Grease. What are you gonna do? No! We're not Violence, afraid. baby! Violence! Are you gonna talk to him wholesomely? No, sir! Kick him in his magic butt! Are you sure? Dude, about... even his nose looks like a pair of testicles. Can you take him seriously? Out that? You're darn right we are! <laughs> Give us our bodies back! <laughs> Why should I? You still act like a hero only so you can get what you want. Oh, you were trying to teach us to be kind without expecting anything in return. Oh my god, that's true. When he gave him food before, he only gave him food because maybe the guy was an elf guy who was going to do something awesome. I should have given you that sugar cube without even thinking about a reward. Wrong! Wrong! The truth is, life sucks, and you should do it. you... Yes. No. Oh, Jeez! You've gifted us nothing but heartache, Magic Man! What's the life lesson in that? <laughs> there is none! The life lesson is... Dude, I actually love this so much. The life lesson isn't that you shouldn't have expected anything in return by doing a nice thing. The life lesson in this is people with power are sometimes assholes, and they will fuck with you because they can. That's the life lesson. Yes, my children! You are so close to the answer. Answer this! Get his eyes! Caught him in the eyes! I wish I'd never been nice to you, because you're just a big jerk! That's oh, yes, that's it! You finally learned your lesson. And now, I am off to spread my teachings to more sissy do-gooders. Oh my god! This dude is just going to find heroic people and teach them the lesson that some people are just assholes. That's actually incredible! Magic Man is one of the greatest characters in this show so far! You're welcome. Man, I freaking hate oh that guy. Oh my god. But at least now we can all go back to our regular lives. Well, actually. We like Yeah, we're babies. strong. Oh my god. Together. Bye. 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 Oh, okay. Bye. All right, sure, I guess. Hey, see you later. Wait, so what was the lesson we just learned? Maybe it was don't give your sugar to jerks. The lesson was some people are assholes and some people with power will fuck with you because they can. That's actually so dark. I love that. Speaking of jerks, what the blubbins, man? Why wouldn't you help me turn back into a boy? Well, because I kind of always wanted to be a foot fetish. What? Because he has a foot fetish. I said I kind of always wanted to be a foot myself. What kind of a motivation is that? Be a foot right now. I saw you change into a foot twice yesterday. It's complicated, man. You'll understand when you're older. This show is crazy. All right, one more. I need more drugs. I need more drugs. The world is sad and dark and people are dying and I need drugs. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Drug. <laughs> Safety! Patrol! What? Safety patrol! Why is this man dressed like Canada in After a Winter? Why? Why? Oh, safety! Oh, were we not wearing the uniforms? Come on, let's keep looking for hazards. Look out! What is it, dude? Shushers, man! Look there! Just looks like an ordinary little town, an Ordinary man. little town, nothing yeah. to see there. Suspiciously ordinary. Oh, a little house people. Maybe it is just regular ordinary. <laughs> The town was suspiciously ordinary until all the people, the houses became people. And then he's like, oh. I'm Not what? sinister ordinary. Oh, no, wait. Grass ogre. <laughs> hey, Grass chicken, ogre. you're traveling express. <laughs> it's an obnoxious Damn. grass ogre. Got him. You get my joke, right? <laughs> Careful, you oaf. Those chickens are rattles. <laughs> We're having so much fun. Oh, my God, it's a chicken gun. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dude, someone get PETA on the line now! Huh? You're on arrest! <laughs> Good. Now get in your tiny cell. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, yo, 
Ogre, stop hazing these cute little houses. Yeah, jerkball. My name is Donnie. Got him. Sorry, I was just trying to get your attention. What kind of... <laughs> I love how he's apologizing. It's like you walk up to someone and you're like, you goat fucker. And he's like, I am not goat fucker. I am Steve. What kind of houses are you supposed to you be? You guys said uh, there was the sale. I didn't see the sale. Uh, a dumb house? <laughs> Hey, what's Got with him. your jowl? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna mess. Got I'm gonna him. mess with these houses some more. Never! Uh, you know, nothing scarier than a man that thinks he's funny. That is why I am terrifying. <laughs> so you want to wrestle, huh? Cause I don't like this ninja move to get out of this lock instantly. Okay. Now first, I... hey, oh my you're God. doing it wrong. Finn is actually a god. Whoa. You're doing it wrong. What do you mean? First, you roll your right shoulder forward. Like this? Yeah, but then I counter it by doing this. Hey. Oh my God. Finn would annihilate Goku. Um, you need to take a break? No, but if you need to, we can stop. You baby. Whoa, I zoned out there for a bit. Did you win? Uh, nah, just taking five. Don <laughs> what is even going on? Why that was the <laughs> That was the goofiest fight scene I've ever seen. <laughs> what was even happening? What <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Average chiropractic. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, you're okay too. Thanks, man. For a complete idiot! <laughs> Donald, Damn. quit all this jerky nonsense! <laughs> Unless you want to get gored by a forest prince! Well, I was just kidding around, but then you took it too far! You guys are the real jerks! Dude, this is every YouTuber that gets into beef. You know, every single YouTuber that gets into beef. Oh my god, Sniper Wolf literally doxes Jax Films. Jax Films says, this is not okay. You just committed a crime and you should be deplatformed. And then Sniper Wolf was saying, Bro, all I just wanted to do was talk to him. I didn't actually want to do anything wrong. He didn't dox anybody. <laughs> Donnie is one mixed up dude. Nah, he's just rough and tumble. Like me. But deep down, what does he's that even probably mean? really sensitive. What does that even mean? Like me. You're a mixed up dude too. Hey, Donnie. What? I was thinking that since you're a pretty good wrestler, Maybe you'd want to hang out with a couple of rascals like me and Jake. What? Uh, I don't know. He's Messing so with wholesome. these houses. Oh my is god, Jake is literally so freaking wholesome. Pretty fun. You got something better? You sure this is a good idea? If you come to the tree fort, we got video games and apple juice. Really? I mean, fine. If it keeps you from crying. Donnie's problem is that he's treated as an outsider, like me. You are not Okay, an dude, stop relating to everything. You're not like I am, Finn. I have the right to relate to everything horny. You cannot relate to everything that's just crazy. That's not fair. Cider, you wear cute little blue shorts. I am complicated. Sure you are, bro. Uh, so great. Not as cool as the fort I'm going to build. I call this chair. Hey, Donnie, you should play bug battle. And hey, can you put on some pants? You put on some pants. I have pants spun from spider webs by pixies. <laughs> Sure, sure. Okay, there's you, and here come the bugs. Huh? Oh yeah, those guys will get you. This game cheats. Not cool, bro, dude. Not Don't cool, juice. bro. It always makes me feel better. Sometimes they're not just complicated. Sometimes they're assholes. And are you ready for a nuclear take? You don't have to help everyone. Better when Hot I yeah. Donnie, quit being a jerk! What? Uh, What'd I do? Uh, ben, I don't think this is gonna work. I am incapable of emotion, but you are making me chafed. Everybody's <laughs> okay. getting mad at me for nothing! You have to think about how your actions make other people feel. Oh. Hmm. I don't understand at all. Oh, teach him that little empathy song I taught you. Okay, yeah. Empathy, empathy. Yeah, it's working. I can tell. Me. This is this is what Idub saw when he before he released his apology video for making content cops. He saw the empathy song and everything changed. Your turn. Uh, empathy, empathy. Put yourself. Oh, so it's like when I squeeze eggs out of chickens, I should let them squeeze eggs out of me too. Yes. You step on her, she steps on you. That is a wholesome relationship. That's what it's all about. Not only one person gets to be stepped on. Um, kinda right. <laughs> Someone needs our help. 
Jake, you stay here and try to fix him while I deal with an unknown, possibly deadly emergency. Dude, trade me jobs. Jake, somebody broke your, um, entire living room. No! Did he just hear a random scream in that village miles away? Quick, it's oh abandoned! Hands off the housing market! Much worse than ogres. Stop in the name of the law. All right, this dude has to stop making believe he can do anything. Is there somewhere I can trap that thing? Well, we had a zoo, but he moved back east. Of course, there's always the old well. I'm not old. Perfect. <laughs> okay, sure. Got him. Bro, this well -ussy goes far. Holy crap. This well's got one hole that goes to the end of town. Slam bam in a can. Huh? Another werewolf? What's up with this town? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> time for the Mr. next Bank. werewolf with three heads. Are you alright? Oh, it's fine. It's Man's literally wiping his sweat away. <laughs> Sweat away with money. Fine. All my assets are insured. Pardon, I have to go spack on my cracks. <sighs> Why is this town just getting worse and worse? Yes. Why indeed. It turns hey. out the ogre was the asshole, but he was keeping everyone away. What are you werewolves up to? We're not werewolves. <laughs> We're were people! <laughs> We're why wolves. Oh my fucking god, dude, this show is amazing. Dude, I this is what it feels like to take heroin. Uh why wolves? Creatures possessed by the spirit of inquiry. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> What is even going on? And bloodless. What? Please Inquiry save your questions until the end of the Oh my god, dude. A lecture. Our ecosystem. Mm. At the bottom level are the house people. Okay. Given the opportunity, we why wolves would easily wipe them out. <laughs> However, <laughs> <laughs> Donnie's presence is a natural deterrent. His jerkiness is so powerful that it produces a pungent gas, obnoxygen, to why wolves. Oxygen. Dude, I love that he, man tried to help Donnie out and ended up fucking with the whole ecosystem. A deadly poison. <laughs> but since you've removed the jerk, Donnie, <laughs> we will devour the houses. That's and us. our population will rapidly swell until... We are, in turn, devoured by the Cosmic Owl. Oh. Wait! That's the Cosmic Owl that we that we met a long time ago! That was the Cosmic Owl that spoke to the Ice King guy! Such is the course of nature. But it'll be a pretty sweet ride up until that point. Wait, so this dude knows that continuing to grow the Y Wolf population is gonna end up causing his demise, but he doesn't actually care because it's gonna be fucking fun until he gets there? Bro, that's like, that's just like me and my self-destructive rise to destruction. Let's go. Tonight, we feast on the blood of the innocents. <laughs> oh no, I have to get Donnie back. <laughs> Donnie, you have to go right now and stop the Wibbles from- Ah, Master Finn has returned. And of course, suddenly he's become a mannered man wearing pants and everything. What's it? This is why I don't wear pants. I don't become someone's lapdog. I don't become a slave to society and wear pants. That's why I, you will never find me wearing pants. I'm just saying. I am not wearing pants right now. Owen? Thanks to you, I shall never be jerky again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, this is all wrong. We need jerk Donnie to make the obnoxygen and- Steady and on, Finn. Perhaps you are dehydrated. It's as Jake taught me. Eight ounces, eight glasses, eight days a week. I'll fetch you some tap water. Are you wearing jeans now? Surely! Gotta get pants, go get your pants, but then... So Jake has a song for everything? Let's go. Fly! I wrote that one myself. Pardon me. But, 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 yeah, Donnie, you're looking Dude, good. Jake is an actual legend, oh my god. Those jeans. What did you do? Miraculous, isn't it? I just kept teaching him my musical rules, and now... He's perfect. No, oh we my messed up. God, dude. Those people are doomed if Donnie doesn't go back to being town. They took a jerk out of the ecosystem and ruined society. Dude, this is so real. Jerk. 
I've no intention of being a jerk again. Hm. But the houses will be wiped out if you don't. It sounds tragic, but I'm turning over a new leaf. Donnie, you gotta go. Finn. Oh my god, dude. Man just pulled off his, his dick leaf. No means no. I'm sure you'll respect my wishes. No! Stop! No! <laughs> now, go be a jerk to those Y wolves. No! <laughs> oh my god, this is this is actually brutal. Like you have this whole city being wiped out, murdered, and ravaged due to what they caused. This is actually so dark. I'll use my musical messages to stop them. Let's see, I've got one on the ethics of laundry, crosswalkery. Ooh, here's a good one. Man, the town is getting creamed. By not being a jerk, you're being a real jerk, Donnie. Comb your hair right, it's a good time. Sticky, sticky pie. Dude, get rid of this man. Insides. Annihilate him! Why isn't anyone paying? Kick him in the balls. That always works. Listen, every good, well-groomed man after a nice kick in the testes will become testy. Attention to my words. Just do it. He sure is sensitive. Call him a goat fucker. About his songs. <gasps> Call him it, racial slurs. It's because they think your songs are dumb. What? What are you saying? If we don't encourage his talent, he might revert back to jerk Oh. 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 Hey, Donnie. Everyone says your songs are super balls. They all think you're a real jerk. But but I've changed. Why would they say that? Oh, my God. This is so sad. They're just psychologically tormenting this poor man. <laughs> this man went through psychological trauma the likes of which we could ever comprehend. And they are continuing to break his mind and crush his ego just for the sake of others. This is so twisted. Why would they do this? Empathy, empathy, put your mind inside. <laughs> you are so pathetic. So comical. <laughs> Think I'm a jerk, do they? I'm feeling. Take the pants off. Do it. Do it. Go super saiyan. Yeah! You wolves are cool. Just kidding. Got him! <laughs> Obnoxygen cloud! Egress! The obnoxygen, dude. <laughs> because deep down, everyone's a jerk. You just have to take off the layers of people uh, that the people put on and clothe themselves with in order to be appreciated by society. So real. <sighs> the town is saved! Get off of me, nerds! You did it, Donnie! You're a full-blown jerk again! What? You're the jerk? Housies, ready to hear my new song? It's about how Finn will betray you just to save lives. <laughs> just to save lives, it'll make you feel like a bit of a dick balls. Sorry, Donnie. I'll never forgive you, Finn. <laughs> Dude, I wish chickens worked like that in real life. Can you imagine how much better life would be if chickens worked that way? Like, come on. We can go stare wistfully at the lake. I'd... I'd like that. Very much. Tragic <laughs> episode. Hey! I love being a jerk! Thanks, Finn! Finn? Finn, you loser! I actually never forget you. Oh, no! He learned all about manipulation. Dude... That's actually crazy. I guess the lesson here is just mind your own goddamn business. If society's not broken, don't fix it. Henchmen. The henchmen episode of Adventure Time. And oh my god, there is Dommy Mommy herself on the thumbnail. Listen, listen. I have been incredibly zen lately. I've been praying three times a day. I've been wholesome. I've been eating right. I've been sleeping not nearly enough, but I, I've been trying so hard, and I have not spoiled the show by looking up Marceline Rule 34, uh, because I am an icon. Also, I never watched porn before in my life. Just felt like felt like that was important to mention right now. I've never seen porn, never watched porn. All the times that you think I'm talking about porn, it's purely for research purposes, and that is just mathematical. Let's do more drugs! Woo, drugs! Oh, <laughs> legs! <laughs> Excuse me, what I meant was I need to blow my nose. All right. <laughs> Here I go. Yeah. Yo, this bone is almost as big as my uh, spine because I'm very tall. 
Almost as big as my spine. Oh, I'm so happy she's back. She's easily best girl so far. Awesome! <laughs> it's so cute. He, they, they just have every episode start with just they're having fun in like strangely cursed ways every time. It makes me just wonder what became of the world to leave it in this state where they're just having fun with corpses and stuff. Someone needs our help. <laughs> What is it about henchmen for life that you don't understand? <laughs> Yo, everyone needs some good henchmen, like me. I have Stevie Blunder, editor in charge. Stevie, play a clip of yourself saluting right now. Thank you, Stevie. Oh, come on. Dude, it's Marceline, the vampire queen. Huh? Oh. God, I want her to suck my blood. <laughs> in the compassion to release this poor old body. Henchmen for life means henchmen for life. Wood, wood, worth it, worth it, wood. You still petrified of vampires? No, I'm not. Fall on the ground <laughs> for me. Yes, mistress. Now cry for me. Okay, I don't um, want to I cry. Would, I would cry for her, not gonna lie. I, but I shall cry for you. <laughs> hey, cut that out. Oh, if it isn't my favorite little goody two-shoes, Finn. Stop making this poor old dude cry. I can make him do whatever I want. Oh my god. I'm, she's gonna say, he's my henchman for life, but if you'd like to take his place, you can. And they'll say yes, and this episode will be henchman -y. Henchman Finn? God, I wish I was Finn right now. Want. Watch. Henchman, amuse me. <laughs> Holy shit. Stop it. Now, hop around in a circle. <laughs> Oh. Don't worry, sir. I'll see to it you get set. See, this is ethical labor of the higher class. Uh, I, would, I know people are going to say, like, wow, how could she do this to him? But first of all, maybe it's his fetish. This guy is so fucking lucky. However, comma, this is just typical exploitation ethically. Ethical exploitation, I like to call it. It's when your employees are employed and follow the terms of the contract. Isn't that right, Stevie, who's editing this right now, who's literally not under a contract and who I treat extremely well, if I do say so myself? Point is, I don't have to! And then he would just quit and I'd be left with nothing. I take it back, Stevie. I love you. Don't don't quit. I need you. Free. Oh, and how are you going to pull that off, hero? I'll do what I need to. I'll even take his place. Dude, what? I literally Dude. called it. I, I, I'm i starting to get into the vibe. I am smoking the same shit that whoever made the writer's room gas is starting to infect me as well. You mean it? Uh, well, oh, oh. heck yeah. Deal. Old henchman, you are free. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Man just just jumped into the stratosphere. Man? Hey, Jake. <laughs> I couldn't watch that old man suffer, Jake. My code of honor wouldn't allow it. <laughs> oh, my code of honor wouldn't allow it. She's so real for that because honor is for bitches. I have always been saying this. L plus the curse of Ra and then a lot of hieroglyphics. And Chad, I love you guys. But dude, honor is for bitches. Honor was devised by the British to have their soldiers die in battle and not feel like it was a waste of their life. That's my hot take. <laughs> hey. Yes, Jake? What would you like to talk about? God, I wish I was Jake right now. I want to help you out of this, man, but she scares the filling out of my donut. Let's just leave. <laughs> she scares the filling out of my donut. <laughs> oh, I could take the filling out of my donut if you know what I mean. Eve. I can't. As a hero, I'm bound by my word. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I'll figure something out. You're lucky, Finn. Your first job as henchman is to help me feed. <gasps> feed? What does she mean? L like, like oats? Like sentient beings? Listen, I've, I know a thing or two about vampires, and for as far as I know, based on the anime Itadaki Seike, which did an extensive look, vampires need to ingest bodily fluids, and I would supply as much as she... Okay, listen, this isn't an application, this is just saying that hypothetically, if there was a job opening, you know who to reach out to. Her oats! Doesn't matter. I can handle it. Sounds like dinner. Finn, uh -oh. open the door. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, uh, open it already.
already. No way, Marceline. I'm not gonna open this door if innocent people will be hurt. Aren't you bound by your word to do as I say, hero? I... Oh, the eternal dilemma. Keep your promise to a mad woman or cause the butchering of an innocent family. Well, Finn, only one of those two options will get you pussy. So, frankly... <laughs> Okay, all right, I have to stop imposing my ideology on this brave hero. <sighs> yes. Anyone with this many pictures on their wall of themselves slash their mom, wife, creature, deserves it. Huh? Sorry about this. <sighs> Hold him down. <sighs> oh, it just gets worse. God, I wish I was him. Are you enjoying this, Finn? Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Don't you worry, Finn. I'll get you out of there. I've got a perfect plan. <laughs> Brother. Away, Finn. This is just part of my plan. Please, human boy. Let me. This. Tell me. Listen. This isn't my imagination going wild. But this is just a penis, right? Like it's it's the right color. It's the right shape. It's the right veininess. Like th this is just a penis. A penis in a wig with a bow tie. Let me go. Hey, sir. I'm bound by my code of honor to do what she says. No. I understand, son. I was married myself once. Oh! <laughs> ah, yes. Marriage. Wait, wait. I'm not married to- Oh, enough talking. Dinner is served. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. How dare you, henchman. I order you to let me feed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bro, that face! Holy crap! Mmm, that red bow tie was delicious. Wait, what? She just eats the color red? Huh? What's wrong, Finn? I I thought, I I thought you were. Oh my, a white tie! Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Okay, get Penis Man off the screen now. Uh, but but what? You know I eat the color red sometimes. Oh, yeah. Bro! <laughs> We've got plenty more evil to do. <laughs> Man. Well, maybe she's not so- Two dudes out here holding a girl's hand. Bro, Finn. God. What's wrong with this girl? I, I can't, can't tell if she's messing with me or, or what. Hey, Finn. <laughs> You thinking about how that guy's bow tie sort of looked like a bra? Huh? No. I was not thinking that at all, but now I am. I know this place seems a little dead, but don't worry. Dude, if I would have watched Adventure Time as a kid, holy ballsack, I would be into goth girls. It'll soon be undead. <laughs> Got him. Corpses buried in mud that's black. From death, I command you. I am not going to lie, bro. <laughs> Hear me out. This is buried in mud. I want her to do uh, this to me. From death, I command you to come back. Oh, God, I would love to come back. <laughs> Are you ready to lead an evil army of the undead? Dude, I love how she's just fucking with him. Like, I know I'm just making jokes here, because this was all a joke until here. Anyone actually thought I was horny right now <laughs> you're completely right but what i'm trying to say is um this is just a banger episode she's just fucking with this man uh, never <laughs> okay I'll do oh it. my god i grabbed his ass <laughs> don't worry dude i'm coming to help you yeah! huh what's that noise <laughs> sorry finn <laughs> oh no okay listen i know that maybe i was memeing about the guy with the bow tie but tell me this is not a house with like multiple penises coming out of it i am not seeing these things that are there they are definitely here like why are you this is just unfair this is unfair and wrong and i'm being mistreated by society labeled as something that i'm not this is a house with dicks coming out of it Wait, these are the nut trees. Oh my god, this is literally the nut kingdom. Are we gonna see the Duke of Nuts again? Excited to hear the wild screams of an entire castle? 
Oh, yeah, that, that sounds bombastic, honey. Hey, I'm gonna run up ahead and- God, he called her honey? Dude is living the dream right now. Got it out for you, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Duke and Duchess of Nuts residence. My boss is gonna sack your castle! Oh, well, that's certainly bad news for us. Yeah, it is, it is the Duke of Nuts! Oh, I love him! Who's at the door? Someone who wishes to sack the nut castle. Why would you want to sack my nut castle on my second son's first birthday? Seize him! No! <laughs> they want to sack the nuts? Oh, bro, no. They don't want to sack the nuts. Get it? Nut sack. <laughs> Seize him! No! Bro, these are the greatest spears I've ever seen. Listen, you hear that? My master is marching here with her army of the undead. Oh, how wonderful. Listen to me. Oh. Everybody, run for your lives. <laughs> I wrote this next song about a fisherman. Ah, oh, she just That's came so to, to crash the party, not to crash the palace. Sitting in your boat. I wanna suck out your eyeballs. Same, bro. I want my eyeballs to get sucked out, not gonna lie. But, dude, she is so cool. And rip out your throat. I wanna suck out your eyeballs. Aww. And rip out your throat. Don't do this, Marceline. I beg you. Don't do what? You're late, Marceline. My son has been dying to hear your undead music. What? Oh, I forgot. Mar no, the skeletons are gonna be the band. Aww. Celine is playing tonight. Okay, so she makes things seem bad, and, and then, or, or... <laughs> she's secretly awesome, bro. That is my favorite type of. My favorite gender is badass goth girls that seem to hate life and be evil, but are actually super wholesome and sweet on the inside. Her personality makes them seem bad, and. I'm overreacting. Hey! Huh? Why are you thinking so hard? Just party hard! Woo! Uh... All right! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god, this is secretly so wholesome! Hey, Crasher. Hey, Marceline. You like cute things, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Why? Then you might- Not ahead, not ahead, not ahead, not ahead, not ahead! Love this! The cutest dimple uh... plant ever! Whoa! It's not ahead. That's cool! Here, eat some of its fruit. See what happens. Okay. Drugs! Okay. <laughs> a dimple! Okay, henchman, now I need you to do something. What is it? I want you to take this dimple plant outside and kill it. Uh, what? Use my axe base. I'm gonna no! No! Murder you. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm sure this will end happy. <laughs> oh, no! Just so cute. Oh my god, that face. That is literally my face watching this episode, not nutting all over the place. Ugh, I don't get it. There's always a twist to the stuff Marceline makes me do. But where's the twist in bumping off this bush? There is no twist. Kill it now. But what? You should have hacked it to pieces when it was still adorable. I, I thought. It That's right. Lessons with Marceline. Kill it while it's young. As I have learned from the newest episode that I've seen of Harley Quinn and the bloodline. Because always there'll be someone out there that's gonna want to take revenge, gonna want to kill you. You just end the bloodline, baby. That is not social commentary. It is not political commentary. Bro, I'm gonna get wrecked for this out of context, but it's a meme. Yeah. God, it just went vor. We got the vor episode. This is the greatest episode I've ever seen. <laughs> Not bad for henchmen. Hey, Suddenly. can't the sunlight destroy you? Yeah, it hurts, but I kind of like it. Reminds me when I'd scrape my knees up as a kid and my mom would patch me up. Oh, that's a wholesome and cute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jake told me I came out of a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Finn, I need you to strangle some pixies. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. 
Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's learning. Why are you being so casual about that? Killing pixies is some hardcore evil. I'm not falling for your junk anymore, lady. You just like saying poop that jacks with my brain. <sighs> what are you talking about? I... <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, I didn't think you'd ever catch on. Aw, uh, they're so cute. I can't just stop smiling. This episode's so good. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, what about your old henchman? Who was that guy? Oh, uh, just an old... That's why she was sucking the red out of the strawberries. Diving buddy. So, ready to go strangle some pixies? Yeah, man. I mean, woman. Oh, no. My buddy is totally under her vampire spell. Die, unholy thing! Jake? Ow! Ah! Oh. Marceline! I'm staking that vampire and no. setting you free, no matter how- <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do good. Jake? E-girls, when they take their photo shoots- Ow! Oh. Ah! Oh. Marceline! Oh. E-girls without the Instagram filters. No! Sticking no! And setting you free, no matter how terrified I am. She's all right, man. She's still controlling your mind with evil. Now back off and let me vanquish her from existence. Oh. I can't let you do that, Jake. <sighs> I love you, brother. <laughs> Jake, this is so sad. My heart hurts. Is not how she seems. She's a radical dame who likes to play games. She's a radical dame that likes to play games, bro. You don't understand. <laughs> what are you even talking about, dude? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Whoa. Ah. Marceline. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. He's killing her. Where is she? No. She didn't die, right? No. No. He didn't kill her. What? Oh. There's no way. She's definitely back. Ain't no, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh, huh. I'm free. Jake, you faced your fear and saved me. I did? What? That's not the lesson here. I did. Yeah. I saved my bro from a scum sucking vampire. <laughs> Is it cool? Yep. Finn, I owe you big time. Bro. Oh. Oh. oh! Heart. Heart. Oh. Oh, that was that's not fapping. Stop it, chat. Into a bat and hiding in your pack was genius. That's what henchmen are for. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You're fired from your henchmanship. It's no fun when I can't trick you. We're still on for True, true. If you can't fuck with them, why date them? Am I right, guys? Pixie strangling tomorrow though, right? Definitely. Oh, that's so wholesome, bro. That's so wholesome. I love adventure time. What a beautiful, sweet dose of heroin right into my ball sack every time. Finn is the soft Sigma male. 100%. That was a fantastic episode. It's adventure time, baby! I have been through a lot this week, and I need some drugs. Let's get high as kites, baby. Let's watch some adventure time and get drugged. This show is freaking an injection of heroin right into my very, very open veins. Let's do it, baby. It's time. What the frick is this sound? They just hire someone and they're like, listen, we want you to make a sound for an existential nightmare that is adventure time, for a drug-inducing trip that will send people straight to... This is a trippy episode? How is this a trippy episode? This whole show has me freaking coked out of my brain. My brain worms are high. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Jake, get ready for slapping the jowls. <laughs> Seriously, though. Get ready for a day filled with adventure. Whoa, on? really? Yeah, man. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm on my arm this to-do list of cool junk. Number one, backflip off this bridge and do the split. Number two. Dude, this show is just so scary. Every time I start watching an episode, I'm just so lost as to what's actually going to happen. Back down and slay a goblin horde. Number oh my god, we just watched the Goblin Slayer. Three, storm clouds? Hmm. <gasps> Finn, it's a knife storm! I mean, I guess. Sure. Oh, oh it's raining knives, man! Come on! I've never seen a knife storm before. It's beautiful. Man is almost as high as I am! 
This is just... Oh my god, dude! Is that a Britain reference? Oh no, it's knives and it's rain together. That's that's just London. Looks like we're staying in today, kid. Well, what are we gonna do? Who wants to play video games? Bingo! Yes! I love playing video games when I should be doing literally anything instead. Bingo! I've created a new game called Conversation Parade. Okay, what the hell is up with this video game guy? Like, how does he exist? The best character? How is this guy real? How does he exist? Start it <laughs> All right. What do you think about the stars in the sky? It's okay, I guess. Yeah, they're cool. It's an interesting response. Better low. Shut down. <laughs> Oh! That was weak. What now? Hey, ooh, ooh. That was the worst video game I've ever seen. Dude, I know something told- Who the hell is writing this? How high were the writers when they came up with this show? Really rocking we can do. Whoa, what? Let's use our imaginations, man. Barf that. Imagination is for turbo nerds who can't- <laughs> I would just climb up next to the portrait of the naked woman. Handle how kick butt reality is. And give you a speech about how cool I am. I'm a kick butt reality master. I would rather die. Than be imaginative. I Dude is so based, which is why I am high out of my gourd and making believe life isn't real. <laughs> I mean that. Eh, you lost. Ah, lava! Lava all around us! Uh, 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 lava okay. on the floor! Uh, uh, Shut up, man! Uh, uh, seriously, man! There must be an enchantment on the house or something! I'm not playing your child style games, guy. Watch and learn. Is I master? Reality. No! What? <laughs> okay, dude, this show is actually fucking horrifying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> what? Jake, what the hey hey? I was just playing around with my imagination, and then everything got intense. It's like did he manifest it, dude? This show, I'm telling you, has me tripping balls daily. Whatever you imagine becomes real. That's bananas! Don't imagine blowing apart my own brain. Don't imagine my eyeballs coming to life and flying around with rocket packs. Dude! Imagine that Bimo invented a better video game and that he has new batteries. Whoa! I love how he has the power to imagine anything and it becomes reality. Meanwhile, there's a knife storm outside and the thing he picks is just to imagine a better video game. But first, stop imagining lava! I can't! My imagination's too amazing! Imagine turning your imagination off! I can't, dude! But I think I can imagine an imagination turning off machine! That is <laughs> Yo! What is this episode? There's surrounded by a crud load of traps, ghosts, monsters, and poison fountains. Bro, shut up, Jake, please! And and girls. Cute girls and hamsters. Can't you make it e Okay, cute girls and hamsters should never be in the same sentence before. For those of you that are unaware, hamstering is a very easier to get to that machine? You can't hold this baby back. That's bad parenting, mama. Then it's up to me to what? take your imagination downtown. Let's go to the den and suit up. Neat. Grab that missile. Okay. And get that cosmic gauntlet. Nah, there's a better one over by the desk. Dude, why do I need this Infinity Gauntlet if I can get that Infinity yeah. Gauntlet? Ugh. What did I just hit? I'm imagining a wall. You can just go around it. Really? That's it? There isn't any invisible angry troll or anything? Well, there's one now. No! <laughs> what is this episode? What is this episode? What am I even watching? Is any of this real? Look out! Ah, I can feel it on my foot! Whoa! Kill you, troll! Yeah! 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 You're kicking too high! He's shorter than you! Yeah! Punch the little person! Punch that little person! You're getting him, man! Uh oh! Now you're uppercutting his family! <laughs> oh no, you just did a war crime! No, Finn! You just did a war crime, Finn! You just kicked his wife in the face! She's coming back for revenge! Cram this! We gotta book it to your imagination machine! Yeah. Uh, the night storm, remember? <laughs> Dude, what is even happening? Why am I even watching this? What is even going on? Is this a real show? Is this a real episode? Am I real? 
Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> Finn, I found some candy. Mmm. 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 It tastes like banana candy, man. Mm. Here, man. Try some. Mm. Wow. Okay. Try Why did he drop it out the freaking thing? No! Some kind of steel umbrella over the bridge so we don't get knifed. Okay. It is done. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is horrifying. <laughs> oh, this is just average day in England. I am not high enough for this episode. <laughs> hey, you did it, man! Oh, voyagers, to cross this bridge, you must first pass the test of the riddle. An imaginary not riddle, master? Not the test of the riddle! <laughs> me your riddle riddle master i accept your test then brace yourself fool for this riddle comes from a mysterious far away land lay it on me yes um the riddle uh, it cometh uh I, I can't imagine a riddle dude just make it super easy the riddle cometh tell me Roger, <laughs> what is simple and yet also a riddle uh, the riddle that you're telling me right now. Man, that riddle sucks. That is the wrong answer. The penalty is death. Jake, why would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is? <laughs> I snakes. Yeah, right. I got a missile. <laughs> you exploded the snakes right at us. I can feel them all over. <laughs> Dude, Jake, why? Why? my face! Imaginary poison coursing through my veins! I'm sorry, brother! I'm sorry! Let's just get to your imagination machine and we'll be okay! Ah, a big bone baby elephant's chainsaws and doo-doo's flying towards us! Jump, dude! Yeah. Here comes the soul eater! Snap its neck! <laughs> sure! The bazooka goblin has you in its sights! Hey! Don't shoot us with that bazooka! Don't you do it! <laughs> Don't do it, man! Uh, okay. Yeah. Dude, I feel like this imagination machine, th this this whole episode, is just what every YouTuber thinks is going on before they start making YouTube videos and realize that they're walking into the amazing digital circus. <laughs> All right, use your powers or something. This poison <laughs> is about to kill me. All right. Whoa. Check it. My imagination off machine is left at the bed. Is it clear? Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of cute girls, but they shouldn't bother you. Yeah! Yeah! Where, where is this? I can't... Is it, no. Oh, man. Oh! I found the shutoff lever! Cool, man. <laughs> Dang, girl. If you weren't a figment of my imagination, I'd want to have your baby. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? I th okay, listen, I make jokes about this show being like drugs. This episode, this episode is just LSD. LSD's nuts, bro. W Riz. Hey, baby, if you were my imagination, I'd have your babies. Dude, why is Jake so freaking based? My God. <laughs> what are you laughing at? All right, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> you said it was clear of danger. Dude. I can't see anything. I must have imagined an invisible monster. What? Well, Why would you do that? I'm coming, buddy. All right, invisible. Eat a piece of this. Hurry, Finn. Get to the lever. Okay. Oh, God. I'm doing it. Oh yeah. The imaginary poison is gone, what, Jake. Jake? Uh, hey, come uh, on! When you turned off my imagination, you killed who I truly am. Wake up, man! Hello, Finn. I am awake and healthy. Jake, what happened to your bombastic personality? Without my imagination, I am merely a regular dog. I have lost everything that makes me unique. I grew up. Bro, I didn't actually look at this episode through that lens, but that's actually such a crazy, like, perspective to have. I do not know what you mean. I am perfectly bombastic. Nah, man, nah. Something's wrong. Tell me something amazing. But Finn, 
I cannot tell you something amazing, as there is nothing amazing happening around us that I can describe for you. Right? He's living in reality now. He is living outside of his imagination. He grew up. Ah, oh, Seaman, you suck now! Seaman! Crap, it's your imagination. You need that thing. <sighs> Jake, no! stop it, man. You're just playing one continuous note. One note is all that is needed. Ah! Make sure you're mad. <laughs> one note is all that is needed. Bro thinks he's dream after taking the normal pills. Imagination back on. Ah! Oh, where? The machine is gone too. Jake, your imagination on off switch has vanished. True. Doth thou not remember shutting down mine imagination? I remember it. I am happy that my imagination is gone. It was purposeless. No, it was the- Oh, dude, so real. A monotone, one-colored life. A purposeless imagination because it didn't do anything. The opposite of that stuff. I know this now. Only too late. Okay, man. I'm gonna try to imagine an imagination back on switch for you. And so you know, if there's anything dainty inside my imagination, I'm gonna be mad. Imagination go! What the stuff? What Whoa. the stuff? This isn't so bad. Nothing lame, at least. Hey, and there's Jake's imagination switch. Welcome to your imagination land. No! I am your imagination band. Cram. Oh, Cram. Try imagining something. Imagination cans. Imagination cans. We can shake. God, ima imagine. Your imagination can't <laughs> Now for that switch. Good morrow, sir. So my name is that. Bellamy Bug. Would you care for a crochet doily my daughter made? She no. <laughs> Why is his imagination so lame? Why is his imagination so pathetic? Beauty with her tears. You see, she recently broke up with a gentle dandy. No! How'd you get my imagination land? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, my young fellow. You tell me. Bruh! Perhaps I represent your secret desire to be civilized. Represent this! Uh, and him. this! Uh, oh, I say! <laughs> yes! I turn all cute things in my imagination into Akira! Oh, ouch. Oh, ouch. This is the imagination great. <laughs> Penguins. <laughs> yeah, all right. Penguins are just so cool. I hope this works, Jake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how imagination, like once you're growing up, once you're, you know, becoming a different person, this right here is the cure. A good friend. Good friend that's just willing to do random funky shit with you. Hey, get away from that. <laughs> Don't push that hyperdrive button. <laughs> Everything! Oh, no. Say hi, Harry! No, no great inflation! Oh, man. I imagine my mom naked. What? Oh, man. I can't. I can't even do this. Jake, you okay? I think so. Let me check. Mm, mm, yep, she's clothed now. And hey, man. <laughs> That's a dub. That's a dub. It's clear out now. We can go on an adventure. I don't know, dude. I think we got all the adventure we need right here. With love on the floor. Huh? Ah! Ah! My legs are melting. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. I thought that episode was like kind of sucking about halfway through, but when we got towards the end, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that episode was kind of fire. It's adventure time. It's time for some adventure. Need to get high. The last episode of Adventure Time was was schmaus out. It was insane. What have you done? What have you done? Literally me when my mom saw the jar collection. <laughs> These little penguins with their little massive ice axes. Let's freaking go. It's an Ice King episode. I was waiting for years for more Ice King. He's the most relatable and base character in the show. He's just like every single one of us. People that want to kidnap women. Our secret mission to capture the Ice King is underway. Yo! This is going to be great. Though I probably shouldn't say stuff like that out loud. Yo, we have got to do everything. 
Dude, he's <gasps> making a puzzle of a heart. Ow. No. no. Oh, poor Ice King. Another clip that goes on Twitter. Listen, I got to feed the Twitter people. I got to make sure that the Twitter people are not hungry. Let me thank the wonderful individuals over at Super Snail for sponsoring. Super Snail officially launched on August 3rd and already ranked the top one on the App Store in the USA, Canada, and Australia on its first day of release. This game lets you venture into a fantasy world filled to the brims with memes, easter eggs, and satire. It is like a comic strip that came to life. And the best part, you are leading a snail to become the beefiest version of itself, encountering a ton of surprises and laughs along the way. Super Snail has a variety of content for players to explore. It's easy to play. Players can progress and collect resources anywhere and anytime. There are eight unique civilizations in Super Super Snail. They are highly customized. They provide players with distinct experiences with Easter eggs and hidden events scattered throughout the world. Leave no rock unturned. There are three rotating weekly activities, so you will never be bored. The art style is super compelling. It has a really cool creative evolution system to chad form your snail. Super Snail is an intriguing game that combines elements of idle adventure and growth simulation with a delightful infusion of modern and classic classical memory in a world that rewards strategic thinking and experimentation as you unlock new forms, abilities, and challenges throughout your adventure. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty and the actual complex designs describing how the HP attack defense stats and the rush stat all apply in different battles and different ways to level up. Never judge a snail by its shell. So go click the link in the description right now and get yourself Super Snail. And thank you so much, Super Snail, for sponsoring this video. Who is it? Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> oh, someone left me a gift. Peanut brittle, but I'm on a diet. Ah, oh, I hit. Should have stuck to your diet. Pen, oh, you have destroyed my faith in canned peanut brittle. No! I can't trust anything anymore. Even canned peanut brittle has failed me. Stop! Oh no. My crown has all my powers in it. Rabbitack! What? His crown has all his powers? <laughs> How about ice oh my god, they kidnapped the Ice King. The poor Ice King. He's been kidnapped. Look at this. Look at this. God God knows what he's doing. God punishes people in the exact way that they deserve. Bottle you up like a sweet baby. We finally captured the Ice King. Why'd we do this again? Princess explained it all when she sent us on the mission. Oh, that fucking princess. I trust the Ice King's misogynistic ass way more than I trust that psycho bitch bubblegum. Remember? Go capture the Ice King and bring him to me. I... I do not trust this lady. This lady is all sorts of suspicious. Hmm. She really didn't explain anything. I'm sure she's got a good reason. No! Don't let her feminine charm swoo you. God! Unless she's Marceline, in which case I would just, you know, fucking roll over and let her step all over me. But that's just me. Where is everybody? Yeah, this place is deserted. Oh, God. Except it's for that guy. Tale. Oh my god! SCP-49 just walks in there. Here, Finn. It's me, the princess. Did you bring him? Sure did. So, what did the Ice King do to No time. Now quickly, with me. Why isn't she explaining anything? Why is this entire... Why did her entire city become a freaking hellscape? Why is everyone saying she said... Was she speaking in German? Ich bin hier, Finn. Ich bin hier, Finn. I am here, Finn. Ich bin here. Oh my god, dude. German history is so rich. So much has happened to Germany in 1931, in 1932, in 1933, in 1944, in 1946, in 1944. Tabla! What's the password? Ah! Ah, you got me! Brother, what just happened? Secret door! This stairway leads to the dungeon where we'll toss that lousy ice king! What awful thing did he do to get tossed in there? He kidnaps women for a living. He literally does it every day. He didn't do anything. Not a thing. What? It's a long story, Finn. You see, the Princess ice king... Princess Bolga, you're needed at once in the Grand Hall. No! I need more time! Gosh, 
I'm sorry. All right, all right. I have to go. You two just guard the Ice King until I return. And be prepared to make him uh. howl with pain. I'm telling you, I don't trust this lady. I don't trust this lady. She's out here. She's giving me some really creepy vibes. Every single Princess Bubblegum episode makes me just a little bit scaried. A little scaried. She's out here, she's gonna CBT the Ice King, and he does not deserve it. You got it, princess. Oh, this is a total rook. Settle down, prisoner. We gotta record your belonging. One magical crown. Probably stolen. I didn't steal it. I made that item. Made it with the magic that I stole. So based in real. <laughs> I did not steal this house. I stole the land and a lot of wood and, and, a, and a lot of shiz and I built it to get, I made this house. So hand it over or I'll strike menacing poses at you. Cool it, inmate. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> they are slapping that ice king cake. These bars can't hold me forever. Hey, there's only like two. <laughs> Two bars. I freaking love Adventure Time. Two of them. You fools have no business guarding prisoners. Oh, yeah? Well, how about these helmets we found? And we got the Oculus of Rehabilitation. Yeah. <laughs> the Oculus of Rehabilitation is the big fucking eye. <laughs> and the Shelf of Penitence. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, why is the crown crying? What is going on? I'm so sorry. How about you just hand me my crown? I'll create some ice bars. Okay. No, Jake. It's a trick. I... Oh, my God. He almost fell for it. I'm toying with you. <laughs> Psychologically. <laughs> Damn, man. Ice King is just so cool. He's just so based. Oh, man. I love Ice King. <laughs> Finished. So, what am I being charged with? Um... Five counts of jerketeering. Ha! Yeah. What is it, Matt? That, ba that sounds like the American legal system to me, ladies and gentlemen. So, what am I being charged with? Uh, charged with, uh, we don't like you, bitch. Oh, of course it matters. The way it works is, first I transgress your meaningless rules, and then you maliciously persecute me. That He's so based. He's so real for that. He's so... Listen! Just because you meaninglessly think I need to pay taxes, it doesn't mean that I should be punished if I don't. A round of applause to myself for being so based. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nuxanur. Thank you so much, Nuxanur, for being so based. Thank you. That makes sense. You do bad stuff, I punish you. Fool! Oh, you have disrupted that order. For, are you ready for this? I have committed no recent crime. Really? <laughs> And kidnaps women every day. Um, <laughs> I'm rocking your worldview, Jake. He is starting to convince me we're doing a bad thing, dude. Be calmed by my saliva. God, I wish someone could calm me down with her saliva. And think of all the terrible things he's done. Yeah. Yeah, you're still a jerk that deserves to be in jail. Oh, yeah? You know who really deserves to be in jail? I will show you the true jerks. Behold! Uh, it's too dark. Behold! Behold! He's trying so hard for a gotcha moment. He's trying so hard for a gotcha moment and it's not working. Behold the true jerks! The jerks is... Us? No! I love how we just happened to have a massive mirror behind the true jerk. Jake, am I going crazy? It seems like the Ice King is right about this. But if he's in the right, then that means we're in the Candy Kingdom. No. He's so based. I fucking love Jake so much. I st in the beginning, like, Jake humor was just annoying to me. And at this point, I am so... I love Jake so much. It means much, much worse. On your feet! Is it time for my hour in the yard, boss? No. We're letting you go. Why would you do that? At least ask the princess why you captured- oh. We decided that it's wrong to imprison you. This is a trick, huh? Get out of here before I change my mind! There must be someone waiting outside to beat me. Who 
is that my crown? Oh, he's so sad. The poor Ice King. No, poor Ice King. He's so alone. He's so sad. Over there? Oh, I'm glad that's all taken care of. No, not quite yet. Oh. Sorry, but since we're the bad guys this time, we gotta go to jail. Dude, this show is so good. This show is so good. Every single time, man. Accountability, ladies and gentlemen. This sucks. Hey, ah! get out of my room. You're, you're still here. J just get out of here, man. So you're really breaking me out? Like I said, it's wrong to imprison you. You mean, you believe me? Ah, uh, someone finally believes him. Someone finally believes Ice King. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, can it be? Has all the hatred between us somehow transmuted into something more? A friendship. A best friendship. Okay, That's... all right. Oh, slaps in disgust, eh? Oh, let's call them sloppy knees. Okay, see you Sloppy knees nuts into your... Okay. Later, my bosoms. I am. Did he just say later, my bosoms? <laughs> Ice King is so good. I can't believe how I've been standing Ice King so hard for this entire show so far. Every single Ice King episode has not disappointed me. No man's bosom. Cast I am no man's bosom. <laughs> wow. Way to be homophobic, Finn. Cast detect secret door. Success. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. No! And there are a lot of secret doors around here. And now, Ice King, prepare to howl with pain. She's putting on the CBT gauntlet. She is ready to cock and ball torture the shit out of him. Wow, she's so proud we did the right thing that she almost looks enraged. Where is the Ice King? Finally, freedom and friends forever! He just wanted freedom and friends. He just wanted freedom and friends. What have you done? Oh, baby, I know that look. That's the look of, you do what for a living? What have we done? I'll show you. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Even old starch is sick. A no. plague of freezer burn flu. Ice King did this? Well, yes and no. It happened three days ago. <laughs> hey, princess, check out my new trick. It's snowing. It's snowing for you. Ah, dandruff. Uh, that's my favorite trick. We don't think he was trying to spread disease, but soon the entire kingdom was infected by his beard flakes. Through my research, I quickly discovered that the only way to cure my people was to obtain the pained howls of the Ice King. Okay, is that relevant? Is this supposed to be relevant here? Lore boobies? I mean, I, 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 did, I did see that. Oh, it is, it's just boobies. All right. Self, All right. I pleaded with him directly, please, I beseech your aid in the name of common decency. <laughs> in the name of decency. Let me get this straight. You're hitting on me. No! Oh, don't worry, Yes! Get him, Rain of Gore! I think I heard the word viral in there. Oh, she's definitely hitting on me. No! Be gone, you biddies! He had his chance to help, and he did nothing! Oh my gosh, she came to me this time. He's so I... used to being the womanizer, he's not expect. he doesn't expect- Dude, I'm so happy we finally get a show about an incredibly based and kind old man that does absolutely nothing wrong aside from the occasional kidnapping of women, and he gets his time in the spotlight as one of the coolest characters ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I had no choice but to try and take his whales by force. By getting us to beat the tar out of him? I can't just beat up the Ice King for nothing. That's against my alignment. I know. It's I against know. my alignment. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, you're right. <laughs> but I'll get him to give up those howls. Voluntarily. I swear it. Oh, thank you, Finn. I... <laughs> Damn, he's so cool How are we gonna get those howls? Oh, I've got a plan to trick him, but you won't like it. That sounds odd. They're gonna make believe that they're his best friends. I don't like it. Ice King, come forth. I'm coming forth. 
Is that the voice of friendship I hear? So, are you fellas ready for game night? Game night? Well, that's weird. What? Why? You do know how friends act, right? You've had friends before. I... Uh, no! I was tricked in this exact same way when when someone said to me, Hey, Nux, you, you know how friends act. You've had friends before, right? Why don't you just give me your social security number and the three digits on the back of your credit card? And I was like, oh, I, I've totally had friends before. Anyway, this is this is that, that information that you needed. <laughs> and now I'm saddled with Fifi for life. Paying up the blackmail ransom that, that, that has been racking up all of this time. All of those boobless days with her. Yes? Yeah, so you know how friends are always howling in pain for each other. Yeah, right. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Will you help for me, pal? Oh, of course, friend. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got the sillies. I couldn't possibly howl without giggling uncontrollably. No. I'm just so giddy about you being here. <laughs> I'm a banana. <laughs> he's just so excited to have friends. Oh, he's just so excited and happy to have friends. He just wants friends. Oh, this is actually so sad. It always makes me sad when I see these episodes. Man just wants friends. <laughs> We're out of options. Let's just beat it out of them. No, Jake. We. Wait a sec. There's a bug on you, friend! <laughs> Biscuits! Now's my chance! You know, I carve these game pieces from my own teeth. Boo hoo hoo. Huh? Boo hoo. Crying? Boo hoo. You hit me, Ice King. I don't think I could live anymore knowing my best bosom hit me. I oh. No, he, he called him his best bosom again. I was only saving you from poo poo palms. I'm dying because I know you care not for me. <laughs> no, my, my bosom. No, <laughs> my bosom. I would like to touch a bosom before I die. Have I done, my friend? My only friend. Greatest show I've ever seen. I know that I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of like making all the psychological manipulation between friends every time. I don't think I have a single friendship that didn't rely on some form of psychological <laughs> or emotional manipulation. And, hey, what about me? And that's not a me problem. That's just, that's just life. Why? 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 Oh my god, it worked. Dude, he actually was feeling healthy again. This is too yeah. healthy. A bit too healthy if you ask me. They're all getting better. Finn and Jake did it! Uh, ich bin so glücklich! Ich könnte, ich könnte. Why is she... Why did she... Why does she do the German thing? Ich bin so happy! Ich bin thrilled! Oh well. Gunther, dispose of Finn's carcass. <laughs> true friends. Now that's a true friend. Homies, I just want to let you know. If I die... Make some good clickbait shit out of it. Like, remember me fondly and just clickbait the frick out of it. That's what I always say. Her rump. Good job. Those whales must have reached all the way back to- Did you see how fast he dropped my lifeless body? That's just mean. Finn, if I came across your lifeless body, I'd clasp you dramatically for a kajillion years. Thanks, man. Now that that's a fake friend. All true friends disagree all true friends would use their friend's lifeless body for a weekend at bernie's extravaganza hey why wait play dead finn why <laughs> why this show is just bonkers the show is just actually just bonkers <laughs> why this show's insane. Actually crazy. I'm... This episode was freaking awesome. I'm just saying. This episode was fantastic. I loved it. It was great. It was actually great. All right, let's do another episode. I have to. Finn meets his hero. Finn meets his hero. Who is Finn's hero? Ah! All right, let's do it. 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 Life sucks. Twitter hates me. The world is burning. People are dying. And I need drugs. It is time for adventure time. His hero, Derek Drymon, Fred Seibert. Let's go. Right. Last chance, Swamp Giant. Tell us where you hit the mini queen. Not gonna lie, Swamp Giant's got some tentacles, and I wouldn't mind using them. Ever. Huh? The 
mini queen. We found her. Hi, mini queen. Jake. My face when I see a mini queen. I've seen enough Tinkerbell hentai to know where this is going. I got her. Then hold my hand, dude. Very excited for people on Twitter to to take that out of context and be like, oh my god, Nux saw the Tinkerbell hentai. <laughs> We should cancel him for it. I mean, we've all seen it also, and we know how just awesome and based it is. But we should cancel Nux for it anyway. Allow me to thank the wonderful people that sponsored these shenanigans, War Thunder. The most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Play more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Customize your historical war machines with thousands of anime-created skins made by the community, or join War Thunder's creative community and create your own. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder spans over a hundred years of development from the 1920s to the present day. This includes exotic vehicles like the AH-1S Kisarazu helicopter of the JSDF, which uses a very anime style camouflage in real life. Whether you like girls and panzers, strike witches, or Kantai collection, War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at various immersion levels for all of your playstyles on tanks, aircrafts, and ships. My favorite part of War Thunder is the level of detail in this game. The, the fact that these ships and these tanks are so incredibly thought out and rendered into this game, it really feels like a genuine battle that you're taking part of. So you, yes, all of you, go play War Thunder right now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the pinned comment or the description. No ifs, no buts, no maybes. Well, some buts. I like buts, personally. And if you haven't played in the last six months, you can claim the Body Pillow Pack by using my link in the description. The pack includes the multiple premium vehicle premium account and one of your new favorites, Daki Makura, among other bonuses. And it is available for a limited time only. And of course, if you have an active War Thunder account, you can also claim the Daki Makura. So click, click the link in the description. Support me. Support me by supporting War Thunder and supporting your new addiction. You're welcome. And thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring my madness. Back to the video. My inflatable angel. Dude, I also love inflation. Inflation is so cool. No, not the economy inflation. You know, the cool type. <laughs> How's the mini queen? I don't know. Can't understand a word she says. Ah. Uh... Uh, my... My pleasure, ma'am. I just like beating up evil. Okay, didn't catch any of that either. Mini Queen must have stepped in something funky. No, it's not tiny feet I'm smelling. This way! Oh my god! Whoa! What? Do you know? Man was sniffing like he saw some of Gaumpaville's feet. Whose sword this is? This is the sword of Billy! Bill the Billy Man! How have I come up with this Billy meme so long before? That it's Billy time, gamers! It's Billy! We've spent years Billy memeing other streamers, and it is time for me to become Billy. Billy! Billy! No tongue! <laughs> Who's the greatest boy ever? Is going We're on? all over now! Who's Dude, why? What? Oh my god. This is that legendary Lich King that everyone keeps talking about. Dude, I get comments. I can't wait until he sees the Lich King. Is this the Lich King? Let's go. Okay. I, I would also eat his hair. That's so this mathematical. Whoa! It's Billy's legendary crack! <laughs> he said it in so Yo! It's Billy's crack, guys! Guys, it's Billy's crack! Oh. Uh, hello. It's him! It's him! I know, I know, be cool! Yep, it's me. Man, I'm such a huge nerd for you! Please take us on as hero apprentices. What for? So that we can learn to kick evil's butt. Just like you. <sighs> I want to be the dog. Oh, God. Please don't be a never meet your heroes episode. Version of you. Uh, that will be a waste of time. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm a little paunchy. But I could do some sit-ups. No, I was talking about beating up monsters. It's as pointless as a dog chasing his own tail. Wait, why does he have a lisp? 
Why did Billy's legendary crack introduce them to this lisping dude? Oh, see, that's where you're wrong. Cause watch. Uh, what do you mean, uh, pointless? Uh, we just saved the mini queen from a monster. You know where she is right now? She Probably captured by another monster. This man, he's felt that cycle of evil. This man is so old. He's lived through so many generations of pain speeches from Naruto. Probably being eaten by a different monster. She'd probably be dead. <gasps> Damn. In my youth, I was much like you. Motivated. Headstrong. Wore a silly little outfit. He <laughs> Does he have six fingers? We had a magic dog. He has six fingers. No! It's just... <laughs> he even had a matching dog. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. It's Jake's cousin. <laughs> I'm going to pass out. All my life, I've beaten on evil creatures. <sighs> But new evil keep popping up. Kicking their butt was a hopeless effort. What other way? Damn, true. True. It's like you kill Osama bin Laden and then Osama bin Laden 2 shows up. It's like, yes, I understand we killed this evil terrorist guy, this ISIS guy, but there's just ISIS guy number two there that's going to take his place. Is there? Non-violently. Help people by being active in your community. Non-violently? Huh. I gotta try being non-violent. The Billy way. Me too. Billy? Yeah, I am also not violent. I true, won't let true. you down. Bin Laden too. Electric Boogaloo. Evil will always fill a power vacuum. So based. So based. Billy is just so real. I love you, Billy. I got a secret crush on you, Billy. Yeah. Ah! This is going to be tough, Jake. I'll have to suppress my every warrior instinct. Relax. It'll yeah, be just easy. like me. I also have tons of warrior instincts, and I personally suppress almost all of them by doing mostly nothing all day. Not to beat up on monsters and still help people. Help! Help! A monster! Uh, 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 oh, thank goodness! Heroes, I'm being chased by a horrible dragon! Please, please, help! Oh, <laughs> a dragon, he's nuts on it! Oh, oh. oh! Act quickly! He's almost upon us! Sorry, we don't beat stuff up anymore. No. Yeah! Because we believe in peace. And peace needs to come in non-violent ways. Because any forms of violence will just cause more violence. So you are just a simple sacrifice on our road to true peace. But please. Okay. Oh, we, uh, but, oh. Dude, we gotta do something to help him. I can teach him how to not be such a spaz. Hey, mister. Damn. Besides being chased by a monster, what else is wrong? Well, I've been running all day. I guess I'm pretty hungry. Say no more. Come on, Finn. <laughs> we'll make you a sandwich. Problem solved. Where are you going? Problem make you something solved. to eat. Oh, no, help! I love how the dragons at least look consistent, right? It's the same yes, dragon that hungry. we saw in the episode Say of no The Crying Mountain. No more. I still feel weird about not fighting off that dragon. Trust me, this is a way better way to help him. Yeah. Gruel, get your free gruel! What's this all about? Free gruel, ma'am. I can't beat monster butts, but I can beat your hungry guts, that's for sure. Ha ha ha! I didn't throw up! This gruel is very adequate! Yeah! <laughs> I love how they're like, yeah, feeding the homeless. Man, I can't believe I'm cringing so hard feed, feeding homeless people like this. This is great, Jake. Yeah, yeah we're really helping I people. hate homeless people, so feeding them just makes me upset. Well, look who it is. Dude, you're alive. No thanks to you two. That dragon chased me for two days. And then I was lost for uh, three days. And then I, I fell under a spell of a beautiful enchantress for uh, a week. So that's two plus three plus a week. Shh. Dude. Gruel. Oh, thank you. I love how no one learns from their... No one learns from their uh, flawed ideologies in this show. Like, the world will never... The world is constantly shoving their flawed ideologies into their faces. Again and again. And I have nothing but respect for the way that they tackle something like this. In any other show where they would have made that mistake and left him to fend off the dragon himself, he would have died. And, he, and they would have been like, oh crap, we, our actions caused this man's death. Right? And it would have it would have ruined them. It took them twelve days to make this food. Alright, don't ask questions. But but the point is, in this show, in adventure time, in a vacuum, in a vacuum, their mistakes don't do anything. They don't learn from their mistakes. They learn from their lack of being able to do better. And it's really cool. Also, without them, he would have never met the beautiful enchantress for a week. So <laughs> 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 
What's happening? Huh? Oh, that's probably the stone skin potion I added to the recipe. It gives your body the power to grow armor. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, how much did that potion? Oh, no. Did you use? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's Adventure Time, ladies and gentlemen. I am so high. I am so high. But Tommy is breathing fire! Jeez, I thought people would like that. Why? Why would anyone want that? So you can defend against evil monsters. You're supposed to beat up monsters so we don't have to defend ourselves. No wow, what an entitled piece of garbage. Oh, see? I'm helping you nine violently. Helping? I can't even move my hands. I'm a cobbler. How am I supposed to cobble with these useless chunk bits? Damn. So, the village needs the help of a new cobbler, eh? Hmm. I feel like that's... What? No, 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 don't... Hmm, don't... Hmm. Everyone has a piece in this ecosystem. That is the big flaw of this ideology. Everyone has a part to do. This is Lex Luthor logic. No! All right, we're cobblers. No, you're not. You're just watching my shop while I go to the dermatologist. And don't try to cobble anything. What does cobble mean anyway? I think it has something to no. do with shoes. <laughs> Excuse me, can you help me? I need a broken heel fixed. I'm going to a fancy funeral. Of course I'll help. Ah. You gotta look your best at a funeral. There! Cow! Now you can fight off evil if it shows up at the funeral. You fix that shoe with a magic... Dude, he fixed it so well. He just fixed it so well. She is going to drip out that funeral. And even if the dude comes back to life, she'll have a way to deal with him. What a legend. What a hero. What a guy. Now, maybe... Non-violently. Whoa! <laughs> Made a lasso. I, I, won't, I won't remind you, actually. I'm not good at the funeral in these. Hey, everyone. I'm back from the doctor. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, this poor dude. And I'm not supposed to bring a guest. Get out! Apparently, I suck at being nonviolent. Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. Honestly, so unfathomably based and true. Like, look at me. I am, had a terrible sense of humor, and now I still don't have a great sense of humor, but it's better than the terrible one I had before. You and I are like little baby billies right now. And we're sucking no. on our first bottle of nonviolent milk. <sighs> Totes. I'll stop pooping my diaper. Whoa, what? Help! I need medical help! Medical help? Hmm. No, don't become a doctor. How can we help? And this is all because they didn't want to use violence. When are, when are people finally going to learn that violence isn't the answer? Violence is the question, and yes is the answer. I want surgery to make my body. Yo! It's, it's Dumpley Princess. Hot? Yikes. Yeah, I know I'm already pretty smoking, but I bought this swimsuit, so I need a swimsuit. Sheesh! Sheesh! I've seen my my LSP R34 if you know what I'm saying. I've seen it and it's it's out there. I just had to know if it existed and it does. Butter. You up for some serious plastic surgery? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh yeah, the spot is hot. What? I am powerful. Huh? <laughs> Why does he feel the need to do that? Oh, oh. Dude, did you use a magic nail again? I've got three left. Oh, what did you do to me? We transformed you into a cyborg fighter. That's Makes hot, sense. right? No one thinks this look is hot. Oh, I disagree. Lace, well, you're the most beautiful. <laughs> huh? This poor dude. No. <laughs> Jake. Yeah? I think us not being violent is hurting people. Man, Billy is going to be so bummed out. Not if we run away, Finn. We'll have to live in halfway homes and be cannibals, but we'll survive. Understandable, Jake. I believe. It all starts with, with making a mistake. Then you just run away, you live in halfway homes, and become cannibals. It is just what everyone does. It's the thing to do. just want to sit here and moan. Then I'll moan with you, buddy. Now, that, that's a true friend. That is a true friend. When something goes wrong, you don't want them to fix it. You don't want them to tell you to do better. You just want them to moan with you. So based. So true. So real. Buddy... You're welcome. Ah, ah, help me! <laughs> Relax! Hey, <laughs> I'm just gonna grind you up. Ah, ah. Oh, 
Aw, man, this grass bag again? Hey, evildoer! Um, can you keep your evil doing quiet? Finn is dealing with some heavy stuff over here. That's not evil. When they get this old, they want to be ground up. <laughs> right, yo, bat? True, true. That's just basic Canada logic. Introducing the maid program, the medically assisted Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A fist raised in righteous anger? Oh no, it's my fist. I've got to think of a way I to- I love Finn so much. This show is so good. Save this old lady without punching this guy in the face. Hmm. Yeah, you wanna get ground up, right? Raw! Oh my god, he's using violence again. Uh, I couldn't think of anything. Woo! Poop! I saved her with violence. What's your huff, son? The greatest hero in the world told me to help people without being violent. And I promised I would do that and not let him down. Failure. But I did let him down. It's so interesting. Looking at Finn as a character is so interesting. Because, you see, Finn doesn't learn from the mistakes he makes by, uh, you know, you know, mutilating people and turning them to stone and giving them fire bellies and, and you know, turning people's shoes into assault teams. He only feels bad when he breaks his word and uses his violence. That's the lessons that he learns. It's, so, it's such interesting writing, because I feel like, for the most part, when people make a mistake, that's when they realize they made a mistake and learn from the mistake, right? That's just basically evolution of a character. When it comes to Finn learning from things, it's not that he makes a mistake and he learns from the mistake. Yes, he recognizes what he's doing, and but he learns from like a lack of integrity, and he realizes that that's the path he needs to follow. And also, violence is awesome. You sure helped this old gal out, and you did it with violence. Like a true hero, you were born to punch evil creatures. Ugh. Just like I was born to be an old lady. Don't deny it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. I was born to be an old lady. I love Adventure Time so much. Have I mentioned that yet? Have, have I mentioned that I love this show so much? It, it is the, the Xanax that I needed in my life. Your rowdy nature, paladins. Boop, 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 kick, boop, 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 kick. And don't take advice okay. from old people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! That old lady has a point. Wait, didn't she say not to take advice from old people? It's all so clear to me. Oh, Back to the oh. cave of Billy! Yeah! That old, that old lady's caked up, not gonna lie. It's us again. And we've got exciting news. Oh, I don't, I don't want to buy anything. Billy, an old lady told me that I shouldn't listen to you because you're old. Also, that I should do what I was born to do, which is kicking buns. Don't you see how pointless it is? You know what's probably happening to that old lady right now? She'd probably be dead. She's right here. Hello. <gasps> we saved her, Billy. <laughs> we brought her with us to because we, dude. Dude, the mind games. They knew that he was going to try to pull the, the she's probably dead stick. So they dragged her all the way, took Billy's crack. You saved her. I saved her, Billy. I saved her using violence. And that's not a bad thing, Billy. This old lady is alive because of these. And look how happy she is, man. She's elated. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's... It's as if your words are filling a void in my very being. You want to watch? <gasps> what? 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 No time! <laughs> Finn and Jake, truly, you are my heroes. Oh my god. Billy is coming back. It's the return of Billy. <laughs> <laughs> now you're freaking me out. God, fans, am I right? Mm, fans! No offense to, to the couple hundred of you guys in chat, to, to, to you 600 losers, <laughs> fans, fans. But no, honestly, you guys are my heroes. I, I would be nothing without you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Hello. I love you, Billy. Get out of here. <laughs> out of Billy's crack they go. Now, if you excuse me after this episode ends, I'm going to look up Billy's crack just out of the curiosity of what I find. <laughs> Damn, that was a great episode. I I feel like Adventure Time really embodies that fantasy so, so well that they, they embody it to an extent that even the way they learn lessons are in a fantastic way. It's like the world will put everything in the right place for these characters to grow in the right way. 
And I, I really feel like this embodies a level of fantasy that is beyond just the relatable fantasy or the dark gritty fantasy that we see. This episode was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, I did not really want to stream today because of things. But the reason why I forced myself to do so is simply because I am up to the last episode of the first season of Adventure Time. And being that we're on this last episode right now, I could tell you, I am blown away by how much I actually loved Adventure Time. It surpassed all of my expectations thus far. Uh, it is truly fantasy to a realm that we can't even equate what goes on there to our real life. So let's jump into the finale of season one and let's see what we got. Okay, what do we have? What do Jake. we have? Jake! Jake? Hmm. A random violin. <laughs> yes! The best way to summon your friends by torturing them out of hiding. Sounded horrible, man! I don't know how to play. Exactly! That's a really good point. What the frick? <laughs> Wait, what? That is such a good point that he just made. Exactly? It's not an excuse to do things terribly. It's like, dude, this food that you made sucks. He's like, yeah, I don't know how to cook. Yes! That is why you should not be cooking! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, wait up! I gotta finish tuning my viola. Ah, it's a viola. Soft people! Why Soft people! My favorite race! Oh, and it's Izzy! The gut grinder! He's back! The gut grinder? The gut grinder? Not yes. him. Yes! The gut grinder is a gold-eating monster. I freaking love random old people explaining stupid lore things that make no sense at all in this universe. What the hell? In the past, the soft people of this village enjoyed piling our gold in the center of town ah, and dancing people. wildly around it. Are these soft people just, oh, we are so soft, and we love posting memes on Twitter, liking each other's posts, and getting us, uh, getting each other forth in the algorithm. But then everything changed. It was awesome. <laughs> but then the gut grinder came and stole our pile of gold. Oh, that sucks. So we adapted and learned how to hide our gold using a big cup. And it worked! Let's go! Evolution! Take that, atheists! The gut grinder didn't come back. But recently, and admittedly it was probably a bad idea, we Ooh. took our gold out from under the cup and we put it in the center of town. You guys are fucking idiots. Like, there is some- there is just some point where someone is just so bad and so dumb, I just don't feel bad for them. <laughs> cause- cause we really like dancing around it. But boy, oh boy, was that a mistake. You know what happened? Uh... The gut grinder came, came and came back it. and ate all your gold? <laughs> yeah, so, how, yeah! How did he know? Uh, don't cry, soft old man. I'll find this monster and bring peace to this village. I swear! Swear to what? I swear to justice! Whoa! He swears to justice. Okay. <laughs> I love this show. So what does he look like? Oh, it's so scary. We usually close our eyes and go wee wee when he attacks. But makes sense, makes sense. His footprint. What? Yo, 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 yo. His paw matches the footprint. Oh, 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 I'm so scared. I'm gonna go wee wee. Whoa, no, 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 no. No. Calm down, everybody. This is my friend. Jake the dog. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I almost wee-weed. Wait, you were going to wee-wee if I was the gut grinder? Oh, yeah. We're terrified of him. Then I am the gut grinder. <laughs> Man just wants to see people piss themselves. <laughs> I love Jake. He's just a god of chaos. He just want he just wants to see people piss themselves. Why is he so cool? Uh. Oh, that was I never wanted to see. That, <laughs> that guy Wee Wee's weird. I'm just kidding everybody. I'm not the gut grinder. I'm Jake the dog. Woohoo! Oh, he's just a cute little dog. 
Hey! Okay, these soft people are annoying the crap out of me. I hope they end up the bad guys. It would make me so happy if they ended up the bad guys. Holy crap. These guys are just annoying and manipulating people with their softness. Softness should... I'm just gonna say it. Most soft people are not actually soft, and they utilize their softness as a weapon. I'm not cute. Doggy! Huh? Pet, pet, pet. <laughs> uh, oh. Literally me when when I get yeah okay. What? I didn't say anything. People of the village of soft people. I Finn and my buddy Jake will find this monstrous monster and slay it. Yes, let's go. Come on, let's go, Jake. Oh. <laughs> what? No. Bye, bye, doggy. Bye, soft village. Bye, soft people. Hey, my feet fit these prints pretty well. <laughs> well, yeah, because he grows to literally the same size as anything. If I really am the gut grinder. <laughs> Dude, your paws will fit uh -oh. anything. <laughs> that is true. Check this out. I'm Finn the human, and I stink at viola. I'm Jake the dog, and I put my nose in poop. There's a Damn, got him. Destroyed, obliterated, annihilated. A lot of interesting smells in poop. Huh? Hey, cube people. <laughs> I love this world so much. This universe is so dope. <laughs> it's just, yeah, sure, cube people. Makes sense to me because they have floating cube brains. What's going on here? The gut grinder stormed into our village and ate all of our gold. Wait, what happened? Ah! Wait, is Jake actually the gut grinder? And you didn't see him in the beginning of the episode because he was gut grinding? Maybe he is the gut grinder. Oh my god. Ah, the gut grinder! Whoa, no, no, no. He's not the gut grinder. He's my friend. We saw the gut grinder and he looks exactly like him. <laughs> that, that, that's ridiculous. Uh, Jake, back to normal size. Oh yeah. Who could have seen that coming? I am not the gut grinder. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Oh, he's just a cute little dog. Hey, y'all are the ones who are cute. Got I'm, him! I'm hot. I didn't expect it to take that turn. Oh, look, he's all man. Even cuter. Ah, so cute. Oh, so I'm cute, not so cute. cute. I'm. Mm. Wow, it is just. We are too also easy, seeking bro. the gut grinder. Me and my friend Jake will find it and slay it. Tell us what he looked like. Exactly like him, but bigger. Oh my god, he gets hypnotized. Which way did he go? Jake, hey, come on. What? Where am I? Thanks, guys. I'm not cute. I'll mess you up. Yeah. Then... What if I am the gut grinder? What? Oh, no. What if I'm He's doubting stealing himself. gold in my sleep? You can't be stealing gold in your sleep. Yes! Don't doubt yourself, bro. No, no. I watch you while you sleep. Well, I'm never going to sleep again. <sighs> love that. Thank you, Finn. That That's cool. I love how accidentally cursed every single character in this show is. Awesome. Love that. What? Yo, Finn, that is creepy, man. I can't help it. I take pictures. Well, when do you sleep? Justice never sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so based. Uh, I never thought I would actually start to like Finn and Jake because they have like the stupid shenanigans, but they start to grow on you. It's time when you're not watching me. And I might be stealing gold unconsciously. You are not the gut grinder. Mm. City of danger. City of danger. Oh no. Let's go. It's the cone. It's the sand city. Wait, what if these guys think you're the gut grinder? Mm. Just be smaller. Aha! Uh -huh. Got the perfect thing for you. Grucho glasses. <laughs> I love it. Or you could just be smaller. Launch in three, two, one. Woohoo! Yeah! I love how they never they never take an opportunity to not give him a Launch butt. in three, two. Dude, for no reason. They just, every possible time that they could give him a butt, they're going to be like, yes, we will make his perfectly formed cheeks. One! Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, we are the spiky people in Spiky Village. Oh, man. These people are a mess. Oh, identify yourselves immediately. I am Finn the Hero. I'm Groucho. We're on a mission to catch the gut grinder. <gasps> 
I am the mayor of this village. Our gold has just been stolen by the very monster you- What a coincidence! Oh my god! Dude, this, sto this whole story is just- Okay, alright. What, what, what's the conclusion here? We get the idea! Speak of. Ugh! I hereby vow to catch that thief and bring your gold back! Our people thank you. I present to you this photo of the gut grinder to oh, help- Oh shit, it's just gonna be Jake. Oh no. In your mission. Oh, thanks. What? Finn? It's me! Well, duh, it looks like you. We already knew that. It's just one of those weird coincidences. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like how my belly button looks like your face? Yeah. Oh my god. That's crazy. I, I know you think it does, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's just a coincidence. Like how my asshole kinda looks like your mom. Like it's a random coincidence, but. This is different. I'm scared, Finn. Jake, stop it! What? Oh, it's the gut grinder! Yeah, before they were soft people, now they're dealing with sharp people, and that is way worse. The gut grinder! I swear on my good name and justice and Jake's cute face! His face is weird. The truth is Damn. obvious. Your friend is the gut grinder! No! You are under arrest! Then why would he go there? Why would he go there? For stealing no. our gold! I'll get you out of here somehow. No, Finn. I belong behind bars. Look at the evidence. I really am the gut grinder. Buddy, listen to me. Oh. You've been my best friend for as long no, as I can remember. Jake. That's enough evidence to prove to me that you're not a monster. No, that's circumstantial. I don't believe it. Honestly, they're making much better. Why did they give him a cake? Bro, they got the frick out of Jake every single shot. Then why am I in jail? My gut grinders go to jail. I'm in jail, but I'm not the gut grinder. <laughs> I'm here for the free grub. Well, at least he has a roommate. <laughs> Bro, why is Susan Wojcicki in this prison with him? <laughs> Wait, I got an idea. <laughs> hey, gut grinder, I got some gold here that you missed. Come and get it. Get it. Get it. Whoa, you're the gut grinder? <laughs> <laughs> Cute little yeah. <laughs> well. What was the point of the whole spiked mace? Dude, little dude. Oh, that's cute. Here, here, here. He picks up the spiked mace and he... Punches him with the other hand. <laughs> only in Adventure Time. Literally only in Adventure Time. Oh, God Blinder. Oh, God Blinder. Not your little cutie. Little cutie wootie. Am I the No, no. Don't tell me you have to pet the dog and then the dog if stops. I'm all the clues fit. I must be the gut grinder. And I want gold! <laughs> what, dude, is this episode? <laughs> Wait, so he is the. I don't even know, man. Whoa, yeah, we got him! Thanks for saving me, Jake! <laughs> Bro, why did they give him a butt again? I'm not Jake! I'm a gut grinder! Let's give me that gold face! What? Jake? What? What? No! Whoa! Just play bad viol viola! Take the viola and play some poop! Do it! Give me that tooth! If I give you the stupid tooth, will you stop being a crazy jerk? Uh, what the? Jake? You never turn into a monster when I want you to. It's all. <laughs> Why can't you commit heinous crimes when it benefits me? Why are all your criminal actions done when I don't want you to be a criminal? God damn it! Sniper Wolf, if you were gonna dox someone, why couldn't you dox Logan Paul? Huh? Why couldn't you dox, like, EDP 445? You have to go after the sweetest man in the world, Jax Films? God damn it! Always not now, Finn. I have a headache. Oh, Jake. Your viola is all I have now. Stay away from my viola. Remember your viola. 
Also, remember the new stink hearted planet. Damn. And Dookie is radical, man. I don't care what anyone says. What? Huh? What? Where am I? Finn? Is that you? Is this like an actual lore thing? Is this concept like an actual lore situation? I don't even know. Who else would it be, baby? Woo. I guess it went nuts. You are so crazy, man. Like, like actually crazy. Like, every time you pet his t tummy, does this happen, or is this just a random filler? <laughs> it's good to have you back. It's good to have you pat my back. Man, if I'd known you were so easily manipulated, I would have eaten more of your ice cream. Cut it out! <laughs> Damn. Cut open the gut grinder's belly! Let's get our gold back. What the? What the? Sharon? What are you doing? Huh? What? Where did this come from? What? The gut grinder. That's the mayor's wife. That the mayor's wife. And the gut grinder's skin is not skin at all. It's cloth. Sharon, have you been sewing? Yes, Cameron. I've been stealing gold. Why, Sharon? Because I like to buy things, Cameron. I ah, women. Am I right, guys? <laughs> ah, women. Oh, yeah, some nice cancelable Twitter logic. Oh, nothing like getting high at some Adventure Times. Commentary on women spending shit. And he would have gotten away with it if it were that medley kid of that dub dog. I like to shop, and I'm dressed up like Jake because I think he's hot. <gasps> You Jake got game, I'm telling you. That butt was on screen for a reason. There was a reason why Jake's butt be out there, because women be shopping. And a naughty girl, Sharon. Guards, throw my wife in jail. Finn and Jake. The snail, 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 snail. I found it myself, and all that you needed to tell me that he's here. I found him, he's right there. Little snail, being all cool and cute. Thank you for saving my spiky village. No problem. I told you it was the spiky village. Mayor. Now, give us a hug. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't hug us. Ow. Don't touch hey. us. Don't touch us. What the fuck? This was the season finale, bro? Wait, huh? How was the hero episode not the finale? And the finale- oh, This wasn't the finale! But the finale was the gut grinder's wife is- Okay, you know what, guys? I'm starting season two next stream, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam!